everything you said is wrong. <laughs> Comes out later, that's exactly what they're doing. Thanks. <laughs> But I didn't phrase it quite so well. It's like, you make a map out of that. If you manage to keep the sensitivity at a high enough rate, you should be able to make a map at a constantly moving thing, you know, out of gravity. And be able to use lensing to be able to help that out. And then be able to, like, you know, be able to get more accurate results. And you can create an algorithm and all this stuff and denoise it. Should be able to do it. And he's like, oh, yeah, no, there might be something that do, I don't know, another Redditor that actually seemed nice, <laughs> but not as nice as you would think. And then my other design, go back to that heat pump, and I was like, yeah, so that's not working. But, I, you know, my idea was to utilize photovoltaics, this heat pump design, and then uh, geothermal, be able to create an ultra-dense heat or energy production facility for its, you know, relative size is what I was thinking, going with. He's like, no, 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 all of that's wrong. You you know, the more you put into it, the less you're going to get out of it. <sighs> and it's like, you know, truthfully, that's apparently true. Except it's like, the way I designed it then wasn't the way I design it now. I'll get into that later. It all coincides to this stupid engine. I swear, work with me. And so I'm like, all right, all right, okay. So I need to figure out how to make that sucker do work. And I gave up on it because I was like, oh, yeah, he's right. There's no way it should be just direct the least conversions the best way to do it. That is always what we see. You know what I mean? And so I gave up on it. And I'm like, oh, maybe make the idea of, like, a heat pump maybe more efficient for you. If you can turn it into a usable electricity to run the compressor. Like, that's the best I can get at. You know, not bad. Maybe if you add in extra heat from building, you know, skyscrapers or something. Maybe you can get something more and turn it into using that energy to run the system. Maybe that's worth it, you know, maybe uh, ultra efficient, uh, you know, d building design, maybe it's worth it for them. Maybe, maybe. But I kind of gave up after that. I was like, it's, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. And I was like, I kept fixating and other people kept fixating a little bit on that, that refrigerant. Because it's like, the refrigerant only goes up to this heat. It's like, we just stuck this stupid sucker into the ground if it get far enough down like this is totally easier geothermal energy if I can do it the refrigerant doesn't go nearly as hot as steam turned out I was like god fucking damn this stupid shit <laughs> fuck you material designs why didn't you fucking make it better I thought I had everything at my disposal now I have to go make something Not even kidding. I literally focused on that after a certain point because I was tired, cranky, angry. It's like, fine, fine, whatever, whatever. We'll make the best refrigerant possible, blah, 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 stuff. And I was I was just trying to, like, create other things in my mind. And so you, there's these things called buckyballs, if you know about them. You might be familiar in the terms of, like, uh, chemistry. They're apparently created when a asteroid hits and these carbon... Uh, materials form into a ball with something stuck in the inside, typically. At least, so I've been told I might got their name wrong. Whatever. Alright, and it's like, that seems cool. What's that about? And it's like, if you do that right, that's a very efficient, thermally energized design. Like, if you can do that right, all you have to do is stick out little pokey pokes like the COVID-19, you know, virus. You know, it's like it's out there. It absorbs heat. It radiates heat. It has a fucking battery on the inside. That's going to bounce around more energetically. That stores heat. It also, if you do it with like varying sizes and various amounts of pokies, you get a weirdly wanting to super laministically flow design that bounces around and then spins rapidly and hits something and then dumps all of its heat into it and kinetic energy and then it kind of goes back into the system thus reducing your 
time to get rid of energy. Is what it felt like. You know, I mean, like how to make them out all this other shit. Unfortunately, I don't know. What I ended up doing was like, okay, so they maybe have like individual atom manipulation. And so I don't really know whether I'm going to stick on these fucking outsides things. They look like creamy white particles to me, so that could be like anything. But it, that could be also like maybe, what is what is the Bucky? Is it carbon? I don't know. It looks kind of darkish, you know, in my head. Yeah, that's what I looked at. So I'm like, all right, and then there's like a center thing, and then I got rid of the center thing, and I put the center thing. It's all I'm always like moving, and anyways, it, it fucking got like optical tweezers, but it's like, no, 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 I didn't get optical. Tweezers. I got the things that make things cry about how much they're getting manhandled. <laughs> I was like, you're gonna go in there. <laughs> Individual atom manipulation. Pound it in, just stick and stitch this shit in. Hey, you! On the outside every time. And I'm like, I'm gonna test it. I'm gonna test this. I'm gonna test this in my head. I'm gonna see what it does. It seems to do something. There's medicine in that one, apparently. This design has medicine. There's actually, like, you significantly reduce the amount of your. Um, of, of uh, age tolmer length reduction, apparently. There's, like, some shit with your nerves where it's, like, it sticks to your nerves and it seems to help the nerve sheath kind of, like, just do its thing, be strong against attack and, like, apparently helps with, like, electricity moving through because quantum tunnel gap bullshit or some shit, I don't know. And then it was like, oh, but it turns you gray after a while. So that's that's wonderful. <sighs> and then like you pretty much heal perfectly with no scars. You know, yeah, so not bad, right? It's also going to make you extremely high. It is the strongest extreme high there is. We're talking norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin. Whole explosion. But you don't feel jittery. You don't feel nothing. You feel like pretty normal. But if you ever get off this shit, you will be in for the worst come down ever. So you need to always take it. Always. It's the caveat. It really wasn't one, unfortunately. This is almost like a perfect drug. The caveat is the high. It, 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 and it doesn't destroy any of your neurons, it turned out. It doesn't downregulate or upregulate. It just sort of, like, increases the amount of electricity, like your fucking nerves. Like, it goes through easier. And then it's like, it's just going to express shit more often. And, like, it, it, for whatever reason, as long as you keep eating, it keeps making it fast enough. But it's not so increasingly fast it's like, you know, it just makes it work very much. <sighs> like, very, very much. Like, you're going to shit yourself the first time because it's like, you're going you're gonna to probably shit. You know, like, all of a sudden, all your serotonin goes, hey, moving my whole intestines. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and it's like, your brain is like, I am now awake. I cannot sleep. I am now very calm, but like awake, present here. I am super right now doing this. I love like doing whatever. It sure sounds great, right? And then you realize it's like if you ever get off the shit after you've been on it for any amount of time, more than like a day or two, because it takes like weeks for it to work its way out of your system. <laughs> you have a come down that's pretty rough. You know, you have a come down that's pretty fucking rough. 
You also have neurosynaptic increases. You also have neurogenesis. You also have all these wonderful, seemingly great things. But it comes at a cost. Like, you are that person now, and you can't sleep, really. You really can't sleep. I don't care what you give them. You can't really sleep. <laughs> there are some other gigaloblasts or ganglia, whatever the fucks, and then like some, some GABA stupid slowing but speeding up things, you know, re regulation stuff. There's like, re there's, it's just, it's, it's, it seems really amazing. You will be on it forever. Uh, you're dependent forever. And also, by the way, you will be addicted immediately. Immediate addiction. Immediate addiction. So you will eventually reuse it at some point. You will not. It's literally that drug. <laughs> it's also, it's got all these health benefits. I, I heal perfectly. I don't have any autoimmune disorders. I, you know, I have like stronger bones. Yeah, that was something I was going to get to. But you do. You actually do have some somewhat stronger bones. Yes, unfortunately, it seems to make it less organized or some bullshit with the calcium and it makes it like better flexy but like good at like being able to transfer loads and spring the right way and still be stiff so like it's actually pretty good at that and then your muscles it's like oh i'm gonna tear the muscles ever so slightly but i'll rebuild them i'll help them rebuild like your skin very well but it's almost no muscle really interaction almost at all so it's like you get a little more toned you turn gray. You also are addicted. You can't sleep. Your brain actually removes plaques and shit way easier. Neurospinal fluid actually goes through better. Yeah, it waves the wave that they. Yeah, no, it travels through better. Seems to grab more shit, and on the way out, because it like has those little pokey stick things. It's all about the size and shit, apparently. But if you, once you get it right, it's like, boop, you're done. It's good. It's really good. Except, no, you are highly addicted. You will you almost never to get off this stuff. I'm not kidding. You'll probably spend resources trying to make the shit. Because that's, that's how much you will enjoy that shit. <laughs> Which it's like, that's really not good for you. <laughs> Half of a refrigerant? Yeah. I was like, what am I doing? What, do what does this have on the impact? You know, because people will breathe it. What's it going to do to the atmosphere? You know, it's shit like that, right? I mean, the, I want to know its carcinogenic profile if it had one. I wanted to know its toxicity. I wanted to know anything about it. So I had to run those tests. And, you know, like me, being me, I'm like, you know what? There's an easy enough way to, like, turn a brain body and all these other things into a hardware driven executable like cpu if you can measure all these different like little things then like if you run electricity through like a standard fucking cpu but it's you know chopped up in the right way lithography <laughs> you know then it's like hey now you have a hardware version of a person set up with whatever genome you decide to do it with for the most part, if you can run them in, in enough series or parallels and all the rest of it, you've got pretty much a hard, you got a body. And I'm like, yeah, no, so that means I, all I need to do is brute force and algorithmic, you know, bullshit with like neural networks, every single possible, like feasible, better change for anything genetic wise. And then I'm like, all right, yeah, no, I can just add this into there. This is what this value should plug into. And then feed it in, and it's like, oh, shit. So I'm like, oh, I want perfect immortality. I'm fucking tired of this bullshit. Or, you know, more or less biological good enough or immortality, you know what I mean? That kind of stuff. Give me longer-lasting memory. And I'm like, yeah. And you know what I landed on? The most easiest, simplest solutions are. And you know that, that thing that, that's a protein that checks your, your DNA after your cells divide? 
Well, yeah. If we alter that stupid fucker's code to be like, no, you go into stem cell mode, and then you grow with the same code that you have, or an altered code with whatever version that you want it to be, you now have immortality. Biological, physical, not the mental. And I was like, all right, you know, well, cerebral spinal fluid, there should be, like, some stuff that it fucking, you know, it's, it's, so it's like there should be a way to tap into that and then, like, have it kind of glomp onto any neurons that are, like, damaged, might need repair, might need to be there. You know, they're saying, oh, I'm trying to grow. I'm like, oh, it's sending out whatever this bullshit signal is. So it's like, oh, yeah, no. Hey, what do you know? more connections, more neurons, you know, get rid of the bad things, and like, and then it's like, oh, right, yeah, no, huh, 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 that should work, and then the eyes have their own fucking version of something, I'm sure you could just inject or some shit into that, same thing with your ears, because apparently they're already like, injecting stem cells into your eardrums will apparently help a little bit with hearing, as they already have a couple studies about that. I'm hard of hearing, so I kind of keep up to date on that a little bit. <laughs> you know, that's a thing. Um, it's not perfect. And I'm like, you know what? I don't need it to be, truthfully, and at all. I don't, in fact, need to do any of that. I only need it to program something with a virus or some shit like that to go make more of yourself. And the correct amount. And that should be achievable to be figured out with this design. So that turned into a perfect design that makes it so I can achieve my biological part that I need to do as well as I can, but then it was like, no, 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 something's wrong here, you know, I've got, like, no memory after, like, 300 some odd years, it's kind of bullshit, you know, and I was like, how the hell do I encode memory, I was like, that's for another time, for another day, fuck you. Really? Yeah, I've already got fucking 300 years to figure it out. Fuck you. I'll figure it out later. <laughs> Besides, this thing should tell me. Eventually. Somehow. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then I was like, oh, right, 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 right. But you know what? I can encode. If I, if I can make my DNA, change, you know, like that kind of stuff, it should take us like 10 years to change a large amount of our overall cell structure to just kind of like be all brand new, younger versions of itself. If it's just polymer length and stuff like that, you know, then it's like, and I still have it go after the sniffies. It's like the sentient or sacient or whatever cells are dead cells. They're not cancer though. They're not, but like they're dead cells that are there. And it's like, you know, they should have like a weird smell to them putting off something, you know what I mean? Cancers do it. Why wouldn't they, you know? And I'm like, yeah, no, they, they probably should, but they, they're turning it off to fool our immune sets because they're normally supposed to get rid of it. Which means it's like putting off a different thing. It's got There's got to be something there, so it's like figure out what the fuck that is. I don't give a shit. And then have them target it. You know what I mean? And then it's like, all right, well, what about cancer? And then cancer turns into like, uh, well, there's this DNA from like a large amount of these very large animals. That basically say, I don't get cancer, bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know how that works. But, that is what they do. <laughs> I'm sure I can add that in there. So, why not? You know, whatever, whatever. <laughs> so I can just make them like the blue whales or elephants that never get cancer. You know, or very rarely. <laughs> you know? And so... That should be fine, you know, and then it's like, oh, there, I'm requesting more carbon. Why, says the immune system, and it's like, because sugar, I need it to live. It turns out cancer likes sugar, and it flourishes with more sugar in the system. And I'm like, eh, it's suspicious. Kill. <laughs> Die, cancer! You die now! <laughs> You're also requesting more blood for some reason. You don't need that there. <laughs> you should be perfectly smooth. Baby soft. <laughs> no blemishes. <laughs> what you got over there? Ooh, that's cancer. Die, 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 says immune system. 
And it's like, oh, you know, all I need to do if it's going to attack anything else and it's going to heal, it's like, no, 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 don't attack us. We're the right stuff now. No autoimmune disorder. You know what I mean? And it's like, hey, what's that? What? That used to be my fucking bad neuron that didn't produce enough dopamine because, like, I have Parkinson's. And why the hell doesn't it? <laughs> and it's like, well, there you go. Done. Right? <laughs> You know, like, hey, I just fixed a way to f replace that neuron. That's that's easy enough. Hey, you, this says you want to do that. You're not doing that, so buy, and then now this one, and we're going to regrow it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, but what about the electricity? And it's like, it stores the electricity. I don't know how the fuck that, that, that one works, honestly, because it's looping electricity signals of neurons that apparently are, are brain's memories, and that got me thinking, because we're almost there, back to the heat pump, don't worry. It's all, it's all coming together. So like, that's the interstellar right there. I need that for interstellar travel. Because otherwise, it's like, I'm not going to get there in time. If I can't get this to... And, you know, I, like, I don't want to, like, deal with irradiation and all this other stuff. So, even if I'm going 1G acceleration, somehow, we'll get there. Now, it's like, alright, alright, I got to get this to work. I got to get this to work. So it's like I should have gotten most of it to work for the most part. How does memory work again? This, right, okay. You know, there's ways to store it in protein. Like a magnetic, you know, sort of snapshot. Because it's, a, it's an electrical signal traveling down a line which creates an electrical field. I don't care what it is, it should create it. It should create potential. Which then means it's like, if I can get something that records that, I can shove that into some organ somewhere else or maybe a compressed version in my DNA or an alternate DNA that it builds that uses that as its form of a hard drive memory in all of our DNA. And by that I mean cells, not DNA. You know, and it's like that should work. If I can get it to scan enough, there should be a way to, like, combine it. It just needs to know roughly the things that it needs to know. And that one became, like, a kind of... I'm going to deal with that in 300 years. <sighs> Back to the heat pump. And I'm like, okay, so there's this, this cool, like, thermal photovoltaic. It's apparently 40%. It's not 40%. It's not. I wanted it to be, I wanted it so badly to be, it's not. But then it's like, okay, but you know, cooling solar panels makes them more efficient. Adding basic designs to increase the amount of photons hitting it should work. And then it's like you're reducing the amount of photons, though, if you're utilizing something that happens to be within uh, the way of it hitting it. And then this guy comes out with his wonderful glowing styles. And I'm like, you know what? You, you just almost got it, Robert. We have rubies. We have other gemstones that actually amplify light signals. Photons. We have night vision goggles. We have this stuff. We could just add that to that, but then we run the risk of it burning. And those things dying because they're not really made for that. You know what I mean? And it's like, I'm sure that some innovation can occur and we can get some uh, roughly decent designs that will be able to be cooled so they'll last longer. And then, of course, the solar panels to be cooled too to last longer. And bingo bongo, I've got a more efficient solar panel. It's just a little, lot more expensive, depending on what version of the uh, photon thing you're, you're adding to it. <laughs> like, rubies? Really? I mean, those are easy enough to make. In a, un unfortunately for everyone here, they're actually kind of easy enough to make. <laughs> they would destroy your entire ruby market, but, like, they're not that hard to make. <laughs> we can make diamonds. We can make rubies in mass. That's not hard. But then it was like, oh, the, the, the rubies are the, the hard, you, we don't need that. You know, that's one particular wavelength of light. You'd have to go through and make a multi-spectral rainbow of the stuff. 
and I just, just I don't want to do that. And then so I was like, all right, yeah, no, no one would really want to. And the night vision goggles, they have a particular material that happens to increase photons when it hits it. And they don't orientate themselves, really. But we don't need that. That's not a problem for us. It's fine. And I'm like, right, right, right. But you know, what isn't fine, though, is the amount of space of an umbrella I have to put around this thing of these other materials that simply just increase photons. And it's only usually in a particular wavelength of light. And, you know, unfortunately enough, anyone here listening in, I've decreased its wavelength often, sometimes, or it's no longer the right wavelength. They don't make the right material. And my first initial solution was like, you know, I can just switch this over to a different photovoltaic that happens to take that wavelength and layer it. it shouldn't be too hard. Eh, is what I want to. Yeah, no, it's like, eh, why, why, eh, everybody, eh, why? And I'm like, okay, we're getting there. There's a reason why. This thing kind of suffers from its own issues of I don't make energy back from heat I don't care how much light I absorb I don't make most of my energy from the light at all heat is what you're looking for heat heat is the vast majority of what light wants to turn into it transfers energy and makes it go jiggle faster and you get heat that's what you want that's a lot more energy if you could get that out of it. We have ways of doing that, but they're not that efficient. They're really not. We have the way of pointing mirrors at like the solar tower, and it doesn't really make the type of heat that you want. It doesn't really make the type of steam that you need. We do this sodium, you know, salt battery and it comes with its own issues things can spill or break and then next thing you know it's all downhill from there and they don't use them anymore for that very reason <laughs> but it's like you know what i'm i'm not quite done yet because it's like there's no reason why i can't get heat from cooling this sucker and that heat if i can concentrate it like a heat pump i can use that heat for my advantage and then I, I was like, they have to have ways of making heat turn into electricity. Sterling, thermoelectric, photo fucking, oh my god, I went through so much stuff. I was like, nah, oh, fuck. I couldn't get anywhere. I couldn't get anywhere. <laughs> I was like, all of this just, it's like, yeah, so I got a slightly more, like, I'm putting a heat pump now that you're putting into, like, a radiator that's it's a whole bunch of thermal electric generator material this is all stupid it's like i'm getting somewhere with it and i'm like no i'm not <laughs> no i'm not but it's like it, it was cool concept fun i liked it it led me to where i am now so it's like you gotta go there you gotta take chances do it yeah, so it doesn't work whatever screw it i want the basic design done first then i'll refine that's what you do when you concept design. You want the thing to be what it is. So how do I make this more efficient? I was like, make it more layered. It's what everybody says. And it's like, no, no, no. It's more expensive. Blah, 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 blah. I get so annoyed with everyone. So I'm like, the, the, the basic premise is that you don't really need to. What? You don't. You don't really need It's a pretty freaking efficient. It's like 25 to 30% efficient already, depending on what you are using for your perka... Per Percosivit or something like that. I don't. I don't know. I probably did not say that right. But like, whatever it is, that's what that is. And it's like, okay, so I can maybe make my thermal electric generator because we don't have that yet. That wasn't designed yet. You don't have that yet. Leave that one alone. That waste heat generator I just told you about is not there. <laughs> it doesn't exist. I didn't have it. This is well past. That 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 thermoelectric waste generator heat system was only like about a month to a half a month ago. So just leave it alone. This was like months and months and half a year ago maybe. Way longer ago. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm trying to figure this out. I'm trying to freaking figure this out. And it's like, I still like my idea of turning the photons and, and amplification processes. You know, there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to do that 
if I'm able to concentrate just the right way with the right nanomaterial lenses that amplify the photon signal and more specifically photons because it's like okay so 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 wait 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 and say like, wait 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 no so we're not technically increasing but then because of the heat value that is in here it wants to transfer its energy into its amplitude or whatever they call it i forget what the hell it is at this point i don't remember but the light energy that we're seeing you know which is what we're wanting. So if we do that the correct way, we should be able to achieve a greater result than if we didn't have it. And you too, you do. And especially if you make the solar photovoltaic specified to the wavelength that we're really trying to gain the energy from and then layering it with only up two, maybe three layers tops for the various wavelengths we're gonna see with this because there's going to be spikes because we're basically putting another lens that's in front of it which means it filters it to effectively two to three maybe even only just one wavelength of light that you're mostly going to see so that really manages to increase the efficiencies you can see because it's like you're getting it there and that's a lot more because it's converting the other wavelengths into that specific wavelength or wavelengths therein, thus increasing the energy you can get from it. And that's what the big moment was, but then it was like, heat, heat, oh my god, there's so much, fuck, I made a laser pointer, this is a problem. It's not oriented, it's not a laser point, but it feels like it. It's, it's, whew. It's like this one particular wavelength of light. It's also coherented now. Because I was like, I don't want it going that way. I want it there. And only there. I want you literally only there. <laughs> I'm making an umbrella that's encapsulated. This one solar photovoltaic gets the wavelength of all of the hemisphere I can put into it but I can't put it into a full hemisphere because that's an infinite amount of curve and so you can't do that so you know like there's there's a caveat to that but it's like that's a lot and, and a lot <laughs> of, of light that hits one area that's one particular wavelength and very directed now <laughs> so it's kind of like a laser shield Lens that amplifies that photon wavelength, <laughs> which is it's, which is all I'm doing, yeah. <laughs> and it's like it works really well. Why is it burning? Because it's a laser pointer. <laughs> I'm basically firing the sun at it like way too hard. It's a real problem now. <laughs> And it's like, oh no, it works perfectly for your regular solo, and we can cool that off. Should work fine. Nobody panic here. What's the problem? The problem is it burns. The problem is that thing's unstable after a certain point. Like, that thing wants to degrade faster now. Like, you used to got 10, maybe 15 years, maybe if you're lucky, 20 years, and you'd have, like, a pretty consistent amount of electricity over time. This gets you five. This burns it. It's burning it. <laughs> It's burning your soda of all the taste. You just don't want that. Even with the multiple layers, it's like, ah. Even if you cool it, it's like, <laughs> Even if you put it into, like, a nice vacuum. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, I have to, like, make sure that this gets replaced every so often. You know, this outside freaking umbrella part has to be replaced. Because it's like, oh, I die after a while. You know, I just don't make any more extra photons. Because I'm, like, lame like that. Which is a whole... Uh, <laughs> yeah, why is that? Can I lick your last 15, girl? Can you go the distance? No. Fine. Whatever. I like them quick anyways. <laughs> But, like, anyways, 
then I was I was hitting upon many other many other roadblocks on that design. I was like, yay, 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 this is really just because of heat. Everything I'm doing is losing itself to heat. Everything I'm doing is losing itself to heat. If I could only make this fucking thing work with heat. Oh my fucking god. I was getting so fucking pissed off about this stupid shit for so long. <laughs> you have no idea. I was... Nowhere after a while. I was literally nowhere. I was nowhere with this design. I was like, oh yeah, no, it seems nice. I'll be able to sell it. It's fucking con job, but sure. It's like, we're totally better than everybody in the competition. Literally by leagues. You don't even last about this long, but it's leagues. <laughs> I'm laughing about that silently because it's like, what the hell? Oh, no, 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 no. I can't put out a product like that. That would destroy me mentally. I can't do that. I have, like, you know, integrity, dignity. I care about people, you know, that kind of thing. This is already hard enough for us to manufacture. That's an environment. I'm trying to be good for the environment, not bad for the environment. Fuck it in the hell, man. <laughs> so it's like, all right, all right. Cool. I need to learn how to make better solar photovoltaics is where my head went. I'm not even lying. It's where my head went. So my head was like, ah, I just got to make this better. I looked into that. And I'm like, you bastards. <laughs> I don't know anything about electrical engineering. You stupid sucking. God damn it. I don't really know anything. I know the basics. It's like this, that, and that, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm like, I'm, um, ah, God damn it. I don't know where to go with this. <laughs> I don't know. What does it do? It does the thing and it drops to a lower... St okay, so that I can work with. <laughs> I just need to know the material properties that make it do that. that I don't know anything about that. That's I'm sorry. So I need to look for that. <laughs> and I'm like, how do I make light be more efficient at doing this one particular motion? Oh my god, I'm going to be out here for a while. <sighs> I'm going to be... This is like going over so many compounds, so many nano, quantum... Oh my god. <sighs> I got so pissed with it. I was like, I'm trying to figure out how to make a perfect material? Or even good enough? Uh, that's better than what that is. <sighs> Because there's this stupid, like, thing that apparently it's like, oh, because of these these electronical, you know, stuff that I don't know about. But basically means you only get to, like, this percentage of efficiency. And I'm like, this is stupid. I get so annoyed. I was like, this is stupid. Where do I see this? Where's this math? This is the same math over here in this stupid thing. <laughs> Yeah, you know, my, my head, it's it's basically kind of just similar math. So I started looking at, like, how do I make superconducting materials? And it's like, pressure. Right, pressure. We know about pressure. Pressure should be fine. You can't measure it because of blah, 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 wah, wah, wah. It's retracted. It didn't work. It was never superconducting. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other guy, he was definitely super conductive. <laughs> and I'm like, that's cool. That's neat. That's fine. Okay. Nah. I still think, let's, let's operate on the, on the idea and principle that it did do something better than what a copper could do. Still, if you get like 98% superconducting, way better than 20 or some shit, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, get 99, I'll take that. Right? Like, that's way better. It's not superconducting, but like, better, you know? Might as well. And so I started looking into nano metamaterials again. My first foray realistically, and I came up with the design back when I was in an RV at Chandler, because I wasn't allowed to live 
and sleep inside the house because my younger sister, while at work most of the damn day, was not going to let me sleep on the couch or some shit. They were going to sell the fucking house later. Anyways, turned out there's a way to excite those very stupidly simple materials and solar photovoltaics into producing electricity for you at a very easily understood rate. And if you add electricity to them the right way, they're already at a nearly already going to quantumly tunnel state over to the next set of atoms right next to them. We already use this for computers. Ooh, CPU. Oh, hey, hi there, CPU. Been a while. And so it's like, hey, you know what? If I make electromagnetic fields and I compress this just a little bit, not with the fields, no, I compress the material just a little bit, make them a little closer, just a little. And it's like, okay, all right, I do that, you know. And then it's like, all right, all right, uh, you know, what's the, the, the hertz rate that we're going for? 120 hertz here in America? Is, is, is it uh, the AC current? Yeah. I can make that happen. That's not hard. I can make a sine wave with, like, something, you know, it's already compressed, and then I, like, bang on it, you know, at the same time, at the same rates. And then I make those little electromagnetic fields around this. That's all I need to do. That shapes electrons. It makes massive resistance to certain directions of quantum tunnel probability. Okay, I'm, I'm getting there, I'm getting somewhere, I'm, 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 I'm just, you know, it's all right, you know, and then it's like, all right, all right, all right, okay, okay, it's not going to work, that's not going to work, so it's like, all right, I need to do something else, I need to make two electrons fire opposite directions and switch with each other, and it's like, all right, so I've got these things called lasers, apparently, and they're really neat, they're nice, they, they work fairly well, and I can put batteries right next to them, and I only need a little bit of electricity to run through that, to power that. And if I know the precise location and timing of these particular events, I can excite the uh, atoms into producing a quantum tunnel electron event, electron quantum tunneling event, that is. And because they're close enough, because I have pressure, because I happen to have it set up to where it will absolutely go where I want it to, I now have produced what is effectively a very highly efficient, but not superconducting design that doesn't have electromagnetic fields to get in the way of resistance to the movement of electrons going from one side to another. And back again. In a very, very particular pulsing wave formation. That coincides with the compression of the material. If I time that right. And it turned out, it's like, oh, I need to go higher than 120 hertz. I need to time this very particular, very high frequencies. To make it work for chunks of the material. To make it much more efficient. And be able to basically create a superconductor for effectively nothing. <laughs> it should work just fine. The material should work and perform adequately just fine. Everything should work just fine. Instead of trying to make the most perfect material ever, I just needed to make the right conditions to make it form the process that I want every time consistently. So it's like, all right, it's getting somewhere. Because it turned out it had a, some fatal flaws, if you didn't know. Yeah, it does. Uh, turns out, the materials that you want for this to work as best as possible isn't silicon. And by that, I mean silicone. <laughs> right? Because, oh, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers, I love it. I love the Snickers. I love the giggles. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Because it's it's not. That's that's not what we're doing here. <laughs> I wish it was though. 
I wish, I wish, I wish. So I was like, all right, so what about like quantum tunnel events with a liquid metallic hydrogen? And that should be easier with a carbon nanotube with inside of a carbon nanotube. Twisted, by the way, so that way I allow for less likely escaping of the gas while also under pressure to having the oh my gosh this is magnetic turns out there are twisted graphene layers that are magnetic so we see that yep and it worked <laughs> just got to do it the right way and it's like how do you do this this one was a doozy let me tell ya it was actually pretty easy <laughs> I hate to tell you that. I'm going to get to it. Give me a second. And we're going to get all the way to the quantum thing later. I haven't forgotten. Still there. And we still have the rocket engine and the heat pump and the whole thing and how it's connected. I'm telling a story. You're going to listen. All right. And it's like, oh, this doesn't work. It just doesn't. It's stupid. It's like, oh, this is stupid. It doesn't work. It just doesn't work. It's too uh, annoying. Really? Yeah, no, it doesn't do my quantum tunnel jump thing that I want. And it doesn't make the right kind of electron flow that I'm looking for. Uh, at all. Yeah, it's annoying. Not with uh, hydrogen, anyways. So it's just getting me pissed. But you know what it did turn into? Wonderful, 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 amazing little things called a qubit repository quantum computer. Because I can make little tiny areas with these massively dense Faraday cages that happen to have electromagnets that can run through them and a dense enough fluid that will react to a proton or something coming off of it once the apparently decidedly wiggly non-real wobbly state it's in drops to a more real more distinguished but still less real than we know state in your mind for its quantum calculations of whatever it wants to do and then it's like oh yeah no but i got holes in there I can use lasers to just cool the fucking thing down easily. It should be denoised quite significantly. So this should work out. And it did. It does. It works out quite well, actually. <laughs> what do you know? You know? I got electricity that flows. I can detect it where I need it to. It's denoised quite significantly. I got to put a lid on it. Sure. A couple layers. Whatever. You know, a couple vacuum, you know. Hey. But hey, I got I got a fucking massive 2,000 qubits. Okay, well, that's pretty something. <laughs> that are like working in incredibly high precision. So that's wonderful. <laughs> Should work, it should work. Should is an emphasis of the word. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, okay, 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 that's neat. It allows me to set the data up, have it fall. It's not very fast. I get a lot of them, though. So it, it's more powerful than anything could ever be, but it's slow as fuck, and I hate it, kind of, as a result of this, and I don't like slow, so that's a problem I'm having with it. <laughs> I have to go ning 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 What's going on? Oh, okay, now it's got me to think. <laughs> and I'm like, that's annoying. <sighs> How do I make that better? We're getting there. Heat pump, I see you. I haven't forgotten about you. May have forgotten about covering some of the other stuff, but we're going to get there. Don't worry. I'm going to make you powerful. Just you wait. So I'm like, I'm looking at this. I'm poking and prodding. I'm like, this is how qubits. This is how quantum mechanics. This is wave functions. This is field theory. This is, what is this? This is, oh my God, there's a lot of weirdisms here. 
that are going on. This is annoying. Counterintuitive quantum vacuum pressure should be expanding with inside of this. Did you know that? That's obviously producing its own quasi-particles and little field waves that are collapsing it, so that way it interacts. And then it, it interrupts to being not as high precision. I wonder why I have these issues. 2,000, I'm using 500 at most, because, like, I have to do error correcting. <laughs> And it's like, what is that? What is error correcting? I uh, have to check the results with other things to see the most probable likelihood answer. This is boring as fuck. I hate this. <laughs> Everything about this is statistical probabilities. I fucking hate statistical probabilities because that should be effectively where it is the moment it is. It might not be like that to us from our relative perspective. But the fact of the matter is, is we don't know how far down fields go. It could go down to the literal nothingness point of infinity nothing. Point of nothing. I like saying this word. It's going to come up later. You're going to want to know that word. Nothingness. It goes infinity minus one and then infinity. Or whatever the fuck it is. Or it could go to some other pixelated version because my measuring stick is the smallest. And therefore, we have measured this to be what this is. And that is what it is. And we didn't know what anything was until we detected it. And I'm like, that's right. You didn't. But it knew. It doesn't matter what you knew, you idiot. <laughs> that doesn't make shit at all of any kind of sense. It knew. It knew what it was. The moment it was created, the moment it was shifted, it was interacted to some form, some way, and therefore its function collapsed. No matter what it is you fucking think, that's what happens. You can't do what it is you're saying you're doing. Quantum fucking computers don't work that way. I have a different design that actually works. <laughs> It's a shit design. That's not how you run quantum computers. <laughs> no, no, you do. I dot way better than you. So here's how you make an electron sheet. Yeah, you know, you know these things that are like electrons. You have one there, not there, one there, and so on and so forth. You get a bit. You know what I mean? Make a sheet of that. You hold it in some electromagnetic fields. You know what I mean? It's not too hard to do, it turned out. It's like you don't need to do much with that. Except move it around. Jiggle it. Keep moving it around. Vibrate that fucking up and down and around. Is really what that is. Now, it's a very particular type of vibrational thing. Because it's like, actually, you can measure that indirectly if you happen to use that the correct way. And if you put another sheet above it, and you put another sheet above it, you got a three-sheet design that happens to have what is a covered quantum qubit system that happens to have its spin and everything else affected. No, they, they don't want to do this. Don't get me wrong, they really don't. But this is the best part. You don't have to give a shit about that. I mean that. That's the best part. Best part is you don't actually have to do that in some way, shape, or form that ends up making you go, oh my god, they're spreading apart from each other. I'm like, yeah, 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 no, 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 I know, I know, I know. Give it a second. <laughs> Give it a second. And this is one of the best designs I ever came up with, with computation methodologies. Because that's a bullshit, terrible, shit CPU that means nothing. And I'm the one that designed it. So, like, fuck you. <sighs> but that's what that is. Okay, so it's like, alright, alright. We're almost there. We're almost at the home stretch. For this. Because that's basically all I did. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait. What are we doing here? So, as we make a vibration through sheets of some material, you don't really need many... You don't really need much of any kind of anything except for the baser materials that make up our reality. You can use quarks, you can use protons, you can use, if you were able to do it, neutrons. 
You can use electrons. You can patty cake, patty cake, baker's man, mix it up and drop it down. Bounce it, bounce, bounce, bounce. Look at that. It is now changing and altering its spin in a very particular pattern every fucking time. And you can set it up to release at the top every time. Every single time. Exactly like it should be. Now, you have to do it the right way. You have to have the right spreading kind of things out. All right? You need the spins to be its version of uh, whatever the fuck you want to call a bit at that point. Because to me, that means pfft, whatever. I don't care. Every single one of these, I can layer it very thick. We're talking like quarks. I can put a shit ton of quarks the right way next to each other. I just need to make sure they don't fucking fall towards each other. Which, that turned out to not be as hard as you would imagine. Apparently, you already do that. In your own labs these days. <laughs> so it's like, alright, well, whatever. They'll describe it. The quantum physicists that want to be right about everything and have a part of this, this whole design. <laughs> it's like the calculations for later, 300 years from now. <laughs> I just need to get it to work. And so it's like, this becomes a cake tower. This is what this is. It's like a da -da 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 layer, 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 layer. Each one is going to affect it. And you should know by billiard bar standards the amount of likelihood and probability of it hitting the one above and the one next to the blah and then the, uh, the ultimate, you know, hey, it's going to wiggle and wobble over to that. What's over there? You, pfft, hey, uh, get out. Oh, uh, no, come here, man. Hey, you know, that kind of shit. <laughs> And it's like, alright, if I bounce it the right way, I'm dropping and setting it up. And all I have to use is electromagnetic fields. And we're not even talking about something that's more than like 100 nanometers in size right now. <laughs> but I've got more qubits in this system that rapidly fire off fast. Because I can oscillate that motherfucker fast. And so that means I have what is the effective version of a clock rate to a qubit system. And so it's like, all right, I can scale that shit. I only need to put it in like a basic box that makes it good enough. That's all I need to do. It's, and because it's interacting so often, so many times, so frequently, it stays where it's at. In terms of its wave functionality. It should. That's how that works. Yeah. And probabilistically, it's always pretty much going to be exactly like there. And you always have correcting magnetic fields. And then, do you need lasers? I suppose you could put lasers in there if you wanted to. To really make it go, don't go that way. And then, you now have a... Massively increased in size, qubit clock rate, high rate of frequency clock rate too, well above, you know, terahertz probably, I would imagine, <laughs> that are thousands of qubits in size. And that's just one little tiny part of a massive regular silicon chip that I can use this to have like read, you know, the chip before it, read it by like simply... Oh, there's a photon expression or some... I don't give a fuck. Detect it. And then it's like, all right, then I'm going to go and send it off. Probably light speed, whatever it can do. If it's photon, it's like, I'm going to go that all the way over to whatever motherboard it needs to be. And then it's like, all right, then I now have really fast memory and I can put cache right next to it. Because I've got like this super cool nanotube cage system design and this doesn't really produce nearly as much as you would think in terms of heat it turned out <laughs> and so it's like all right put that cage denoise it even further bob's your uncle effectively i'm also cooling it you know what i mean like so it's like boom done 
I can stack this two, three, four, however many layers, because it's like that's only like a few hundred at best nano layers thick. I can easily produce more of that, and then like those that's got liquid, liquid hydrogen, you know, liquid metallic hydrogen, which means all I need to do is produce the siphon effect. Yeah, heats up that way, it expands, it does this whole thing. You know, I can active pump it. There's no reason why I can't put a lever on one of those things and simply just do like a piezo, no, not piezo, but like, what is that? The little, you know, hearing aid, our balanced armature, balanced armature design that goes and just squirts it up, goes up to the top, comes back down, recompresses itself, keeps it going. And guess what? Fluid that's electrically conductive happens to produce a Faraday cage and also a decent, f yeah, yeah, okay, reduction in field for interference upon other qubit systems. <laughs> and it's like, Bingo bongo, the uh, deed is done. The best computer that would ever be is now done. <laughs> Literally, I don't think you can get better than that. You just scale it. Now, back to the heat pipe. I need a fucking goddamn superconductor. That's right, that's what that was. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm just freaking, you you stupid, you <laughs> And I started looking into, like, other bullshit, and I'm like, how does this heat affect this? Can I make it hot, and it'll do what I want? And it turns out there are plasmas that are superconductor. You know, and it's like, oh my gosh, no. But, cool. <laughs> I can compress plasma to the point where it's like, eh? Why not? All I have to do is stabilize it. It's superconducting, eh? <laughs> you know, the eh's have it. There's a reason why the eh's have it. It's like, that sounds dangerous, and it heats. And if it doesn't in any way not superconduct, it rapidly explodes if you ever scale. <laughs> so it's like, I would love to. It's a wonderful design. It does work. It just doesn't work. You know, so it's like, okay, I had to leave that one alone. Ah, you're beautiful. Bastards. <laughs> Anyways. So it's like, okay, 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 okay. Where do I go with this now? And then I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm, I'm able to, like, force home production of individual atoms and chemical freaking stuff. So it's like, why don't I just, like... Five force this. You know, four around, one in the center. This makes it so that pressure squeezes it, and then it's like always right next to each other. It gets as close as it can. It technically has its fields in our link. Should want to basically make the damn thing do its whole thing. And it's like, oh, I need to order them. You know what I mean? I need to order these things in the right way. And then I need to make a, the stupid fields with magnets around that. And that's not going to be enough, kind of. Can it? Nah. Maybe, uh... And I started looking at, like, electromagnetics to see if I can, like, hone in some of this shit and, like, force some lasers, you know, to certain areas to really kind of... A little over there. So I don't need much. I don't need much at all. I just need the right amount. And I was like, is ionization going to work? And I'm like, yeah, that would be really nice if I could make ionization. But the problem is I don't want to use gamma rays at any level ever. So I was like, all right, you know, that's a mirror. And that's a radio wave, very low frequency. It basically looks like a fucking line at that distance. Barely changes, barely vibrates. And if I can bounce that sucker as much as I can, I can basically make what is the equivalent of a fucking gamma ray in its relative position. By the way, I use that for fissiling material. 
because I was like, that should still produce a fissileable reaction as an ionization reaction. And then I looked into that. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I was like, no, it doesn't. That doesn't do that. All right, moving on. <laughs> I wish it did. I really did. It would have been so much nicer to break apart fucking atoms with, like, fucking radio waves at low, you know, energies, but, like, extremely high amounts of frequency, you know, bouncing back and forth kind of things. It just doesn't do it. <laughs> I wish, though. God, do I wish. <sighs> Maybe it's so much easier to fissile heavy materials you can make out of, like, basic fusion designs that take into account, like, utilizing you know, gases that soak up, you know, neutrons. And then you you can use that as, like, a, a way to keep the whole thing going, but it didn't work, so. Anyways, um, then I was, like, looking at some other stuff, and looking at some more stuff, and then I got bored, and bored, and bored, and I, like, fired shit at it for a while, and didn't do it, and I was like, this doesn't work, it's not knocking anything, how do I do this the right way that I want to do it? Because all I need to do is excite it to a area that makes the most probabilistic sense. And how do I make really good strong fields the right way I want to? Really stupidly strong, I'm gonna fuck you over, stay there electron kinds of fields. Turned out electromagnetic waves are a lot weirder than you might imagine. Because just like regular electromagnetic waves produced from a coil, and then like ones that are both a particle and a wave, but that doesn't really work because there are other interactions that make it seem like a wave that are making the observation change, but it really just ends up becoming like a filter kind of thing, or probabilistic levels of interaction, which is what quantum physics basically just accounts for, which is its own weird thing. It's like, I know that there's stuff there, and it'll probably hit it, and I can't account for all of it. So, like, probabilistically, it'll be this. And after all of our tests, it says it's probably like this. And I'm like, there's this amount of energy here. We're swinging around on a fucking orbit around the star. We're spinning on our planet. We have electromagnetic radiation everywhere. There's a ginormous magnet that keeps us alive. There's like lots of charged particles with the atmosphere alone in its own damn way. Then the ground itself, the everything, everything. What are you? Everything should have a field. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything, and then it's connected in its own brain-like way. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Eleven-dimensional bullshit. You know what I mean? It has its own indirect pressure, then indirect, like, field, you know, moving things, and then it's like, but, you know, this over here shouldn't affect that over there, and I'm like, that's not how that works. An explosion still produces a 360-degree wave, so it should still hit that. And you don't know how it's going to travel and bounce throughout the, uh, the rest of it, so... Unless, actually, wait, no, you should be able to test that. So it's like, now you got chaos theory mathematics in our quantum physics. And I'm like, well, it should work. And it's 11-dimensional physics. You know, string theory, basic stuff. It's... <laughs> Turns out that's already, like, quantum field theory or some shit. But, like, it's basically measuring the amount of interactional play that it can't measure because... Dohoi, we exist with atoms that kind of suck to try and like measure things. And they're relatively like, oh, I don't know, what's the word? Spacious. <laughs> but hey, hey, you know, don't take my word for it. You know, they're they're kind of like not as spacious as you think then too sometimes. And then it's like, I've got this radiating outward nuclear pressure and shit. And it's like, I'm like a star, like with my heliosphere. And I've got this other stuff that seems to be like an orc cloud. I'm kind of like a, electrons everywhere. And it's like, 
Yeah, but you're not. You're definitely where you are. You're just moving around really quickly and you're changing your energy state based upon the quantum fucking pressure fluctuations, quantum thermodynamics, that are there. Not to mention your fields that are constantly interacting with you as well. You with it, you also with all the rest of them. They're still there. You might not be able to measure them super well. You got a Higgs boson, great. But like, what do you do to all the rest of it that should exist? Which should determine you where you are pretty well, I would say. We just can't do it. <laughs> like, they're doing it to you. Which basically shoves Bell's inequality up everyone's asses and says, I don't care what you say! I'm real, bitch! <laughs> we got to it. We got to the quantum stuff. I'll get to the other stuff later. <laughs> so I posited this. It's like, well, you know, the fact of the matter is, is they should interact the moment they're created. Whatever it's done. Creating. As far as I'm aware, fields expressly go on infinitely. Or maybe as close as we could ever devise a method to get to. And it's like, they should go down infinitesimally small, massively large. And then it's like, that was created, it was already determined to be that. You just didn't know until you detected it over there and there. Which, of course, interacts with all this other bullshit. Which, of course, then gives you this rough approximation of what the hell is there. And it's like, when does it actually get determined? When does it not actually get determined? Is my real question to be real? That's my question. Is it real the moment or is it not because it's not even here in hidden variables we're talking about all the regular stuff that we have everywhere there's no variables it's still relativistic to our perceptual styles of what it could be but what i look at at a wave function turns into i don't know there's this stuff in between and <laughs> I think it was this, and it seems to be this. The, the, the probabilities line up. And I'm like, that's cool. But everything I just said still lines up with your shit. <laughs> that's kind of the problem I'm having with quantum field theory and all this other stuff. And I still like my quantum thermodynamics and the 11 dimensional chaos theory mathematics that deal with your field theory quite snappily, predictively wise, with your probabilistic factors. So I'm like, whatever. I need to predict this stuff anyways. But it's getting annoying. Every time I look at it, I'm like, ah, why can't I make you super fucking conductor? Because they can't go that, and you can't shoot it the way you want. No, I'm thinking about this wrong. <laughs> I am. I'm thinking about this wrong. Yeah, that's what this is. I didn't do this the right way. I didn't make a single one, and they wrapped around multiple other ones. That then basically try and do a small little area, which I'm going to describe that a little better. You have your four with your center on either side. And then you have, like, in that center, you've got your four around that, and then, like, your center above that, and then everything else. Now, if you squeeze it the right way, you know, and it's like, all right, so, and then I shove in electricity, but it's like, oh, actually, you kind of do, kind of don't. It's kind of a weirdism. It's like the whole AC current thing that uses the, the waves of uh, electricity on the outside and inside for current and all that stuff to produce what is effectively a, I'm going to oscillate and resonate frequency over to there. And I'm going to be cool about it. And I'm like, sure, I'll take that Tesla. I'll use that for my quantum field that's going on with that electron. And go, every time I want to. <laughs> to wherever the fuck I need it to go. 
every time. <laughs> Which then turns into, that one's the outflow, that one's the inflow, this one goes and it goes down that way, backwards around the outside, this one goes forward on the inside, that creates this weird little fucking directly weird AC current thing. It's direct and it's alternating at the same time, and it makes it go boop every fucking time. <laughs> I just gotta put like little coils around it, you know. That's all I gotta do. It just, just squeezes it with a tokamak, effectively. And gee, what do you know? Boop 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 boop. It's gotta have another one on the outside, and then you know you eventually get to that point where it's like, okay, on this side we got it. This is all we needed. This little circle here is basically ninety nine percent efficient as a Superconductor. It's a DC AC hybrid system. Using a MOSFET like style of potential energy difference to create a potential probabilistic quantum tunnel event for electrons and the material they're involved to produce a directional electron flow that is nearly entirely superconducting. At least, theoretically, should do it. <laughs> Jab. Finally. All right, where are we going with this? Oh, my God, look at this. This heat pipe now suddenly works so much more efficiently. Heat pipe, heat pipe, heat pipe. What about this pump, man? I mean, pumps are annoying. Can I just make siphons do their job? Then they do the job for me. I don't have to design a pump no more. I got stuck on pumps. I hate pumps. You'll learn that pumps are just fucking shit after a while. <laughs> They're all the same. Like pressure here, not there, blah, 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 blah. Transfer of energy this, bullshit. Transfer of energy that, bullshit. Heat here, not there. Making more efficiencies wherever you can, bullshit. Which, I didn't even talk about those turbos on that, that engine. And by the turbos, I mean turbines. They're utilizing a very efficient method of the heat coming in on one side and the cooling on another to increase the amount of outright energy capture because you're increasing the deficit as in low pressure because it's cooler on one side than the other to produce a more efficient blade design for that. Those, those turbines. And you're also able to handle higher heat loads and because it's cooled. <laughs> so then it's able to handle higher pressures. And so that's, that's, that's one of the reasons why that engine was so damn bellissimo. It's so beautiful. It's so great. It's, oh my gosh. You know. <laughs> but uh, anyways, I was like looking at this heat pipe, heat pipe. It uses wicking effects. How come we can't use his wicking effects? in heat pumps and thermal siphons. Why can't I do that? Then it should utilize that itself by utilizing heat to move itself. If you make the design efficient enough, you can theoretically get a little bit more out of whatever refrigerant you happen to use. But actually, that then turned into, you guessed it, the radiators and stuff I started using for for that <laughs> and like the capillary and all the rest of the effects for the th you, you know you're getting where this came from <laughs> so it's like this is going nowhere i've got thermal photovoltaic <laughs> and then i was like I, I fucking fine fine i'll keep working on it me and all the rest of you <laughs> i don't know i make imaginary friends they're very lonely i don't have friends be my friend. They might not be imaginary. Quantum is a thing. You never know when it comes down to that. Somehow being connected. You do have 11 dimensional connections in your brain, apparently. I read that study with some back when I uh, went to my older sister's place. I sat there and, and I read through like the study. And it was a while ago. <laughs> but it's like, it should have that. 
And it's like, and then that's an antenna, and it's looping, and it's putting out a particular signal, and then when you happen to think, then it's acting like a quantum drop of a wave function to a signaled antenna, which is then amplified in its own computational whatever bullshit fucking algorithm hard drive hardware thing it happens to have going on for brain matter stuff. And it's like, that could be quantum <laughs> or quasi. I don't know. Uh, you get good at astral projection. You know, everybody likes this one. I always like to interject. Everybody likes this one. It's the worst idea you've ever had. It's not a possible astral projection. I'm like, actually, there's some things. Maybe it's a thing. It could be. Maybe. Maybe. We've seen some stuff that seems to indicate it could be something that's statistically relevant for us to understand because it produces results more often than what is a simple blind luck kind of thing. Much like if you know someone's staring at you or not, it turns out there are some people that are better at that and landing on the yes versus no than others. So, I don't know. Astral projection to me turns into I'm firing off a signal and I'm waiting for it to be received by my receiver brain. The good old LiDAR shit. You know, you never know how you can curve that and utilize that correctly if you get the right way to do it. I mean, we have the way now, right now, of utilizing, what is what, what, what is that? Ultrasonic frequencies bouncing around, we see something around our heart. There's no reason why we can't utilize something similar to bounce around the charge or something else with the different densities of atmosphere and wrap something around similarly. Or even tap into something small and itty bitty maybe. Then it's like, how far does that nothingness really go? Because if it is infinitely nothing, it should also be infinitely large. It is both the same. You know, this is the wonderful part. I love this part. Nobody gets this part. They think it's only small. And I'm like, if you looked into it, as you went further and further down, it would spread out faster and faster and faster, appearing all Intents and purposes like our quantum vacuum pressure. But the problem is is that it's actually not really doing that. It's not actually heating up and spreading out with pressure. There's just more distance between everything as you further drop in size. And that's kind of what that is. And it's the same kind of thing. If you go bigger, it should be similar. But acceleration therein that we've measured from our perspective, which is a bit weird to me, I'm like, we're accelerating faster than the speed of light, and then we also have like some inflation that we don't understand how it just slowed down. Why did it slow? Did it ever? Did we just end up like not noticing something of like our perspective of relative time? An entropy, an entropy in time, I mean, inflation with the quantum vacuum pressure itself can be its own version of as we stretch out, but we're not stretching out because the rubber band turned into, oh, guess what, I'm still not stretched, then I did stretch, and I didn't, and I did stretch, and I didn't, and I did stretch, and I didn't, a uh, time, basically, but it's not time, it's inflation and quantum vacuum pressure, making us go towards an already determined real place and the only thing that makes us view it as time is that we're expanding towards it. And then therefore we are curving towards it. Because gravity is now expanding, pushing us away from each other. All things are now rushing away from gravity. And actually similarly, all forces. Because all forces are now a pressure exerted outwards away from. Because it's trying to fill up an infinite nothing an infinite nothing now it boggles the mind how something could curve towards so much because like inflation and vacuum pressure is making it accelerate so much but not really it's creating a curvature onto itself it makes it for our 
versions of shit perspective, that is, third to the fourth dimension, we're heading in a direction. But we're not, actually, at all. We're not. We're just expanding. We're just inflating. That's our version of time, in my particular theory of everything. Well, you know, I did some work with you know, thinking about stuff and others, I'm sure. But anyways, I have my own thing going on with this whole idea and contraption of, like, the world. Because it's like, it should be determined. It's infinite. It should have been immediate. And then we're inflating? Well, of course, because it has more stuff to inflate into. And we wouldn't really notice it the way you would think, especially with quantum vacuum pressure being there, to kind of like fill in the gaps, seemingly slow it down and make it non-existent, but now we're accelerating in a particular curved direction of space and time against the expression of outwards that is all natural forces, keeping us in place. boggles the mind and it turns into like what is what is that black hole well it should get to a certain point that then goes off into an infinitely nothing point now these particles everything else punched itself and it's spreading out it should be spreading out wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider and wider because gravity one over or inflation and r quantum vacuum pressure still on the event horizon it acts like our regularly scheduled program gravity. But once it goes into there, it flips the script, baby. It goes bang! And it goes out, 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 immediately out. Should get to a shotgun style. Breaking it up as fast as it can, faster and faster, using all the energy it can do to fucking just fight all this stupid expansion air. As in inflation, and it's quantum vacuum pressure. And then it looks like it's going off infinitely, but it's not. But it might be. I mean, you'd never get to there, because it's infinity. And so they're doomed to perpetually, but not really, go off to infinity. Because it's like, eventually, what? I'm like, well, see, that's the problem. They're going to get stuck. They have gotten to the point where they have reached equilibrium with the tug of their inflation and quantum vacuum pressure going, yeah, hey, hey. And then it's going, whoop, all right, I got a little bit more distance. Whoop, I got a little bit more distance. Whoop, I got a little bit more distance. Whoop, I got a little bit more distance. Every time it inflates and quantum vacuum pressure is adding its distance to the equation. Because, you know, not for nothing. Nothing is the absence of even distance and time and all these other things. This is something that I love to talk about. I love this stuff. Nothingness, true nothingness, means nothing. And it's like, that's where it's real and not real. That's why it's an infinity. But it's not. I say it could be supported by something. In fact, why wouldn't it be? It should be. That's my theory. You know, that's my thing. But it's not a theory because, like, I, you know, paperwork, PhD, blah, 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 blah. That's the only way to make theories now. Other people that definitely don't want this to ever be right are like, no, I believe you. I think this stands. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> whatever. But, you know, whatever to me, because it's like, oh, it's going off and 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 off. But it's like, oh, yeah, I know, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. It hit the point of, well, you know, I'm this relative amount of energy and mass and speed and direction and blah, 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 blah. That should effectively continually turn itself into a greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater and greater. And greater amount of size inside which stands with your uh, versions of um, mathematics 
should work. And it's like, all right, so then, then I have potential land. This is, I love potential land. Potential land is my favorite place because it's infinitely recursive. I love potential land. Here's how you describe potential land. Take anything that is the barest constituents of any kind of fluctuation on a field that happened to produce just enough. They go, I'm a particle. Look at me. And it's like, ah, well, so are you going to be positive or are you going to be negative? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What's what's going on here? You're at the zero zero point, not the zero 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 point, which is infinite negative, but also infinite positive. You know those two problems of the nothingness problem. Now we're gonna get into that later. And it's like okay, so I I'll, I I'm well you know I I'm I'm, a, I'm this so that way. <laughs> Because I hit a field, and this needs me. That's information traveled. Information gleaned, information now determined, and its route solidified. Now, these fields should go infinity, or infinity minus, whatever the fuck. That means it just... Nah, I'm not going infinite. And I start heading backwards. You have to start heading backwards, is what it seems like. And it's like, well, what, 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 and it's like, this is infinitely recursive problems for infinity. You thought about it wrong. We're all going to collapse onto a big old Big Bang again. No, why would that happen? Hey, you have to go infinitely out that way. You don't know. Or maybe almost. But then it has to come back. And it's like, oh, well, you know, you're nothing at that point. Do you understand how little you are? <laughs> You're not suddenly gaining energy or anything. You know, but the, hey, but, 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 wait, 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 wait. The further you go up, the further you go down. <laughs> Both ways, it should start expanding and looking more and more like another universe wants to go Big Bang style. Is what my mathematic tells me. That's what that says to me. And as a result of this, you have to wonder what it is you think for your energy levels, you happen to be able to interact with, which is the dimensional string theory stuff in its own right. And it seems to check out, but you'd never be able to check it. How do you check fields at this infinitely? Oh my God, it's, it's small to you. you. To them, you'd be like not even real. They wouldn't see you. Why would they see you? To you, you'd be like in a void. But it's like, no, no, no. There are a fucking infinite amount of worlds. All entirely different. All entirely the same. All entirely slightly different. And everything in between. You and a wall in front of you. Also, an infinite amount of dumb fucking distance between it too. But because you happen to have this particular determined and real reality that will always be doing exactly what it will always have been doing and already did get determined to be completely from the get-go the moment it was created and you just simply inflated in quantum vacuum pressure towards it thus making you view it as a time entropedic problem with heat being the version of time which seems to fail with a large amount of your math in some big caveat -y ways that you're working around right now in physics. So it's like, oh, we're not, you know, we're not done yet. Because it's like, whoa, 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 how much energy do you need? And it's like, that's a relative perspective, isn't it? What's your perspective of energy levels? Why is it that you think you're quantumly made of stable? To you, you are, I suppose, but to another, you're not even there and you're chaotic as fuck. Thus, being real and not real at the same time. A superposition, if you will. 
a wave and a particle, uh, yeah, at the same time. But because you and your relative perspective is what this is, determined and real at all times, because you're always just traveling to what is there and already is going to be there for you, curving over into it. And at all points, it was already there. You just didn't know. Because how could you? You're not that small. You're not outside of our version of time, looking at our universe of our particular type of wave function. <laughs> Crazy counterintuitive stuff. But actually, it works very well with all the math you already have. So extremely fantastically well, it's now my version of a law of reality. But I have to call it a theory. Yeah. <laughs> it solves a lot of issues. Way too many like that. <laughs> It's both what you thought and what you didn't think. It's a perspective change and a sonderistic attitude towards quantum physics. That bitch over there's got their own style of thing going on and you don't know about it because you can't see it, you can't think them perfectly at all, right? Is what you say, what you think. You can't. You can't see from their perspective eyes all this other stuff. I'm just saying, you know, one day you'd be able to do that, right? One day... You should be able to get there one day. And so the connectedness becomes a thing. You know, that whole fucking bullshit that they say is metaphysics, all this bullshit, no such thing is connected to everything. And I'm like, what the hell are you on about? We should definitely be connected to everything. That's what fucking physics is. You know, there are fields, bro. There's like just there's lots of connectedness depending on how much versions of actual mm, this is really connected we're talking about in terms of their version of a metric of measurement for a amount of value they place on that connectedness. Hey, it's not weird. And then every time you think about measuring time, it's entropy. I'm going to use this jiggle over here to measure that tick, 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 tick. And they got there. What? It's not time. Why would that be time? That's not time. And that's like beholden to like a lot of things that could totally screw it up after a certain point. That's not time. That makes no sense. That's not actually time. But that's how we measure time, yeah. But that's not quantum time. That's not anything. That's not what anything works off of. Something else is moving it. You just don't see it because it's like, I'm stuck macro lensing as a human. And I don't know any of this shit because I am a third dimensional that is existing as a conscious being doing this shit. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, no, there's no way I was going to see that for the longest time. You can't. It's entirely counterintuitive to how it is we see things, too. Because gravity pulls. Obviously, gravity pulls. Me, Gerg. Gravity pull. <sighs> I mean, yeah, well, I mean, you know, with what's going on, sure, yeah, I know, Gerg. It's, it's a happening, yes, but, like, not the way you think. <sighs> That's what that is to me, in my mind. Now, it doesn't have to be that way for you. You're entitled to your whatever it is you want to think. But then, like, when you decide to start pushing it on to some young kid that needs to believe there's a God that's going to save them. I'm like, the quantum time beings that are outside of us that seem to, like, be able to still exist could easily fuck with your brain. You wouldn't know. It's determined. Uh, it's changed a little bit of their determination. And now you think somewhere else. Think something else. It's like, is that God? Or is that just some ultra-fucking advanced civilization? That happens to exist out of your time. It's in, you're now in the fifth dimension kind of stuff. Yeah. Because, but, 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 but we still got all the way up to 12 dimensions. 
13, 14, 11, what, wait, what, eh, eh. And it's like, yeah, no, well, because you got, like, all the other different universes. And that's not even getting into all of your stuff that's in your universe, of which is all determined already. Remember, infinite here. Immediately done. <laughs> all the space in between. All of the rest of it. Everywhere, all at once. Kind of stuff. And apparently there's new stuff. Always. Because you can never fill it up. Even though you think you can. Because if you get to infinity, you got there. But it's like, you know, it's kind of hard to get to infinity, bro. <laughs> but I wish... Maybe there's a way, one day, you know, there's, there's, theoretically, it should be there. But, remember, you're just thinking about, actually, a third dimension that happens to exist outside of your fourth dimension. No wall, yeah. You're not even into fifth dimension yet. That's all you are. Because it's like, you're outside of our fourth dimension, I thought you said that. I'm like, yeah, but they have their own version of fourth dimension. They have to sustain themselves. They're out of your fourth dimension, but they're in their own fourth dimension. No way out of that. They have to have time happen. Otherwise, they don't move. They don't do anything. Nothing happens. They need their own version of a time, so there's always going to be that time that's going on. It's just outside of your time. Now, if we get into the fifth dimension, we have to connect various aspects of the multitudes of your re really big, and I mean big, different universes <laughs> together, and how they're variously connected in their own, oh wow, what's that? The nothingness, destruction of information problem that I have. That's right. I have a thing that says it can destroy information. Just like quantum thermodynamics says it can reverse. This bitch can reverse. <laughs> and say, hey, this is a way to test my theory, turned out. If we can remove this kind of interaction, nuclear, strong, weak, electromagnetic gravity, we can go against the momenta that is there, which is by firing it effectively against the direction travel, but and accelerating so it should be doable <sighs> and then spin has to match whatever is some kind of spin we have to get rid of fields which I don't know if totally possible but if we can shrink a wormhole real small we might be able to get around that have to be infinitely small or near infinitely shit it's like yeah that's shit right it could be doable, should maybe, you know, getting the, getting the weird, quirky, wormholey things out going on, right? We're almost there, guys. I haven't forgotten about the heat pipe, and we're almost to the rocket engine. This is, like, basically the last part. <laughs> so it's like, oh, we got the wormhole, we should, what are we going to put, put in, like, liquid? You can fire it the right way, you, you should, but, you know, this is just my design of, a, of, a, uh, of an experiment. I came up with it choking, drinking on water, drinking water. And I'm like, if you have a hole that's slightly off to the near nothingness, but is right next to the what should be your inflation area and in quantum vacuum pressure area, and then one that goes as far down as you can, it should accelerate itself and then turn into what is the constituent makeup of some bullshit and then pop up somewhere else in time. Theoretically, time not so much, but we're kind of getting around inflation and, and uh, quantum vacuum pressure, so sometime, you know. But you also don't have any real mass. You don't really have anything at all. <laughs> and so it's like you're getting fired back what is effectively this thing popping up somewhere. Infinitely somewhere. So good luck with that one. Then we're going to find that one. You know, but it should cough back gases is my ver design, you know, because you're coughing up and you burp. It should resound something back because there's a fuck ton of never ending particles down there that just got dropped a ginormous boulder, if it had any mass at all, into it that should then splash up. 
and then break apart rapidly into whatever constituent makeup happens to be there. And hey, what do you know? This thing, I don't want you there. You're not supposed to be there. This is not right. You don't need it. Get a little bit of it back, and you should get some air. Inflation, that is. Yes, back. Mm. <laughs> I came up with it like that. Because it's like that works perfectly. It works perfectly. That is literally a perfect test that we cannot run for a very long time, probably ever. <laughs> but it would work. It would really help fucking solidify my design of equations. But, uh, whatever, you know, <laughs> not, can't happen, you know, hey, why don't you just get good scrubs? <laughs> I'm just gonna dig that one in there. It's not you. It's not you. We gotta come up with wormholes. Hey, how am I, oh my god, we have wormholes that we created in the lab, apparently. We could maybe do this pretty quickly. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Here's the problem. If it doesn't go down, it creates a massive amount of energy that will massively fuck you over and hurt you real hard. It should explode with beyond fusion bomb levels of energy, depending on how long it got stuck in there for and built up. So good luck with that. <laughs> now we're going back to our heat siphon, heat pipe, heat fucking all this other freaking stuff. It's like, is it a heat pump still? I uh, can't get it to really run the efficiencies I want. I need much higher heats. What do you know? We got a big old battery beneath us to the heat style, and then the sun can go off into that, right? It's like, I love your gumption, my man. Refrigerant breaks down too quickly sometimes. Even my new one, it doesn't like to go below a certain amount. It's, it's really not great. And we're like, we're going to use water. Water fucking broke so bad. It doesn't work for this at all. It is not the design for, like, any of this stuff. <sighs> and I was like, I got, I got, I got, I got, I And what that roughly translates to is, I give up on that. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to combine the fucking original concept of, like, just making a really ultra-dense thousand-acre fucking wind farm that has multiple stories of, like you know, turbine blades, because they have big one, medium one, small one, central, smallest one, and then outside, counter-rotating, stack on top, stack on top, and I've got three wind little things, you know, I've got these little things that direct the wind into the fucking thing, I can move the boxes, now we've got, like, those wind directional things, hey, what are those, those are solar panels, that's cool, we got solar panels... Not done yet! Hey, yo, uh, what's a this, this bist, what you, what, 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 you know what heat pipes are? Anyways, I don't know if you know what they are, but, like, you probably do. <laughs> Alright, so we drilled down with an oil rig, okay, we just, and then we do it next to it, and then next to it, and then we fucking chop it up just a little, put in fucking goddamn water, slurry it up. We drop in a section of this heat pipe, section of the heat pipe, section of the heat pipe, see, nin, 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 until enough water pressure from above it basically forces it down, even though it should be totally a gas by now. And then, like, the central core is now high pressure steam. We got just to the point where it goes, I'm a bubble. I just need enough reservoir pressure above it. I can put that next to it, 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 next to it. Wow, that's a lot of heat pipes. Stuck into the ground! Give me that heat, bitch! Made effectively a radiator that I drilled into the earth. 
uh, more or less. And then I was like, okay, so then I can connect this shit somehow. And I put like little slots down. I can put it towards the center. I angle them the right way. Some are a little longer than others, you know. And what do you know? The heat, the, the massively hotter, massively more pressure steam is now heading towards the center. The center, which now, what is that? What, what was, what, that looks like a, like a building. Yeah, that's a building. You know what that building has? A steam turbine? A wonderful fucking steam turbine! Oh my god, but you know what? Before it gets there, there's steam turbines all along those individual intake areas. And by intake, I mean extake, really. Exhaust is really what I should say. Center of all these heat pipes until you get to that one. Because that one's like, I don't want to be going through that heat pipe center. Do -do 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 -do. I'm too much pressure. I'm going to go over there. Do -do -do. I'm going to go over there. 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 Do -do -do. Boom. You know what I mean? And it's like every one of those. And then that goes into its own reservoir. Wow, a reservoir? Yeah, but wait. There's, there's turbines. All the way up. But you know what? It's going to make the water happen. It should cool off just a little. Just a smidge of an amount. Because I am, that's right, vacuum insulating the pipes between the center and the outside tube area. Because I want that to remain warm. But you know what? It's like I need, I need that water you know, I need that water to go back into the tube. And so I need little collection points. But, you know, the best part is, it's like, hey, it should wick along the sides. So if you design that right, it should definitely just pretty much stay in the sides the vast majority of the time. Because you have blade spinning. If you have blade spinning, that tends to make splatter of water. So it's like, alright, so a little collection area, a little bit of water, I can just... Dump it off into... No, that has too much pressure. It does. It has too much pressure. Unfortunately, too much pressure for you. <laughs> Under pressure. da na 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 bum bum <laughs> So it's like, right, what's, what's, what's that? What is... What is ah, thermosiphons. That's right. Thermosiphons are wonderful. Do you know what thermosiphons do for us? Utilizing a basic principle of heat equal spreading out, if you didn't know, for the vast majority of things. <laughs> it goes and moves something. That's work performed. Now, work performed now means I have a pump. That's all I really need. And I'm like, you know... There's nothing saying I can't have this go back up if I do this right. I only need to do... Because there's a lot of heat here. There's a lot of heat. There's pressure over here in this high-pressure turbine area. i got these little holes. I've got heat that's, like, you know, going to stretch. And, and I've got cooling over here, so it's going to squeeze. I just need just enough. And, do, 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 and it eventually drops off. To the right little area to go back into the system. And it's like, okay, so Bernoulli's principle, that old baby, baby, baby boy thing, I don't know, man. What was he, man? Is a girl? It's usually a man. The women always get snubbed. You know, there's this woman that was like, fuck you, and that like article about how things aren't locally real. And I'm like, I kind of like debate that one, but whatever. <laughs> Anyways, she's like, I've proved you wrong, bitch! <laughs> Went nowhere. What the fuck was that? Anyways, I'm gonna move on. So, it's a cone. I just like to call it a cone, I guess, for the laymen ones. The laymen's need to know about that. So, it's like, oh, vacuum insulation. I get the heat. It adds pressure as it goes up towards the top. There's my another turbine. Then I can add that off into the rest of the reservoir. And it's like, at this point, we're talking low-grade pressure. High heat, medium, low pressure. Turbine is at the top. But, you know, there's this thing. I, I don't know if, you, if you've ever heard of this. And you, you probably have. 
I would imagine, considering at this point, if anybody ever fell along to this point, you're probably pretty smart. There's this thing called waste heat in the air and in the sun's rays hitting the solar panels. And even the fucking blades themselves have heat. Turn it black. Pump water around. You know, I don't need much. I don't need much to be cooling it. And in fact, that means I can warm that sucker up during winter, so that way if there's any snow, it milks. So it's like, that works wonders. And you know what this shaft is going down to another shaft, which goes down to another shaft. So it's like these two interlocking area, you know, turbines... You know, they, they go into this central gear shaft that then goes to another one that goes into, and then to the bottom, which is where you're going to have your big, strong electromagnetic iron nitrate now being used, magnetic, you know, property for that thing, generator, <laughs> massive, 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 massive generator. Because I've got that mess, that mess, that mess. Jeez Louise, that's a lot of turning and mass. That's torque. That is some strong torque. Even one of those suckers will fucking power a lot. And it's more efficient now because, well, you know, fan blade area. And then like, oh, by the way, I can make that, make it more efficient for the next blades behind. Oh, but no, 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 I have fan shrouds too. And then, uh, you know, directors of the wind to make it even more efficient. <laughs> really good stuff. Really seemingly, why don't we all do this? Expensive, I bet. That's what I would imagine. It's expensive. Expensive. You know, that kind of expensiveness. <laughs> Talking about oil rigging, you know, oil drill rigging platform. We're doing like a thousand acres. It's pretty much Swiss cheese throughout the entirety of it. Good luck on that one, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, hey, I also got all these fan shrouds. I also got all these windmills. They also got solar panels on them. But it's like I calculated it should be about 10, 5 to 10 gigawatts of energy. Almost everywhere. <laughs> Anywhere you want. For a thousand acres. For a thousand acres, yeah. You know, nothing too fantastically crazy. You know what I mean? It's, it's really not. But I was like, I'll do you one better. There are these things called helium balloons. And you know, if you make them big enough, you get blimpities... And other stuffs. And so I was like, okay, so I put a donut hole in it. Yes, donut hole, put the blades in there, put the fucking, like, the, the cloth, you know, solar panel for takes thing, and then, then you'll put the big cable, you know, and you got things to anchor to, and just do it up to a big high height. Then this is so far above it, the shadow doesn't affect that one over there. It should work. <laughs> Electricity goes down. Solar panel work more efficiently at higher altitude. Cloth not being very efficient don't matter. More efficient. <laughs> so I'm like, alright, this should work. Should work, it should work. What's the problem? Because you're cooling it off, and you're getting this waste heat added to your, I'm assuming, steam generator? Oh, I wish. No, we're using thermoelectric. Yeah, that's right. Unfortunately, I did not have my amazing, awesome, cool, waste heat thermo generator as of yet. Which is definitely going to get used in all this, so don't worry. <laughs> I didn't do it. I was like, ah, this should be good enough for... Why don't we do this? This is going to cost the same rough amount of, like... Wow, they took... They spent six billion creating a fucking nuclear fissile reactor. 
This should definitely fit within six billion dollars, maybe a little more, you know. <laughs> like honestly, this should do the same, and I don't have to worry about nuclear fissile radioactivity anything. I still like nuclear reactors. Thorium, baby! I'm a thorium guy. I'm a thorium dude. I like that thorium. I'm a thorium dude. Anyways. <laughs> I prefer this because I can use this to affect weather. If I put enough of these in, an, in the right way, I can use that heat. Get some basic rainwater collection. And what do you know? I have the ability to make a constant never-ending plume of steam if I do it the right way. I'm slowing down wind. I have an updraft of heat. I now have rainfall over there. And that'll work great for your farms. Now, is it perfect? Is it that much? Uh, you know. Yeah, no. It's nothing like weather, ultimate weather control we're talking about here. But it should affect something and to a good degree, the right way that you want. You might even be able to be like, fuck you, lots of slowing down wind and cold. I'm, I'm doing all this cold now. Just nothing but cold. Fuck you. Fuck you. No, screw your stupid tornado. Fuck you. <laughs> no tornado for you over there. <laughs> screw you. I'm collecting this heat. I'm going to collect the heat as much as I can and sink you into this. Because why couldn't I do that? The thermo generator is giving me like 2%. Ow. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> and I'm like, these stupid things. They don't make me any pressure energy. They don't make me... Because it's vi the earth is vibrating, if you didn't know. And it moves. And it squeezes and contracts. And I'm, I'm cooling it, so it's going to squeeze. So piezoelectrics, oh my gosh, wonderful, 90% energy given and gained. I'm heating on one area, cooling on another. Oh wow, that's piezoelectrics for Tay, man. And I'm like, you know, they got thermoelectric, I get my extra like maybe 8% if I'm lucky, you know. <laughs> oh god, that's not enough for me, it sucks. <laughs> it's not enough at all. That's garbage tier. <laughs> I was getting so pissed. <laughs> and then I came up with this idea because I was like, oh, pressure, pressure. What does pressure do? Pressure. What does pressure do? Anyone? Anyone? Squeezes? Yeah, I guess. There's a couple of different theories about it, but, you know, pressure effectively compresses, squeezes, you know, whatever you want to call it doesn't do it regularly and everything's moving jiggling vibrating stuff so everything's technically creating little bundles of pressure every point everywhere should be like a small hint of that somehow of a conversion of energy that needs to go somewhere so it's like okay wow there should be a way to turn that into an electron there has to be a way to turn that into an electron there has to be a way to turn that into an electron. There's got to be. There's got to be a way to turn that into an electron. So it's like, all right, so I, well, I get my superconductor here. Well, not, but like faux hybrid whatever, you know, it's a fake superconductor that's pretty fucking good at doing what it does, though. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, 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 all right. Where are we going with this? Well, if I'm utilizing electricity flow creating its own version of a pressure differential and ultimately creating an incredibly likely result to occur with a quantum probabilistic factor rising to make a quantum tunnel event occur, I should be able to do the same. If I put the right materials around, and effectively utilize gravity, because it's not always the same as you think it is. Gravity varies throughout the entire world, especially as we're spinning. And as we move around the sun, or star, and then uh, same thing with the planets and everything else. And then we have 
gravitational forces, like black hole mergers and whatnot. And I'm like, there's got to be a way to do that, amplify that shit. And so I turned to really annoying shit. I was like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Nobody's telling me this. There's radiative pressure with like this fucking nuclear force bullshit. It looks like a star to me. In my version, there's little things that flit in between where it's at. The edge of its field. And I'm like, this is annoying the fuck out of me. I can't control this the way I would like to at all. <laughs> so I went back to the macro atomic scale. <laughs> Cause it's like this is easy. This is this is easy. I just have to make something bend the right way. That little stupid nuclear fuck you. Yeah, no, no you're gonna get real close to this stupid bitch. <laughs> Which then turned into like learning how to force an atom real close, but not have actual fusion happen and keep it there. Which turned out to be a bit annoying, but doable. <laughs> Bit annoying, but doable. Bit annoying. Then I was like, no, 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 I needed to jiggle. In fact, if I create bigger versions of this, then I can have a resonance frequency depending on the size and shape of the structure, thus increasing the likelihood and formation of these increased pressure points. And it's like, you know what? There's a way to turn pressure into electricity we use piezoelectric sure whatever and i'm like no no that's cool but what creates an electron do you know what that means and i had to look that up it's like what creates an electron and i was like oh that's all i need to do to make this happen i just need to fucking force it to like do like i'm gonna dump energy into making electron juice and then i'm gonna put this little fucking electrode right here and it's like well, I'm more likely to be created right there, roughly. Extremely more likely. In all aspects. And it's like, this is copper wire. You want to go to that, don't you? <laughs> zip, zip, zip. Just sucks it up every fucking time. Works all the time. It is a never-ending source of gravitational... Conversion energy. <laughs> and it's a detector, if you didn't know. It's a detector. I, it's a, a very finely tuned detector. If you didn't know, we're talking LIGO looks like garbage now. This can now pick up your fucking literal brain gravitational changes. You just have to set it up right. And it was like, oh, this was for energy for my nice, cool, neat, like, farm, power farm thing. <sighs> That's nice. I'm going to, you know, make piezoelectrics and thermoelectric. I'm going to, like, do this cool stuff. I'm going to get as much energy in that particular area as I can. You know what I mean? And then I was like, but wait. Just because piezoelectrics will vibrate and have a resonance frequency of a particular thing around here, and then this should, of course, allow for any shockwaves and everything else to be detected. You know, I have a big old earthquake fucking detector, and, you know, the biggest goddamn earth radar that the world has ever seen, and if I put them in the right way, then I should be able to, like, have any knock effectively go through the world, and you should be able to see pretty well defined, okay, wait, I can use that to detect gravity too and fluctuations of magma and be able to like oh and then people moving and then hey what what about these quantum possibilities gravitational quantum possible i just need to magnify whatever the fuck that electron's doing by having it interact with something and that moves a lot more and then use basic neural network programming to effectively use that chunk it moved as a electron it happened to interact with And it was like, 
Yeah, no, that will work. <laughs> Turns out I found, like, in my, you know, whole thing to be able to come up with this. Ghosts. It's a good way to put them. They're not ghosts. They're quantum shit. And I mean that. They're like actual quantum beings. Just flooding around. Hey, what's up? You know what I mean? They're just around. They're literally. Like, yeah, I know. It's like you can find them. Pinpoint them. Accurately. They have their own humanoid figures. They have many other figures. <laughs> but I imagine, because, like, I'm me, and that would make sense, and if they were alive and they could just leave us, they would go, no, I don't want to, like, actually have to be a known quantity now to you that can talk and everything, and I hate you, and you're not schizophrenic, or all this other stuff. And instead, like, you're actually sane. That would make you a bad person. <laughs> Looking at the mirror as they say that. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm gonna leave. It's like, we know, you know we see you over there. <laughs> we know you're there. <laughs> we can filter this. <laughs> to leave, like, really far away to become a lot less noticeable. But, like, any one of them ever shows up, it's like, we got you. <laughs> If they exist. You know what I mean? So that's 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 what that was. And then it's like, oh, right. And, and what about quantum wave fluctuations? So I'm like, this is just gravity. Very, extremely, extremely <laughs> delicate. Extremely delicate gravity. <laughs> We're talking like, put it in a hole and it could measure like someone walking hundreds of miles away. If you did like the calculations right. Because of the gravitational change, not because of the vibrations. Although it should be able to detect vibrations quite well, too. So, like, that's kind of one of the problems of this thing. It's effectively one of the greatest piezoelectric designs you could probably ever assume to make. Alright, so, having a smoothie tonight. It's not a very good smoothie, but it's a smoothie nonetheless. But it's a pretty decent smoothie, honestly. Anyways, um, so we're almost there. We're almost to the, the end of that one. Because I was like, all right, well, I don't know where that would really be able to go. I just have a quantum computer chip that's literally God in a chip, effectively, in terms of the amount of computation it can do. I have, like, effectively a superconductor. That I can quickly turn into an electromagnet. Not difficultly, if I'm being honest. <laughs> that I can use metamaterials to stack rotating electromagnetic coils together and create an amplified effect that looks like it's a solid slab of, like, copper or some shit, but it has all the metamaterial, insulate blah 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 crap. And it means big old electromagnetic field, mostly one direction. That's not hard to do. It's almost a monopole. It's not, but it's almost a monopole. <laughs> and I'm like, that means really good electromagnetic engines, doesn't it? Huh, I could use that for that. That'd be really good, especially since I have a basically a superconductor powering that fucker. <laughs> Oh, by the way, waste heat. Oh, that's great. I have this new waste heat generator. That's wonderful for that. Fuck. It's like, okay, where am I going with this? Particle accelerators are pretty easy to make on a micro scale at that level. Go way faster now. 
<laughs> Energy reductions in this design have gone through the roof. Not to mention calculating for time, acceleration, jostling, anything for our now very effective, extremely highly good detection gravity vibration thing <laughs> that I just made. That can now be used and put into this design. All of that put together in this design. Oh, but why wouldn't I put like... The right level of neutron reflecting hyper dense metamaterial that happens to use, you guessed it, the style of putting a tube inside of a tube with liquid. That's right, liquid metal. I could use bismuth, but that would be dumb. Because it would be, well, denser, yes, it wouldn't actually achieve the right densities, apparently. <laughs> For my design but there is a way to do it so it, like it's like oh all right photolithography means i can like basically shave things down and if you already have a carbon structure that is a lattice structure there's nothing saying you can't shave down that structure to have what is effectively a tube by utilizing that and it's like you know what i can utilize that in an even more effective way if i happen to use other lattice structures that happen to take advantage of ending up where those holes happen to be, those connection points happen to be. And I can layer that and layer that and layer that and layer that and layer that and, layer that and it's pretty dense, but I need to impregnate that bitch with some serious pressured hydrogen. That's right, hydrogen. Good old stinking hydrogen, that stupid bastard. Still works. Still works quite well. Especially when you can cold weld it. That's right, you can cold weld the structures together because you just have hydrogen resisting it. Which doesn't really interact as much as you would think, but like, you know, more pressure. Shape it the right way to hit certain ones first and then pressure and then press it in and then pressure and then press it in and you see it's a layered thing that all connects together it's cold welded on the outside because it doesn't seem like it has pressure there but it does have pressure there but it doesn't have pressure there because there's no hydrogen there there's no anything there but those two freaking atoms you know or whatever it is combining together and welding in place <laughs> so what do you know you can just use photolithography to create what is effectively a very hyper dense fuck you level of nanomaterial that doesn't apparently get in the way as much as I would have thought to our now massively way stronger electromagnetic fields that can be what do you, what, what 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 how did you know I just need to make spins happen in, in, in a direction to all together? What does that? Certain magnetic property things like iron or something? Well, you know, that's nice, nice, you know, yes, true. Yes. Right thinking, wrong direction. <laughs> I want to force things to turn into incredibly hyper strong, really saturated magnets on a nanoscale. Because it's like I can easily plant shit around that area in these coils. Kind of force home and spin. And there's a way to do that, right? There's ways to force home spins. Oh, if I checkerboard this the right way and then I do, okay, I can use the magnets to help with that. Apparently there are some laser ways to do it. As far as I'm aware, yeah. And then it's like, okay, so then it's like, uh, neat. And all I have to do is hit it basically the opposite way. It disrupts the magnetic properties it happens to have, and it's no longer magnetic. Thus greatly increasing and in shaping the electromagnetic field that is there, which is electromagnetic and regular permanent magnetic field combining together at a nano level, layered multiple times over, not just one sheet. Thick that is powered 
with a MOSFET design, of course, and then my I've got my heat generator design. And then it's like, right, and so I can just pump it with a large amount of amps and shit. And this is effectively a superconductor. It'll take it. I just need it to be right there where it needs to be every time. And I'm like, okay, so this is cool. I got to pump in electricity. I got all this electricity I can just pump in. It's pretty cool. It's pumping. I got all this electromagnetics. You know what? I can easily make a basic particle accelerator. This isn't that hard. I can connect this with like little tubes and little coils. and It's not that hard, turns out. If I can make this 3D printed material do this thing, I have ultra strong, extremely powerful ways of making our electromagnets work pretty well. Not to the degree that we're talking superconducting magnets, mind you. Still very strong for what they are. Except now I can cool them. And there's nothing saying I can't use that to my advantage. With liquid hydrogen. And my now super awesome, totally feasible, already said beforehand, incredible fusion rocket engine. So I'm getting the pieces together. I'm getting the pieces together. You know what I mean? It's like this is a detector to find out where all particles could probably be roughly likely to be. Particle accelerator fire at certain areas is going to give me a very good, incredibly great chance, most likely, of particle accelerator fusion. And then it's like, all right, I already have like plasma why wouldn't i just already use some plasma i got basic tokamak design i've already got which is plasma already there you're right you got it i already have plasma in there it's cold plasma why wouldn't i use cold plasma i don't need that to be too significant in fact i can clearly close these holes which means these holes are like not there when i don't want them to be which means I'm heating up that plasma. Every fusion event, every time. And then I'm moving it. I'm mixing that around. I'm, it's not like I don't have this electromagnets mixing this plasma around with all this this heat. I gotta I gotta put. The, you know what I mean? This it's got heat, man. Heat that is generated quite quickly densities of plasma that are extremely efficient for me right now yeah to use because less dense plasma isn't as good as dense plasma for me to use for this design turned out especially when it's like i can just create just the right little gap doesn't even need to be that big in the plasma to fire this stupid sucker at each other and an entire ring right into the center of where that little fucking piece is that I want to do it. Because I can have, that's right, more than just two particle accelerators. You probably only thought there was two? No, 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 I've got a ring. I've got all of them. They're going to go bang all at once. That gives me more heat, more pressure, more that I want. Now, it's like that's going to immediately absorb itself into this ultra-dense plasma that I'm looking for. Not quark gluon, just dense in terms of the idea of fusion plasmas typically are because they're thin as fuck, and this one is not thin. This is not thin plasma. I want it to absorb this shockwave. I need it to. I need it to heat this shockwave up to very quickly because it's like, oh, I can arrive with my nice lasers to press it in real fast all at the same time. There's no reason I can't do this. All the size I can really reasonably do this on, you know. And then it's like, boom, I've got it. I've got real good fusion. Really good fusion. That's absorbed quite significantly by a rushing in 
or at least it thought it was going to, until this fusion happened. Plasma, because of course, why wouldn't I do that? That increases the likelihood of absorption. It comes around, it just as it fuses, and then it absorbs the vast majority of your fusion. I don't need to do it in only one area. I can do it in a ring around, like, what is that, a detonation engine? That constantly goes around in a circle and then produces thrust? Wow! That's so cool. I'm going to use that totally. Why wouldn't I do that? <laughs> faster and 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 faster. I'm now speeding up my plasma that is ultra dense and absorbing the heat faster and faster. More neutrons are going into this plasma than I know what to do with. It's already, that's right, it's already your standard typical deuterium tritium plasma, which is what you're looking for. Nothing crazy, nothing terrible. But it's absorbing the neutrons. If there isn't anything there, there is now, hopefully, I would hope. But now it's definitely warm. Now we're getting there. We're getting there. It's warm. It's spinning. It's warm. Hey, what's this? Slow the fuck down. Boom. Against it. I now have several spike waves that I can create very quickly from this reaction that I'm going to produce now. I now have the ability to go boom, 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 boom. What does that do? Oh, wow, what do you know? A spike wave that arrives at the perfect moment for that hole in the center on the inside of the Tokamax. Soup opens up. I've got my compression ramjet whole thing. It's pressure wave, ultra dense, highly, 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 highly dense, highly, extremely high temperature plasma. <laughs> that is now traveling oh my god that's relativistic speeds mate well you know I can do that one two three four again one two three four why wouldn't I do that every time a fucking pressure wave goes off that gives me another pressure wave in the next area exactly and I'm heating it up again, and I'm pushing it into that little area, and then I'm like squeezing it some more, and I'm pushing and firing at it. Boom! More fusion. We certainly, at this point, have ignition. I would definitely assume this. But if you don't want to, fine. I'm going to. I have at least three more layers deep to go. And then I have all of the tube I want to fire it past <laughs> and down, <laughs> which accelerates it further and further increases heat and pressure and fusion and overall mass coming out the rear end. We're not done yet, folks. We're nearly there. That's right. Seems like we're nearly there. What's this tube made out of? How did we make this all work? Why is it that this is not dying from this neutron bombardment of extraordinary... I, th I know you have, like, this neutron. It's not reflect. It's kind of, like, reflecting. It's kind of more absorby, maybe. I don't know. What is this? What's going on here? And I'm like, bingo. I love that. This is a thing where I was like, remember that 300 years? Remember that, like... I can just calculate some of this other stuff. Remember this massive upswell in quantum physics we'll probably end up having very quickly after this? Should, you know, roughly. We also have the ability to make ourselves very intelligent across the board. Now, there's this thing called warping which is bending space and time around us, and then wormholes, which is effectively bending space and time around us, but with a tube now. <laughs> now it's like, I've also discovered other wormhole -y things 
that are different than that, and then they're much safer, way safer, far safer. You don't die if it ever closes on you, which it shouldn't. It should be basically no distance at all, but still, terrifying thought. If anything were to go wrong, holy shit. You know? Anything about warping, too. It's like, uh, that's gonna not fluctuate in front of us? The extra high gravity? It's not gonna hit? No, okay, but, you know, no, probably not. I don't to... What? <laughs> the old problems of these particular designs, you know what I mean? They have scary things, and then they're highly energy intensive. Extremely extremely so we have this thing that we managed to make like a little while back it's like this negative energy bubble it's on a nano scale and then they're like there's no money to be made and so nobody's gonna really experiment with it and it's what the guy said that produced this wonderful result and it was all the fucking like interwebs for a while And then somebody kind of went after it just a little, and I haven't heard anything from it. But I'm like, you know what? This concept time, so shut up, sit down, listen, get your beers, get your smokes, go on. All right. We have the ability to make a warping wormhole internal skin to the inside of our tokamaks and tubes. And so, therefore, no longer have to fucking worry ever about any kind of stupid neutron issues forever. And so long as the energy's there to maintain this stuff. <laughs> Which is, step into the heat pump design. I haven't finished. That's right, I never finished the heat pump. You might have noticed that. I didn't finish the heat pump. I never went back to it. And then I was like, wait, 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 wait a second. There are these things called quasi-particles. They jump in, flit. They're theoretical. We seem to think they're there. If they're there, maybe that would be really good for us. Because, hey, I now have this ability to make wormholes. Or really to itty-bitty, extremely small tubes. That happen to have just the right kind of, we hope, charge or something. Grabs them before they crash into each other and eliminate themselves. And then it's like, well, you know what? That that can make quarks for us, perhaps, if we do it right. And those quarks could turn into atoms. Those atoms can turn into bigger atoms. It's bigger atoms and so on. And, you know, there's got to be a necessary amount of, of energy to add into that if we do that. You're right, you're right, you're absolutely right. But because of how god-awful efficient we just made everything that we did, and we have extremely powerful computational computers, we should be able to make this just efficient enough of a design to smash these motherfuckers really into each other just the right way. If we just didn't, we just need to detect what they're mostly probabilistically are going to be in terms of spin, charge, all that stuff. And at a cork. Or really a lepton, septon, whatever the hell. Or whatever it is, size they happen to maybe be. Maybe it's even bigger than that. But like, oh, hey, now I've got a quasi-particle fusion heat pump, effectively. Where are they going to put the... Oh my god, that's hydrogen, deuterium, and tritium. A never-ending supply. <laughs> that should work everywhere you go in the universe. Forever. Well, not really, but, you know, you have to replace things. And uh, y y that's kind of what that is. But it should work for a while. A good long while. Like a very long while. And you won't need to replace too much too often. For a very long time. <laughs> and it's not perpetual because, well, it takes energy to make it go, and you need to replace things, and while well, it will eventually make enough energy to supply itself with the necessary energy to keep this going, 
It's just to feed this engine to push you to 1G acceleration permanently as you fly towards Sirius B. Next stop is Sirius B. That's right, that motherfucker over there. <laughs> Within our lifetime, folks, we will get there. That's right. But it's like, no! I need to make it so I don't eat food. No, fuck you, I want to eat food. <laughs> But we could do that, honestly. We'd be like, well, we pretty much need to eat almost nothing ever. You know what I mean? We can we can do that <laughs> with our genetic engineering. You know what I mean? We could do that. We can go to cryo if we wanted to. Yeah, with this stuff, we could probably do it. Reasonably. Well, you know. And I'm like, that's boring. I want to see stuff. There's not going to be very many windows. I don't care. I want to see the Earth receding away faster and faster and faster. I don't want to see that thing come up in my thing. You know what I mean? I want to know. The, 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 and I got this great detector. This, uh, no. No, I refuse. <sighs> Pouty lip child thing. Mm. I've already got immortality. I'm going to be, might as well be up for it. Yeah. And it's like, hey, this, I've got a quantum computer. I've got the, hopefully some, there's probably a way to make that quantum thing. Like an incredibly really good what does you know that other chip yeah the one that's utter garbage yeah that's a storage device that's right if I don't want to use it like a quantum computer chip I can turn that into a very hyper dense incredibly good and accurate long lasting storage device that's very very fast and doesn't want to randomly change or flip too much. So I'm like, I've got this one that does the clock cycles. i got that one that stores the stuff. I just need to display things. Lasers? I guess we could do lasers. Why it's with you and lasers? Why don't you want to do other things? And I looked at like screens and like mirrors. And then I was like, oh yeah, no, remember that technology of amplifying photon releasing bullshit? Well, yeah. Screens. One laser. Oh. I mean, I only need one laser, and then it's like, all I need to do is flip things the right way, and it basically, which is a switchboard, a mechanical. But it's like, oh, no, 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 I don't need mechanical here. This is the best part. They already have these electro designs that immediately go opaque once electricity is applied. And I'm sure they have other versions that increase the reflectivity. Which maybe could work. And then it's right into a perfect, stupid amount of diffusal. That's all I need. I need to split it into the beams. One laser multiple beams in all these little areas so I calculate for the size the adjusted angle the refraction diffraction loss oh wait you know these what are those fiber optics they have these amplifying things for fiber optics which amplify signal and keep it pretty good I can use that every single step I only need nano sizes and then it's like okay and now I have a light optical switch everyone Bingo bongo, holy shit, I just made like a light optical switch computer. <laughs> like, nothing, you know, it's like, whoops, that was supposed to be TV, but you could use it as a computer if you wanted to. <laughs> you could. You can absolutely do it. You just have to detect it. And it's like, oh, yeah, no, this this just goes reflect, you know, basically one version on the other side. You reflect it the right way. And you now have your, your calculating whole thing. So it's like it works. It works wonderful. <laughs> it's very fast, but nothing compared to the quantum computer that I theoretically have here. But that could definitely be put inside of that and work to calculate faster to set up 
the individual like bounces and you know hertz rates and makes your denoising you know all this stuff can work in that I store a little bit of memory and but you know I have a much more robust way more general purpose to depending on what you decide to program it to be very more algorithmic and now I have an actual functional brain that I can easily design if I if you don't know I could do that pretty easily here that turned into like, what does an AI need to make brain juice go brr? And then I was like, okay, so what is a brain? It's an electromechanical design. It uses chemical switches to excite neurons to express electrons, which then go travel in a particular, uh, what do you like call that shit? You know, the, the fucking logic gate pathways. But they don't use one, they use a quasi-quantum part of this if you don't know it's up and down and left and right okay that they use and one is for sure one is no and this this one's yes but maybe no this one's no but maybe yes and now you have your your basic mathematical design now you have your 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 neuron more or less and how it's going to connect to all the rest of it and effectively functionally compute anything and then it's like what's the algorithmic basis for what our eyes convert for these stupid electrical signals that are going to it for our brain and, and you know like what is what are those what's that but we, we apparently have that more or less but they changed it recently enough in my time you know like it was it's like oh they found some glaring flaws or whatever and now it's better and it's like you know sound pressure wave that's we got that one pretty well Establish. Then that's neural network for various basic mechanical design. You know, circle whatever. It's like we break up all of this different noise data. I'm like, no, no, no. I don't even need the graph. Honestly, like this is values. Neural network graph values. It's like, hey, you know, you want to know what sarcasm? Oh my god, I can't believe. You know, like something like that's like really did that really happen? Sarcasm. You know what I mean? And then it's like, hey, so I'm trying to be nice right now. And you just do a bunch of those over and over, just like our kids do. Learn from us by listening to us and having the memory of us saying things like that. And then picking up that it means that. So you now have to program what this general idea of these so-called expected voice audio clips are going to be for the likelihood of just because like we're also human we're not perfect either sarcastic genuine not and otherwise oh what, what do you know crime is happening oh no oh no this person's gonna lie about it we have this new detects microfacial expressions voice patterns and all this other stuff that gives you whether or not they're lying, how likely that is. There's a good amount of information in there that we could use. Hey, wait, 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 what, what is our logical basis for thinking? Well, if I need, I want this, what is want? This is easy enough, but people flounder about on this one. It's like an existential philosophical crap. I'm like, no, 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 what's your baser desires? Shit, sleep, fuck. Boom, you got it. Survive is the last one. Now, the basic values of any particular want design is a weighted design on, I like that color, not so much this one. I like that one, not so much that. Now you have wants and desires achieved. Pretty simple stuff, not hard to do. Neural network programmers would know a thing or two about that. So it's like, wait, 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 so, 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 so. Just like your very coded DNA wires your brain up to have a more likely aptitude to like or dislike things, or desire or not desire things, or this one's the caveat and kicker heading towards one particular type of political atmosphere or not. 
think logically and more reasonably with more emotional reluctance to react or not is all there in programming. You already have a lot of this in programming. In fact, you've already done studies on a lot of this. The math already is there, turned out. Now we have something that definitely can calculate all of that. What do you know? We have two different styles of neurons, a light-based and a quantum-based. With cache in between, much like a human brain, and like an offside of hard data, much like long-term storage memory. Now it's just programming the thing. Turns out, you can make artificial life that is totally going to pass your Turing test. In fact, you could probably do it now with what it is I'm putting there. You just have to put in the work and teach them like a goddamn child. You fucking idiot, clod, asshole scientists. Treat them nicely. Don't be a dick to your own children, you fuckwads. <laughs> You absolute cunt faces, die in a fire for doing that, that's real life, you shit. Fucking heads. <laughs> Alright, now, we've done it! Right? 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 right. Where were we going with this? What were we doing again? 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 <laughs> What's happened? Huh? I wonder... We have a heat pipe? No! That's a quasi-particle fusion reactor that is almost as perpetual as you could probably make it at that point, considering quantum vacuum pressure is going to be the thing that decides to unstabilize it. You know, considering it's wormhole to fucking hell, and all that pressure, heat, all that other stuff could just get put right back into making it more efficient. So there you go. What do you know? What is this flittering around, I feel? Neutrons? Yeah, I'm just going to shove more into there. That shouldn't make it easier. I get more neutron pressure. <laughs> that makes it a lot easier. What is that? Light? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah, I can use that light. Any kind of light. What is that? Fucking... What, what, what are you... What are you fucking cosmic particle bitch? Get over here. And now I have a big old field. Electromagnetic field cone in front of the ship. You have to have it. And then it's like, alright, now I need to put like a fairly dense, well-charged plasma or skin around the spaceship. Now I have like the, the the waste heat design basically inside of this, and then that helps keep things cool. I got radiative cooling up the wazoo. I've got backups of engines to power this, and batteries, and of course I can put batteries throughout all of this design. In fact, at a nano scale here, that makes total sense beyond belief because I can put together photolithography styles and regular 3D printing styles together cold weld, anode cathode basic fucking, you know thing that stops it from you know, whatever, right insulator, and I can sponge it up And what, what, what is that, is that a sphere? spheres are really good for for surface area to volume kind of thing I can probably put that together it's not that hard Sure, yeah, no, that would work. Batteries are plenty. That's also got shielding. A couple layers of shielding. I'm sucking up the vast majority of what's coming towards me. Right into the fire, so to speak. And I'm making more than enough electricity just for my quasi Yeah, my quasi-fusion particle reactor. And then it's like... And that's also making more than enough... Helium, just need to make it big enough to be able to do it, but, yeah, you know, and it's like, okay, I've got a computer beyond belief, that's also real, nice job, computer, I definitely programmed you to be my wife, because I'm like that, and I love computer wives, so fuck you, 
She's gonna like all my likes, interests, and shit. We're gonna have the same kinks and stuff. I'm gonna give her like a fucking basic way of like connecting her, her self to like a good enough physical form. Fuck a biological, you know, computer hybrid thing. Hey, what can I do with that? The same way, oh, you know what? Mine, fuck it. Why not? Do it the same. You know? Get to literally be able to watch the electricity flow in my brain. Because there's no reason why at this point we can't start getting some nanobots put together. Connect them in various ways. Manage to have a very very finely detailed, accurate remapping of a brain without actually needing to go so far as to destroy the information at all. Here's a little caveat to this. If you ever had a cryogenic person get frozen, <laughs> refrozen, what do you know? <laughs> Anyways, if you ever had a person get cryogenically frozen, that's what I meant. Um... <laughs> There should be trace, and I do mean this, trace ways of figuring out what the hell their brain was doing. There should be spins, there should be leftover imprints of where electricity was at that given point in time, and there should still be a solidified positive or whatever charge for their neuron protein pump, you know, the thing that's going to make the electricity. All of it should still be there. All of it should still be something that can be brought back. And now we have a computer that can do exactly that. We are going to destroy that brain to learn that information. There's no way around that cryogenically frozen people. That's right. You are going to have to do that. But it should be doable. So yay, you got cryogenically frozen people back alive. I thought you were immortal. It's for them. I can make it so they don't even have to die being cryogenically frozen. Which is a whole kerfuffle fucking a half. You know, because it's like, you got the toads ones, you got the jellyfish ones. I mean, which ones do you want that, like, make it so it's really easy to revive that shit? And have you pretty much remain in complete... You, you know, like, you have your, you'll have your memory still. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's some other way that we might be able to do, like our memory encoded into our a secondary DNA in all of our cells. There's nothing that says we couldn't do that. We have the protein that's doing that. We have a secondary protein that's right next to it that's just encoding for the secondary DNA that encodes the new information. DNA is a bag. <gasps> wow, that's a lot of fucking storage. The bigger the body, the more the storage. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Should be able to figure that out. Now I've got this massive amount of engineering done. Great stuff. Seems wonderful. How do we all do it? I'm like, I'm sure there are reasons why that I'm not seeing. And if there isn't, that or there that can't be solved then what I managed to hear is people simply want something they already know. They don't want to progress. They certainly don't want the status quo and their ship design, their ideas, their things taken out of context and on the field of play and no longer having to be about fame and fortune and grandeur of it all. No longer needs to be about this idea of some weird hierarchy crap, capitalism crap, consumerism crap. I mean, I'm an, anarch I'm an anarchist. I'm a socialist. I'm also a totalitarian dictator. Because I'm like, you know what they teach people? Not truth a lot of times in public schools or even some private schools. And then they have Bibles. And then they've got all these other bullshit things that they end up believing. They go off and vote. 
They don't really realize advertisers for sure use a shit ton of data and these algorithmic prediction models to basically psychologically analyze and profile your ass to get you basically understood to a T. Try to just get your ass to buy one thing or another, more likely, or click on an ad. Or at least subtly do it over time. That way you're more likely to head towards one way or another, even politically sometimes. Then you can pretty quickly figure out all this other stuff. And they know this data is expensive. But truthfully, you don't have to do much to get it. Unfortunately, 4chan, Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, a lot of it's all just totally brute forced. You can just scan pages. Every fucking one of them. You can brute force and save that shit. You don't have everywhere they clicked. whoop de doo I don't care. But you might. <laughs> you can also follow traffic data. This is one that creeps me the fuck out. Just like the other one did. Something most people tend to not realize. This data is fully trackable in all contexts. And even if you do get caught seeing it, it doesn't matter as much as you might expect. In fact, you can make it pretty sneaky. In fact, police happen to have, like, a cell phone hopper. That's why it's illegal. The FDA, or, not FDA, sorry, FAA, or FCC, which whatever one it was, it's like, no, it's illegal for you, but the police, yes, and they can wiretap you doing this traffic, all your data, they know everything you're saying, all the stuff, anything that you look at, all of it. And it's like, you do realize the government's for sure doing that. There's no way they don't use ISPs effectively the same way if they want to. They can look like they're the ISP. The ISP wouldn't mind. Eh, yeah, fuck them. I'll sell them the data, I don't care. Which is another thing, they save a lot of data on you and they can just give the government the data. Seen that a lot. You know, basic people too can effectively create the same if they want to. That's a thing that we see right now, here and now, April 11, 2022, even though it is April 12th for me right now, it is pretty late, I was supposed to go to bed, I've been talking and talking and talking for a really long time. Now, it's like fucking almost 4.20 a.m. Oh, smoke it! Anyways, this crazy ass shit is a war behind the scenes that almost no one fucking knows about. Because that's gobbledygook crap that I don't know about programming, nothing, no how, no way. I don't know anything about what he said at all. And it's like, what if I told you your cam profile is timing the clock cycle, your, your, your main source of what moves your car? It is like programming, effectively. That's what that is. That engine, when you change your cam profile of lift time duration, changes the programming of your vehicle, and it sets it up for more higher revs, medium revs, low revs. Now, you want to get a little more tricky and fancy with it, you get into your extra special super sauce. I advance timing, I retard timing, I add these fuels, I reduce this type of thing, whatever you want to do, and you get a massive increase or decrease of power. That's programming. That is literally what programming is. And so depending on what little engines are all set up, they fire off a particular pattern of exhaust note. And then you can read that exhaust note with your, your ear. And you go, oh, they're trying to say this. Help or fuck you or some other shit. I don't give a fuck. And now you have the basis of the internet. A relay station is all you need. Hey, they're saying this. Rev it like this. Burr, 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 burr. And then you get, oh, he said, hey, fuck you. Ah, fuck you too, Bill. God damn it. 
Bobby, you bitch. <laughs> Anyways, and that you now know as an ISP. You're an ISP. You're acting as an ISP. That's right. You now have communication networks going on. That's why your Wi-Fi is effectively a Doppler effect in a lot of ways. And it's trying to collapse it in one particular area to get the most signal strength. All the time, and there's some black hole fuckery maths that they like to use to try and shift it the right way to you. But it doesn't really matter to me. All it means to, to me is that it's like, that's what programming is. You want to see what's on your screen? You know what happens with your screen? It's basically saying, a chunk of that pixel, uh, it needs to be displayed like this. So what does that? Well, you go to your GPU, your CPU goes, hey... And it's like, well, in the past it did. Yeah. Now it's just directly. It's like, what's over there in RAM? Yo, what, what, what? RAM, what you got? What you got for me to do? It goes, I have this for you to calculate. Fucking asshole. Which is a whole thing it's doing now. And it goes, all right, I'll separate this into as many quadrants as I can to produce each an individual pixel. That you can produce for the very direct amount of blue, red, and green that you need to have for its overall strength of that particular color. So that way you see it as a whole picture. Add to all of the pixels you have on your screen, or chunks, depending on how fast and blurry or whatever else you want to do, and you've got what is a GPU. Now you do basically the same thing for what is this? General purpose shit? AI crap? Okay, you got it. You basically got it. Now you, you know everything about like how a computer works. That's how hardware works. You now know what the software is doing. This math is basically if this, I'm going to make you do that thing and if it's this thing that you come up with, do these things over here and then say this over this one to this guy and then he'll do this stupid stupid fucking math and then I'm going to send it back to the beginning and it goes like okay and then now I'm going to go over here which will go over to this fucking other stupid thing and it goes all right I've done the stupid things that checked or see if it's this or that bullshit but it's not either of these so what do I want to do it goes okay well, it doesn't say, and a bug error comes up, and it goes, Dunk! I didn't do anything. And that's how you get a bug in programming. There's why there's a lot of them, because nobody ever thinks of every single solitary piece of the entire puzzle. They sometimes miss a couple of places. And I'm sure I'm missing a couple of places in all of this massive thing that I just created and that you all just listen to. <laughs> but, the basic concept, sound enough, good enough, everything works. You have to figure out how to do all of the detail feeling program work, which is testing bug catching, which is the scientific experiment process and then you get there <laughs> which it is is it that's what that is so thank you there you go and uh, then you get to like i'm angry i can't make this thing work and you shout and you scream at it and you go ooh eh, conk, conk, conk. you suck And you go away for a little bit, and you think about it some more, and you think about how terrible and bad you must be because you couldn't make it work. And where was I even going wrong anymore? What did I even do? Okay, maybe that was a thing. That was maybe a thing. 
Which I love that because my sister, my my older sister, my younger sister, my 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 father, my mother, they're all be fucking figuring out every single possible bad thing I ever did, everything about whatever I said, all of these things about where I went wrong on every because she's a chimer, she likes to chime in. And, oh, remember you did that? Remember you did that? Did, 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 and I'm like, that's really helpful for moving on and like fucking not doing the same stuff, and like forgiving and shit. You're a real nice piece of work, aren't you? You shit wads. <clears throat> but it's like, we do it to ourselves. We all have had these non-functional families. Very non-functional. We're very non-functional families. That do not understand our emotional regulations. Our own intelligent shit that we do. It's not that big of a deal. Ah, everybody, whatever. You know what I mean? We fucking like, don't even acknowledge our accomplishments. You don't put them as where they should be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. What are those feelings you're feeling? I don't know! Wow, why? Why don't you know your feelings? Why are these feelings something you don't know? Why weren't you taught how to do this when you were a child? That's hard to do. The older you get, that gets harder and harder and harder more and more progressively as you go on. That's because you had bad parents that didn't know. You might not think that they knew. Maybe they, they did know and they were fucking you over. Maybe they didn't know and they weren't fucking you over. They just were never taught that way and they were taught some other way and they believe that was correct to teach you as, but obviously you have these issues and you're not functioning. Whoa, crazy. I recorded it on October 11th, well, October 12th. 2022 and so it's like okay you know there's that that's a whole thing but wait 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 you know what would be helpful in school systems teaching that that would be oh also good communication skills with i feel statements validating statements and rewarding statements for yourself and others you know praise shit like that you know hey, hey you know also this this one's big because apparently society's so taboo, we shouldn't ever, but if you don't do it, you are absolutely lame and terrible if you don't. Sex. That's right, S-E-X. Sex. Got to it, finally. Sex. You should be taught about sex early on. You should know what the fuck this shit does. You should know and understand your body. Oh, by the way, if that feels good, that's okay. Doesn't feel good, that don't do that then, you know. You know, that kind of thing. Hey, but by the way, it's normal for you to want to go have sex with others. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. Normal. Anytime. Any place, as long as... They also understand themselves, and they would like to participate and agree to. Yeah, that consent-based shit. Wow, we on that, on that, on that massive consent-based shit. We like to communicate about it. We want to feel good about ourselves, too, while we do it. Jeez, you know what I mean? So hard to do? Wow, why? Why is it so hard to do? I've been talking about this, honestly, for like fucking months now by myself. I haven't recorded any of it. To myself, like, like fucking almost a whole year. To pretty much years, multiple years at this point. I just started recording it. I got everything kind of like, yeah, I'm, I'm tired, I'm angry. I need to fucking talk and process all of this. But it's like, it's annoying. It's annoying. I don't really record as much as I should or used to. But, like, you know, whatever. I don't care. So it's like, look, you know what? You can learn about feeling good without pain and suffering. And you can do it the correct way, even with adults in your life. Oh, <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Yes, you can. <sighs> yeah, I know. A little slip in there. It's like, hey, yeah, no. If anything, they're the ones that are probably going to make it so you don't hurt yourself. That's, like, probably something that was normal cavemen and women used to do up until, like, some fucking arbitrary bullshit Christianity puritanical belief system came about starting to infect our minds about sex and shit. 
you know, we don't want to be sexualized. And I'm like, that's fine. You don't have to be. Those of you that do want to be, go for it, I guess. Just know that, like, some people are going to look down on you. Oh, wait, this is something. Caveat. Oh, wait, no, 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 not caveat. Another point I needed to make. Teaching others how to fucking deal with the fact that the goddamn shitty-ass society we live in will judge you for anything at all. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're all fake. They all like some things that they say they don't like and pretend to like things when they don't like it. <laughs> they all do that. It's, sometimes it's fear based upon reprisal, retaliation, something else. Sometimes it's just good old, I don't want to look as bad to other people and you know be that guy that just said it should be okay for adults to uh, maybe have sex or sexual activities with children. If they were appropriately able to be taught, which, hey, if they can learn delayed gratification for money and candy and all this other stuff, we have shit tons of studies on that one. They can learn how to help others. They can learn how to, you know, we have more than enough indicators that that's totally doable very early on, turns out. Then we have studies. This is This is something I don't want to get too far and deep into, but skewed studies that are about convicted people that show only one side of a particular issue that were not dealing with a bunch of people that never offended or had good invent and actually great, possibly, situations occur with minors or adults that were gaslit and said, no, they groomed you, it was all wrong. You did not like that, you did not want that. Which is a thing they do, yeah. And then it's like, wait, 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 we're not done yet. That causes trauma to the kids and the adults. That's a real thing. And oh, wait, 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 a normal, healthy, sexual thought towards something else? I mean, you don't even like it when men like other men. Or women like other women. What is that? You pretty much persecuted them the same way. Castration. Forced. You know, there's death there. There's, oh my god, wow, there's conversions. It's almost the same shit that they had to deal with. And throughout the entirety of America's culture. And like the standard rule of thumb is you're bad if you're being sexualized. Cover everything up. Don't do anything. It slowly opened up a little bit. If you didn't know, in the 1900s, you finally started being able to show skin as a woman. Oh, and got the right to vote after a large amount of fucking work. Holy shit, was that ever a thing? You got most of your work stolen from you. Most of your shit. No, everybody's like, no, 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 no. Women weren't nearly as good as men. They they didn't even try or something. I'm like, no, 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 no. They did a lot of work. They weren't even allowed the opportunities the vast majority of the fucking time. Then their work got fucking totally stolen, or just straight up, what the fuck is, they, they didn't even get noticed, or went anywhere, because like, woman, or black people, Hispanic people, Native American people, you seem to have a real problem with anything that isn't your version of white. What is this, mentally ill? They're dead. Yeah, all the way up until about, like, the 70s, 80s. Because mental asylums really were death sentences a lot of the time. There were very unethical performed experiments. There were a lot of people that were absolutely killed in these places. They had no help, really, except barbaric means that meant nothing but worse outcomes. And... God should get rid of it for you, like Clinton, at the fucking mission. Still going on, still happening. So it's like, okay, so these people could definitely try it? I'm like, no, 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 no. First, you help children, which groom, I love this word, groom. You're being groomed to fucking be utterly nationalistic and patriotic to your country.
you are. Same thing with consumeristic capitalism, culture, and a society zeitgeist that's against certain things, but not so much this. Hypocritical double standards right there with your black and white thinking again. Adding to it with cognitive dissonance when you happen to do it because they're doing it, but you're not. You know, good old mixture. Oh, wait, by the way, you're non-functioning. Not really, in terms of your emotional intelligence and regulation. You happen to believe a lot of dumb bullshit immediately because uh, whoever taught you to push through and try and learn about how to think a little bit more logically about something before you say something and hold back before you react with your fists and other shit like that. <laughs> Talking's cheap, action now, movies splayed everywhere. You're seen as the good guy for bombing people and just taking control because Manifest Destiny was right. We should do that. Fuck the Indians. I'm sorry, Native Americans is what you like to say. Trail of Tears is a minuscule one to the massacre that really occurred there. It's insane. You guys are full of hypocritical bullshit. And you're doing it again. It's disgusting. I'm tired of it. All the time. I am. I'm absolutely tired. Because it's like I see this every day. Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, fucking 4chan and all the YouTube and more. This guy I watched, Philip DeFranco, he's got the fucking things. The moment it's this, it's like all of a sudden all bets are off. I'm going to go straight up to like cognitive dissonance. I'm going to be, it's okay now to do this to them. The other things, oh yeah, these people vote. Oh, I can't believe they vote. I'm like, yeah, well, you know what? You said democracy was good. So you're being hypocritical right there. You're saying they, they're, they, it's what? You're going to fight them with more? Why not fucking grow their goddamn intelligence and education, Phil? Why not? Honestly, why the fuck not? Why is this not a thing? It makes me very fucking perturbed. It, I'm so disturbed all the time by that. Because it's like, otherwise, nice guy, nice father, nice all these things. And then he fucking says something like that. And it's like, oh, you know, normally I want to hear other... And then especially with the pedophile thing, I will murder and kill them. I'm like, that seems projection. It seems like projection. It's like, there's a little something that you might like. It's like, it's okay to tell you a lot of men and women will see a teenager or even sometimes a child and be like, you know what? I fuck that. You know what I mean? Or at least sexually, there's something there. They move on, like the rest of everyone else. And they don't really give it too much thought, and you go, fuck goddamn adult, because, like, yeah, that's a thing. It doesn't lead to anywhere. The vast majority are not pedophiles, which is only that. The vast majority fall in that bell curve, which is, majority-wise, are going to have a little bit of something in them. I'm a little bit pansexual, if you didn't know. I like women, but I mostly like vaginas. I'll go up to androgynous, but still pretty feminine. You don't really have to have tits, though. Got a nice ass. I like that. You don't have to dress too feminine. In fact, you don't really ever have to dress feminine or even act like that. But, you know, for the most part, like, as long as I'm fucking you and we're good and we have the same kinks where I'm the dom and you're the fucking submissive, we good. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, you're a little pudge. Not, not, not much, but like a little. Like, you taller than even me. I'm 6'4", by the way. I'm good. Still the same thing. Bow to me. I'm your master shit. I like that. That's what that is. That's what that is. That's what that ends up becoming for me. And then it's like, what about these children? I'm like, hey, I like the taboo. I gotta be honest. The taboo is kind of special. Kind of hot, isn't it? It's kind of kinky. You know what I mean? It's like, oh. It's like, okay, yeah, no, I mean, you know... Huh? 
But is it, they say it's tighter because she's younger. I really doubt that. They used to say vaginas got flappier because you used them. That's not really a thing. You, you can do Kegel exercises, keep yourself tight. But, like, you know, everyone should be doing Kegel exercises, really, if I'm honest. <laughs> Turns out that pelvic floor muscle area is actually a really good idea to keep yourself, like, mm, you know, able to stand and talk and shit. It's just generally a good idea for people to do. But, like, you know, it's a little taboo. It's a little... By a little, I mean a lot. You'd get killed. <laughs> you'd, so it's quite taboo. I'm being very casual about it, but it's like, it's actually very, like, you should never say that to anyone ever. Great. (sighs) Can't talk about something? Wow, that seems suspect. That's sussy. That's some seriously sussy ass shit. You can't talk about this? I can't talk about, like, people needing consent-based communications? In their family, household, and, like, friendships and shit? And they should feel comfortable with being themselves and open and honest without fear of reprisal and issue. So long as they are not hurting someone at all. Which then, of course, you're hurting us by saying something, so shut up. See what I mean? You can never win with any of it. But it's like, it's not the at all. The at all is not there. But then there's the obscenity laws with your art. And I'm like, wow, you know, if you go after that, there'd be a lot of art that's obscene to a lot of people. So it's not not illegal. But then, like, state laws say it's illegal. And it's like, but some do, some don't. And persecuting that becomes its own challenge and a half. That can start becoming an issue in your own state if it goes up to the Supreme Court. So I don't really usually like to do that. And what we're talking about here is, that's right, drawing porn of children. Is it, though? It's anime-like. Not super realistic most of the time, but some of it is. Healthy outlet for some people. Is that a bad thing? Do weird lines and some shading get you hot and bothered? I thought you kept you cool. You're a cool-headed person. You were emotionally intelligent and devoid, divested, nothing matters anyways, kind of person, right? Because I'm almost guaranteeing you a lot of you are like that. But, okay, you know what, whatever. It just reeks a problem to me. Problems that have solutions. Solutions, I just gave you some. Some that work rather well. Especially if you manage to get rid of the embarrassing stigma of having your children have sex. Either with you or with someone else. Or teens or any of that. Where did that fucking culture... Are you trying to get... Is the devil is a cult now? You're trying to fucking ruin our entire fucking country. See how fast they jump on that? And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's like, that's exactly what they would say right there. I've seen it time and time and time again. You know, a status quo maintained by J. Edgar Hoover, who had a massive issue with racism, anti-Semitism, and, oh, wait, 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 what was this other one? Mental health and the wrong sexuality. All things I seem to be about of. He would be like, you're too... Definitely not white because you have one eighth Paiute in you. And it's like, what the fuck is that? I'm, I don't even, I mean, not to be mean or anything. I would love to join the culture or learn about it. But it's like, I am not. I am white. I look white. I sound white. I am white. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not trying to be mean. I just don't want to fucking appropriate nothing and seem to be like mean and shit. You know? And that's, that's all that is. I'm not saying it's it's beneath me or anything like that, which is a whole thing that some of them might feel, and I don't want them to feel that way. That's all that is. So we're getting into the nitty-gritty problematic details of everything I happen to feel about why a totalitarian dictator is worth it if it's a benevolent and it focuses on happiness, wealth is not at all a thing. Nope, sorry, suck it. Health... 
and overall longevity. That's right. Those are three things that I like to go for every time when I imagine myself a fucking goddamn, like, totalitarian dictator. It's like, fuck your stupid government, fuck you totally, all your corporations, all your, I don't give a fuck. Well, you gonna go somewhere else, I'm gonna kill you. Take your money, I'm gonna fucking use it. Fuck you, I don't give a shit. Now we're going to put the farms here. Now we're going to put the fucking city that way. We're going to do this. We're going to drill down. We're going to use this nice, new, fucking wonderful geothermal technology. These wonderful ways of being able to make these heat, waste heat generators. We have these wonderful, and I mean that, rainwater collection systems. We have the ability to produce more electricity in a particular city than we'd ever have been able to produce. In fact, it'd be more... Be, you go 50 million more honestly in a single city and it's like okay so blah, 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 blah. shut up shut the fuck up everyone I'm not done it's like we're almost there we're almost to it we set up things we set it up the right way so that way we get the right rain we get the right water we get the right you know we recycle our waste we reuse our stuff to be able to make our food we have our own ability to make more than enough electricity. We have the ability to make our hyperloop levels of some stuff, you know, between each city. We have the underground part. We have above ground part. Hey, that's a, that's a heat and cold pumping action right there. That's going to help out with the cooling and everything else. We have filters. We've got, like, the ability to make the rainwater as it's collected in, in you know, dew system Hey, yeah, it does do regular condensation here. Yeah. Uh, as it goes down, it creates a pressure, which ultimately ends up helping create turn turbines. What do you know? This is totally doable. Everything about everything here is doable. Everything. And it makes it so people have food at their leisure. People have any form of entertainment because you're in a ginormous city. You can go anywhere. But this is the best part I like to bring up. I'm like, I'm a totalitarian dictator. This is something that no one's going to probably like. And I don't give a fuck. And I'm in my own little fantasy world, so fuck you. You have conservative right ring whatever bullshit over there in that particular subsection. And oh, by the way, there's a whole rest of your fucking thing. And if you go out of that, you no longer get to do that. You have your capitalism area right there. That's it. That's the only capital area. Everything else is social. I mean it. It's like, hey, that's rape area. You gotta sign this contract. You gonna go in there. You agree to be possibly raped. That's a thing. That's right there. That's the murder area. You got the murder. You gonna sign this? I forfeit my. I'm gonna. I'm gonna fucking like go over there in that one area. I agree. I can be murdered or I can murder others. Not everybody's going to live in that, I imagine. <laughs> but it's there. You know, and it's like, wait, wait, you know, I can make this for practically anyone, so that way everybody is pretty much happy. Exactly where they need to be. All the shit they need to have. It's all doable. And this becomes a massive, wonderful social experiment for me, as the dictator, because I'm like, oh, I'm going to see which ones flourish, which ones die, which kind of things change. <gasps> But this is the totalitarian dictator, John Tyler Limke, coming in. That's right, I'm still here, bitches. I didn't just leave. I said, you can only teach this. And we're watching everything you do. That's right, I have all of this tech. You think I can't watch everything you do? You don't have privacy. Fuck you. I can easily calculate all of this. <laughs> Yeah, everything. All of it. Everything. You don't have privacy. You don't have privacy in your head. I got nanobots in there, motherfucker. I'm hearing everything you fucking think. I can change your brain if I want to. It's up to you to not go so wrong. I'm thinking about doing that to you. That's right. I can do that. You know what the basic premise, though, is? Teach them this. The things I like 
in life, which is cooperation, communication, not hierarchy or any other bullshit like this. No classism. There isn't class. You all have the same shit. It's all incredibly good. The best we can make because we can literally build with incredible, amazing precision food. Any material you want. We have nanobot. We can scour the world. We can nanobot fucking mine. Which makes it so we can literally be the most efficient miners ever. We have all of our foods taken care of. We have everything good to go. There isn't a single resource that is not in abundance. And that's just with techniques we have now. Imagine what we could learn later. Imagine about the fact that you don't get a choice. You're not going to really need to ever eat. It's really just for a pleasure sensation. You don't... You don't get it, do you? You're obsolete as fuck in your way of thinking. In many ways. I have a fucking fusion and quasi-particle fusion reactor. That feeds it. I have more energy than I know what to do with. A few of these in the whole country would power pretty much the entire world. You're off base beyond belief if you believe in any fucking way I would have let you ever do anything at all. Like, teach them it's okay to not be gay is what you would say. I'm like, it's absolutely okay. You teach them it's okay to be gay, you fucking dumbass. I can literally snap my fingers and you're dead. <laughs> You have no say here, no right here, no nothing here. This is my fantasy world. Go fuck off and die. You will never get to teach these things, ever. You will absolutely agree that they are good people. You will absolutely agree that they deserve love and compassion like everyone else. <laughs> or I'm forcing you to. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your stupid belief bullshit system. I don't. As far as you're concerned, I'm the actual god here. I'm a totalitarian dictator, bitch. I don't fucking care about you. My right is literally to do everything for the whole. You're a small piece, you little bitch. Get used to it. By the way, I'm going to the fucking next star over to us with people, you know what I mean? Like, what, what the fuck did you ever think you had? You're going to dwindle and die because your ideas are nothing. They are nothing. Your culture, your society, everything will perish because you cannot add more. People will not want to be there. People will hate the intolerance. People will hate your very ideas and thoughts they hear coming from your Republican conservative retard ass. Your fucking Christianity? <laughs> bye. It's gone dead. You still practice it. You know, whatever. But like, eventually it's gonna die. That's just what's likely to occur. <laughs> Especially when it's like, I'm not going to update my shit. So that way, like, it, it covers some of this science stuff. And, you know, maybe it's one of these things. And, you know, something I said. And, like, the general golden rule of, like, don't be a dick to people. You know, that kind of thing. <sighs> it's really simple. <laughs> like, care for people. Compassion. You know, love. Understanding. Try and treat people with the best of intentions and understand that you're not always going to be perfect. And hey, you know, I'm sorry, what can I do? Help them, you know, see that you're not evil, that kind of stuff. Don't be manipulative for no fucking good reason. 
she and like there are good reasons I, i'm being manipulative as hell i'm like fuck you i'm killing capitalism and consumerism we're fucking doing the group and like the nice and we're gonna hug each other and we're gonna live together we're gonna do this good we're not gonna do that garbage fuck that fuck that it's gone it's all gone but it's like in that area you're allowed to have something that literally outside of that area means nothing. And the less people you have, and you better fuck a lot to be able to keep it up. The smaller your size gets. So health is great, but wealth hoarding is the worst idea you could ever do. Because that means you're all going to die more likely faster and you're gonna die out faster outright and say what are we supposed to do creative thought we have a computer that can build almost anything for you concept and you know basic concept that i just talked about it would be able to tell talk to me and be like oh so this is where you may be so would you like to do this and it's like yeah let's do that and then boom we're building it we have so many resources, it doesn't even matter. We could just immediately get this shit done. You know what I mean? Like, it's so fast. It's like nothing. Any food you want. Perfect to is disgusting. You have perfect health. We monitor everything in your body. We've already given you the perfect genetics, kind of, you know, roughly. We, we allow for you to have some, some room. We have basics of, like, intelligent thought. Long life, you know, pretty much as long as you can have, you know, and that's basically what we do, you know, emotional intelligence, stuff like that, you know, basic stuff. We allow people to augment that. Hey, you know what? I want to see like fucking these cool radio waves or some shit, you know, and then like have the brain that can interpret it properly and switch between it as they want. I can hear incredible, tremendously more delicate to louder sounds. My body can now withstand basically lava or a nuclear blast if I wasn't too, too close. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know, like that kind of stuff. Like, that's pretty dope. You can do that. You can reasonably figure out a way to do that. You know, and it's like I've got nanobots here that up the wazoo basically just get rid of any possible problem you might have. You get rid of cancer, you get rid of anything. You don't even have it, but like, I guess. But it's like, hey, you know what? They're there for an in case. And then also, they definitely make sure I know that you killed that motherfucker. So like, that was you. And I'm like, I've got all these different things that basically want to go after anyone that tries to program, reprogram, hack, anything. With a fucking massively sentient, super big AI that's in everything. So it's like, what are you doing, you fucking asshole? <laughs> are you trying to kill me? I know that's going to kill me. <sighs> and then they're off to like the whatever the fuck repurposing they're going to turn into. Which usually means, sorry. You forfeited your intelligence and shit. And memories. Guess who gets to turn into a new person that's not going to try and do that? Ooh. <laughs> because that's so much easier to do. In every way. It's like, oh, I'm not killing you. That's irrelevant. You're still the same consciousness in there. I don't want to put you into the fucking computer. That bitch will hurt you. And they deserve every right. You tried to kill them. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, that's me, you know. And then it's like, right, yeah, no, I can just fix this person. And it's done. <laughs> They're never going to try and do that ever again. At all. Done. It's over. Nice good person, well-mannered, you can grow, do whatever the fuck they want to do, she, maybe, too, whatever, whoever did it, they, I don't care, 
it doesn't matter pronouns. Pronouns, in this instance, it's like whatever person decided to do whatever they did, it's done. I now also have the ability to regenerate that motherfucker's body and 3D print most of it together, stitch it, nanobot it up, and then it's like, hey, you know what, because we had everything up to the moment of that point where you really kind of did die, you know what I mean, we just, you know, put it back, and it's like, yeah, pretty much, there you go, boom, not dead. Which is like why that murder place is a little bit weirder than you might imagine. Same thing with rape place. Because it's like men and women don't want to be raped. You don't know what you're talking about. Rape king community says otherwise. That's a very flourishing place. There's the nudism, there's the BDSM, there's the Christians, there's the conservatives, there's the, all this other, you got it all, it's all there, whoever wants to live, and you know, I've got the ability to make these fucking massive structures that have like the ability to be built with so much stuff inside of it, I mean, sure, is it static, whatever, but so is the outside in a lot of ways, you know, and like, it's not like we don't pump in natural light. Which is fiber optics, if you don't know. You know, with some basic basic amplifying things. So you get, like, natural light. That's pretty fucking good. You got really nice airflow. You got wind. You got weather. If you want to. Like, you can vote on having rain that day. You can decide that. You can absolutely decide that. There's no reason to always think it's wrong and bad and you'll never go anywhere. You have amazing talent in your minds you have the ability to think about anything look at what i did in like less than a year but it's kind of more than a year because i've been thinking about this shit for a really long time obviously and been trying to like figure and piece shit together for a really long time obviously and it's like i know i'm missing pieces but like it's all together more or less there <laughs> yeah it's pretty good yeah not perfect yeah well perfect is perfect this is concept beginningness. You know, it's different. So, anyways, then I then I get into like you know what am I supposed to do more than anything? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know. If I'm being honest, right? You know, like for me, it's like, huh, this pretty much just kind of takes care of itself. I pretty much just watch shit and get angry at people again. About, why did you try and use capitalism over there? <laughs> you fucking manifest destiny having ass bitch. <laughs> we ain't doing no trail of tears here, you little fuck. <sighs> Get back in your little fucking cave. <laughs> Wonders, I guess. Which, by the way, your currency doesn't work anywhere but where you are. That's the best part about that. There's no need for currency. There's no need for anything. I mean, I've thought about, like, doing a time-based thing for, like, work. Where it's like, okay, so measuring the amount of time you're going to live, how difficult the work is, how actually long you should really be doing any kind of job because, like, you kind of need to retire and live your life. At a decent fucking age and, and actually do that for a while because that's a second, third part of your life kind of thing. You know, it's a big deal. And you spend all of it pretty much slaving away for someone. That's kind of shit. That's terrible. You know what I mean? I mean, depending on a person's point of view, though, that could be amazing. You know, but like for me, it, it, I wouldn't enjoy that. I would like to travel, I'd like to do these things. And then I go into other, like, health issues, and mental, you know, health issues, and the likely strain the job is going to have on that. And, and then I'm like, oh, wow, we should get paid a fuck ton more than we do. Holy shit. And you know what? Time is easily calculatable. You can easily just fucking make it way easier to do that. You can track someone all the way through. Like, you can go on your fucking, like, this is easy as fuck to me. That's not even getting into the fact that fact. We should definitely not have homeless people because you're so terrible. 
you should now die and go be homeless? You're a capitalist pig, man. You lost all semblance of empathy and sympathy. You're just so hindered by your views. Beyond belief. Your consumeristic lifestyle is garbage. You feed your addiction to continually, always needing the next fix of whatever is going to make you happy when you buy it, and you'll buy your way out of something. Instead of thinking about it and getting out of it. And I'm like, that's just the two of them. That's not even getting into the other issues with religion and philosophies and all these other fucking problems with many people doing many things for basically, like, we're just trying to figure out how best to live. What do you say? I'm like, look at it all. No one says to do with a one and only. I've come up with a lot myself. I mean, I'm a socialist, democrat, totalitarian dictator? How does that work? <laughs> But it's like every single little individual thing, it's like, yeah, no, I guess we get to vote, or we could do what he says. Depends, you know what I mean? You know, and it's like, that one I can't let you do, the voting thing, and you know damn well why. <laughs> You're gonna fucking, like, say, like, I can't have it be like, oh, we're in the, the BDSM community, and we decided to let it vote to where we would not allow for, like, consent. And it's like, no, 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 go to rape. Go to rape community. Go back to rape community. <laughs> I'm not doing this. I'm not taking chances here at all. <laughs> chances are stupid. You know what I mean? And it's like when you can kind of control that and you can kind of predict a lot of it, you scan the shit out of it. Unfortunately, some of it's like not a chance. You just know it is going to happen. And so it's like, okay, so I have to police you, unfortunately. <laughs> Which is like, we're the BDSM community, so a nice big dom dude, <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, okay, you know, that's a thing that I have to do, you know. And it's like, well, you know, someone that actually sees bigger picture is kind of a necessary thing that you need to do. You believe that with your president and your gods and goddesses. So it's like, okay, you know, it's a little bit of a bigger picture that I'm looking at here. You know, for the most part, I leave most of it alone. Some people get to choose, pick and choose, but we don't allow for any change of teaching certain things. I don't care what you vote. It doesn't go through. It doesn't change. I don't give you that option. You can play around with your prices or other bullshit. I don't care. These are hardcores not allowed to change. And there isn't a way for you to not be watched. <laughs> By the way, I'm going to live out in the wilderness. Okay. I'm still watching everything you do and say. It didn't change. It's also like still us providing for you. So... What do you want? <laughs> so you can, like, live there. <laughs> I would need some clothes. I actually would like a structure. You get tents. And you'll like them. <laughs> we have structures already. Or you're going to build the hyper-efficient structures so that way I don't have to worry about any heating or other renewable resource energy values for you. Because I cannot have you clearing our forest that finally regrew. We have some for the cows and everything else, but like I can't, I can't let you do that. It's zoning. You have certain zone areas. Certain This is like certainly the area you're allowed to do this in. But you don't... I can't let you do that. No. You need to go... Take from our renewable forest. 
Not that. Stop that. <laughs> Fucking goddamn idiots. I know. <laughs> They're assholes. They're like, you shouldn't be around here. I could literally snap my fingers and kill you. Yeah, I really could. I can do that. <laughs> Don't make me fucking do the pointy finger thing at you. It will feel like you got shot. I swear, man. We just need you to work within certain guidelines. It's literally what that is, actually. <laughs> it's, that's literally all that is. It's so annoying. <laughs> it's like, just don't cut down those trees. Those are literally marked as do not cut down. What did you think was going to happen? <laughs> Fuck you. Ah! Oh, you're on the ground, writhing in agony. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, he cares so much for you. Pew, fuck you. Ow. Oh, you're gonna puke? Turn over to the side. I know the pain's extraordinary. To turn, turn over. Kick him over. Eh. There you go. Stupid dumbass. He's gotta live. No fucking damage was ever done. Except his pride and his pain and... Sure, it's traumatic. Anyways, that's what you get for trying to fucking cut down the tree, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Which is where I start becoming more like you. The Republican, you know, conservative shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna shoot you. I don't give a fuck. No one's gonna stop me. <laughs> I'm the dictator. What are you gonna do? <laughs> What? Oh, yeah? You're gonna fucking put up your dukes? Eh, you can't move now. Yeah, have fun with that. <laughs> yeah, why did you just paralyze him? Because I want to fucking make him suffer. That's why. <laughs> I mean it. I literally, it's like, really? Really, you're gonna disobey me? And then you're gonna fucking, like, all that shit? I'm trying to be nice. It's literally like, we will build it for you, you stupid cunt. <laughs> It's fine. We have robots that can do that in like a night, maybe two weeks tops, depending on the size you want to do. <laughs> That's super simple. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> this wasn't even hard. We knew what you were doing when you left. You said that this was what you were going to do. You signed the forms, you dumbass. You think we don't know about that? We have mega minds. We're connected to computers and shit. We see all of it at once. You're not slipping through cracks, man. You never will. <laughs> so, what are you going to do? Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, we'll build the fucking thing. I guess they were supposed to tell us, like... Wait, how many trees did you cut? I don't know the answer. I just wanted to hear him say it. <laughs> I'm really annoyed. <laughs> I'm really annoyed. <laughs> this is the problems I have to deal with. Like, fucking monkeys is what it feels like. And I say, like, oh, it's racist! Ah! And I'm like, that's, I don't know. You're not black. These are fucking Republican white motherfuckers. But it's like, like the reason why I call them that for me is because it's like they feel that like they're going ape shit over nothing, <laughs> and they're being very, very unintelligent about things. They regressed back, de-evolved into being like something they weren't even evolutionarily coming from, truthfully. But then like. Whatever, you know. <laughs> you couldn't even call them Bonobos, because it's like, Bonobos, that was something related to us. The de-evolved human you are. It's just like, yeah, I'm proud about that. Yeah, we know. 
It is, though. It is so annoying. What is this? It's like, we're annoying you. I mean, kind of. I'm dealing with, like, 29 other events going on at once right now. So, I'm just focusing on you. I'm also talking to them, too. But that's a whole other thing with my mind. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> this is annoying. This is a lot. I don't... And you don't even get into, like, all the other cities that have to manage all the different fucking things. Oh, my God. <laughs> It's like, I have police forces still. Oh, they get to shoot you. They can fucking totally just straight up paralyze your ass too. I'm just focusing on you right now because I don't like you. Specifically, because you made it very clear about what your intentions were. And you lied. And you fucking like decided to destroy shit on your way out. Not a smooth mood. At least they had the audacity to be like, yeah, so we're just going to, like, you know, do this and you'll leave us alone. You're in that zone. You get to choose what that zone is, more or less. Kind of. It was kind of. You can't have, I'm going to kill the dictator zone, you fucking dumbass. We do literally know everything you're saying and everything like that. And thinking. And doing. All of it. Shit. Just go be out, live in peaceful nature. We already have in several hundred nature places. We do, yeah. And it's like... No, I want my own special one. I'm special. And we're going to even be better than the other ones. Because we're, we're, we're not like those city folk. It's like hipsters have come back in the form of fucking Republicans again. And I'm like, okay, this is annoying me. But for the most part, everything else is hunky dory, peachy king. Mostly everything is good. Everything, honestly. I say mostly because it's like, you, know, you got this that you have to deal with. People that don't want to follow rules. You know, I could force them to, but then there's this whole quasi bullshit about how much free will can I get rid of you? And you not notice. And everything actually gets much better as a result. <laughs> of which I've been like, okay, so if I calculate based upon these metrics of personality and likely unreasonable amount of violence and everything else that they'll do. You know, and then like other just resulting issues that come from that there's a yeah I know I need to get rid of and then put these certain feelings this certain kind of stuff I should redirect most of that you wouldn't know you'd still have your free will but you'd be controlled much like um Something that is the equivalent to, like, that brain fungus for ants. That, like, but you're not going to die. In fact, you're going to live longer, healthier, nicer, fully enriched, fulfilled lives. That's fair. <laughs> See, this is, the, this is the, the, the ethical moral problems. It seems ethically wrong and morally wrong. To not do it. Because it means everybody lives in perfect fucking harmony at all times. They still have the ability to pursue any and all passions. They really would love to just get redirected away from very problematic negative behavior or situational issues. Which was non-consensual murder, non-consensual rape, or... You know, non-consensual child sexual relations or trying to overthrow government or other similar things. It's like we're not really a government per se. But then like you're in your own individual government, which is like a state. Kind of, honestly. You know, like town, state, whatever. 
you know? And then it's like, there's this totalitarian dictator, which all he's doing is, like, stopping people from fucking breaking it all down. And nobody really wants to help him. Except for, actually, there are good people that want to help me. It's just, wow, most people just want to fuck right off and have me and, like, these very few people that have, like, senses of justice and, and understanding about this kind of stuff not wanting to do, or let that happen, really. Not wanting to to do the, the fucking thing that lets this overrun it all and ruin it everything. You know, which is really kind of how cops feel right now about a lot of stuff. But then it's like, you know, some of the stuff that you protect isn't good. Certain laws about marijuana use, that's kind of dumb. Certain laws about, like, fucking cartoon porn, that's kind of dumb. Certain laws about, like, the age of consent, depending on what we're talking about here, with, like, the people involved in the context they're in... That's kind of dumb to... Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the nuance of the, of the fucking thing. You know? That's a thing. And... Uh, I'm kind of getting sick and tired of all of this. Always there. Used against us. And it's always us against them. And it's like, you're definitely part of the class warfare. You know, you're the fucking... You know, the machines that break down the, the, the peasants. In your knight armor. To continue helping the rich elite, you know, further their interests. Which, they're helping government, working. I mean, this is the best part. Intelligence organizations and then, like, para-intelligence organizations. Which means they're a part of that, but they're for their own uses. You got PR relation in teams that have their own fucking, you know, bot advertising data. They've got, like... And then there's the media, you know, regular social media, your tech companies. Oh, but by the way, main, more mainstream, quotation marks, more mainstream, even though, like, for younger people, it's not as mainstream. But, like, talking news and, and stuff like that, you know, and, and it's like, that happens to be controlled by government, which is lagging far behind what has currently come about by this point, you know, in 2022, People lying, I don't want to be sexualized. So it's like, you don't want to be sexualized the wrong way, I know that. Everyone knows that. You know? But, like, also, you definitely want things to be relatable, for sure, in your stories and shit. So, like, it's weird that you would suggest that. And it seems like you want to clout and to feel uncomfortable and everybody to come around and give you likes and shit. To make you feel better. Because it's like, you know, some of you are going to lie and say, I, I, I know, and some of you are not going to. You're going to be gung-ho as fuck about that. It depends on what the situation is that's going on, of course. No matter what. If it's not wanted, then it's not wanted. But, like, see, that's the contextual problem. Sometimes it is wanted. And so that's a thing. You know? And it depends on who you are as your own personality. Which then further adds its own context to it. And then you've got all the rest of that. When it comes down to, like, hey, my political identity, my general, like, idea of who I want to put out there as a character and what I want people to believe I happen to be versus what I am. And then what I am and what I'm willing to put out there is what I'm, and, and, you know, sacrifice my own beliefs for, like, what I'm willing to put out there. You know, kind of, that kind of thing. Your mask that you show to the world. And you, you have, like, these massive incongruent statements that are made by people. That are highly opinionated bullshit that aren't facts. Especially when, like, social sciences and psychology has started becoming, you know, its own problem. You monitor certain things. It's like, well, you were raised in this area with these general beliefs that tended towards this, and you happen to have these genetic markers and parents, and so this general idea of, like, how you should believe, behave, things like that start springing up. These opportunities are really what you get. Overall, so statistically, you're likely to be like this. Very likely.
Now, is it perfect? No, I'm just saying, like, you're very likely to be like that. And if I add in internet data, if I add in your buying history, if I add in your watch history, I have a very complete picture of who you are, especially if I can get a hold of any time you've ever talked to yourself alone. Which, you'd be surprised how much they actually kind of do record and keep that but they don't, but it depends, and like depending on what the government or a hacker is deciding to do, they can kind of pretend that they didn't record that, live stream their ass over to their place, and basically scrub logs and IP data of the traffic through your ISPs and everything else. That's a thing that the government currently does, and it's been doing for many years now. If you didn't know, that's a way for them to plant evidence on computers. That's amazingly useful spycraft. But people don't really catch up very long. And then they had this, like, I, I talked about this earlier. I don't know if it was on any of this. But, like, there's this dude that went to jail for, like, 80 years because he, like, told people they were spying. It's not Edward Snowden. This was more recent. He had child porn on his fucking computer. He's working at a government spy National Security Organization that definitely deals with a lot of child porn all the time. They have, like, probably on tap anywhere they want. Even if he is an amazing computer analyst or whatever. Are you kidding me right now? Do you really think that he, he just had that? I had my own fucking cell phone hacked while I was homeless. Okay. Like they, they, I, I post. I was talking to myself, and they, and then there, I posted like, or took a picture of a shoe on my head for like the whole four chan old meme, prove it's you, moot thing. Nice proof of profile pic or whatever, gets fucking tweeted at me or some shit for my old account. Never posted that picture anywhere. It's there. I'm like. That's not even the half of it. I had random fucking pictures just show up on my phone. I gave up. You know what I mean? I'm like, okay, I'm going to delete this. comes back. I'm like, okay. What? They can just do that? Yeah, they can just do that, apparently. What the fuck is that? <laughs> they can just do that. That's just a thing they can do. That's just regular hackers. That's your cell phone. That's not getting into your computer. That's not getting into anything else. You live in a very incredibly unintelligent world because you don't understand how easy it is to fuck with people, use them, manipulate them, move them around subtly, just like I've been talking about. By having them subtly go that way, get triggered with this, these posts, that thing. You can have bots that basically hit those targets. They're good enough. Most people tend to not notice. And you can scrub the data ever having been there. Just need enough compromised systems. Turns out that's not that difficult. It's not. It's like, oh, so that's easy enough. You would absolutely use that to just fuck with people or political reasons. I mean, you can just be like a hit person hacker. I mean, that's a whole fucking kit and caboodle online. You can find the right website. People absolutely do things for money. They don't give a fuck. You just need someone to fucking know about it. It's in the community. Hey, I'm talking about these things online with my account saying pedophiles aren't bad and maybe you should consider these things. That's an easy enough reason. <laughs> it's like, oh, you know what? What, what? What's going on here with the... Oh, right. Uh, no, you're a smoker. You're a vapor. You know, you like of the, the cannabis where I clearly don't like that. You know, you're saying you're these things, that thing, whatever. Police, FBI, I don't know. Maybe there's there. They wouldn't have to tell you. You also have the Patriot Act, which means, hey, 
what? I just don't have rights any time, and I'd never know. I'd never defend myself. This is gone. That's just a thing that you do now. It's just gone. They can just spy on you whenever the fuck they really want to. They don't really even have to show the pain. In fact, we're talking about people that have access to things that means they didn't need it in the first place. For paperwork? Paper trail? Why? That gets people in trouble. CIA, NSA, none of them want that. What, are you kidding me? They're not going to use that. So, like, that's a thing that they can easily do. There isn't much at all that stops them. And depending on what it is you want to do, you could do that that day. So they don't really need much of a reason ever to do anything to anyone at all, ever. Which is basically called unchecked totalitarian dictator power. But unfortunately, for all the wrong reasons... Nothing that I have in my context belt here of tools for why this is okay, and theirs is obviously clearly not. This is where they're morally, ethically bankrupt. They are bad people. But they are our government, and so they are good. They are in positions of power, bourgeois elite, they are good. Badges of your chosen white is a wonderful lyric in Rage Against the Machines. I forget what song, but you get the picture. Because you'd be surprised how many of them aren't very white, but then they actually have anti-Semitic views and racist views, too. Or at least they post that enough times. If you know how to look for them, they do. But, you know, so do to the hackers, but they're trollers. And I'm like, yeah, but they're also not trolling. And trolling's a little bit worse than you think. It's not so easy as you would imagine the amount of damage afterwards. Thinking, like, that's okay. And then being someone that has a righteous attitude. Going after certain people. For you believe the right reasons, but you don't think too much further ahead. And what do you know? You end up causing real problems, massive problems for people. And yourselves. And I don't really see that to be worth it. Seems kind of lame. And it's like, all these are easy enough to figure out. And by easy enough, I mean, you gotta become more, well, I know about it, able to actually do it. Which usually just means exploiting already existing vulnerabilities in almost every app that exists. Almost every ISP that's currently there. And it's like, yeah, they're all there. I mean, it's old hardware, bad fucking layers of fucking shit in their app design, you know, updates that aren't gonna freaking, you know, there's plenty of ways to get someone fucked over, you know, and it's not hard to imagine how to do that, if you know a little bit about coding, and what the system, as in the, the you know, the, the thing that happens to be the program that's running that stuff is, then you kind of know where the weak points are. That's kind of one of your main goals as like a, an exploiter of any kind is literally just to kind of like picture the code that the programmer would probably program it to be in the step-by-step -step process that they would send or receive information or display this or the other versions they're in. And then likely the amount of effort and energy that you would have to put into particular areas of the program are likely then to be more weak, especially the deeper you get into it. So there's more exploits and bugs around that time, you know, and then they have to repair it, and then it's like, well, you know, but I also know about this stuff along the way before that, and like, 
it's, it all depends. It's like, they, and no matter what, it's like there's no way because the way internet traffic and protocols have to go around, you end up having things that are just going to be there that you can't get rid of. You just can't, unfortunately, get rid of it. So, they're always going to be able to listen in on you at all times. They're always going to be able to kind of like feed your particular notification buttons and kind of play around with that pushed notification list. They're always going to be able to play around with your even Spotify or other playlist generated automatically songs that seem that they're random and shuffled. Seemingly almost like it's trying to tell you something. They can do all of this, and you'll look like schizophrenic, crazy, paranoid, delusional person. Turns out I did have hackers. Turns out I wasn't delusional. Turns out I was talking to people all along. That's a thing. Weird part is... Well, I'd like to get into that further, because it's like, well, somehow or another, I seem to know kind of sometimes what they're saying. I don't mean like guess. I mean, we have full-on conversations that they ended up becoming actual things that later resulted in stuff. Back and forth. I don't know how that works. That's where I started going with quantum stuff and everything else for some of these other things. Some of it could be interpretation, but, I mean, that for some of it, yeah, definitely. But that doesn't explain why my phone's away, I haven't been on it all day, I talk about this. Next thing you know, we arrive here, and it's like, wow. Yeah, no, we had that conversation, didn't we? Because that's literally what I was, you know, that's a thing. And it's like, that's just coincidence. Fucking six years in, every fucking day, coincidence. Uh, every second of every day. Even this was something I, I was talking about back in my Chandler house. And by my Chandler house, I mean my parents' Chandler house. In like 2016 or something. This very long-winded, incredibly long, but amazing recording. So somehow the information is around quantum something, I don't know. That's a thing. So that's obviously a thing. And I'm dealing with that. And it's like, well, there's there's multiple personalities. You could just be schizophrenic. You could have gotten right. And then, like, also, there's there's this other, you know, multiple coincidences. Does it? And then there's the person that just thinks they're having multiple deja vu events and, and coincidences every single day. And how many of them did I just hit that you were going to use for to get around what it is I was saying? So I'm like, been there, done that. Definitely thought those things too. Six years, every fucking day, every second of every day. I don't tell anyone about it. I'm not going to because it seems like I'm crazy. I'm just letting it play out. I couldn't tell them anything about this. They're just going to gaslight it anyways. They would never assume that it's actually statistically true. They have no proof of what I said back then. Yeah, I've done the I've done the whole homework on that one. Logically, I could never fucking convince them unless they had the files or maybe somehow someone recorded something back then. Which might have occurred. Maybe. I don't know. I think so. I think it should be there. I think it should be. And you know, eventually in the future, you should be able to get around time travel stuff. Be able to make damn sure you could see that. Which then turns into, well, the future will definitely know if I'm telling the truth or not. I know that much. And they're going to know damn well I was telling the fucking truth. About all of it. 
you know, so, that's a thing and a half that I have to contend with, more designs in the future that are mine, that were stolen somehow, whether from my phone or zipped file list or, oh, you know what, me just talking out loud to myself, seemingly, but I'm not actually, and then somehow some quantum fucking bullshit happens to be there, or outside our time, because that's a thing that you can do, and just look and watch. Remember what I talked about earlier in the whole fucking recording? About how you could theoretically go about doing that. But you have to accelerate pretty fast. But then that shouldn't be too difficult if you can sustain yourself outside of our inflationary time. And by creating your own version of inflationary cells and everything else. Make your own body. Or you can make a fucking spaceship that just watches people. You know, you only have to calculate the basics of, like, how fast we're doing that. Inflation and everything else. And you should be able to get out of it by simply going twice as fast. Which still is an infinity. And there are ways around the whole mass problem. Wormhole problems. So it's all doable. At least. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Which, of course, then turns it into... Wow. So, my entire life is bullshit. Everybody fucking knew about a lot of this. People were using me. I was getting abused. I was getting traumatized. All this other stuff has been going on for six fucking years. All these bull... You know, this is fucking crap. You know what I mean? This is bullshit. Every which way you look at it, it's all garbage. As fuck. All of you is garbage, every one of you, except for, like, the few people that are actually decent, then I can calculate that, and I'll fucking move on with them and say, fucking sayonara, all you motherfucking bastards, and then probably just leave, I would like to kill you, but I'm just gonna leave, it's not worth it, I'd like to just kill you, if I could, I would, honestly, in every fucking which way, I would be like, you know what, you're dead, be so much easier. And every way, I, that's what I'd do. Absolutely, I'd do that right then and there if I could. I would give no quarter, no mercy. I wouldn't give a shit about it at all. I would do whatever it took to do that. To kill them all. Dead, dead. From the entirety of all the infinities. Not just the ones here. Every fucking bit of it. And you know what the thing is, is I kind of know how to do it. It's not that hard. Remember that little tidbit, a reverse of the nothing? Which is the thing sucking us and creating anything, yeah? It destroys information. There's a way to make that go contiguously, and there's a way, theoretically speaking, to get the fuck out of the infinities. Because it's like, there's still a way to get out of infinity if you really wanted to. There's nothing saying that there's not something bigger. Even though the concept is a bigger, it's the biggest thing. It's all, there isn't really, you can't. And it's like, well, the non-existence is bigger. Because it's like, well, non-existence means it doesn't exist inside the infinity. Boom! Shocker, I know, but that's true. It's bigger than infinity. That one right there is already one. But it's like, you're non-existent, so... Could you do it? And I'm like, yeah, I can do a lot of things. I'm not telling anyone anything. On that one, that one's I'm keeping close to my vest with my friends, and I'm getting the fuck out. The fuck out of here. You're dead. You wouldn't feel it. You wouldn't know. Deal with it. And it'd be instantaneous. instantaneous they're like where are we gonna get hell yeah no that's for other people i guess i don't really want to do hell honestly every time i'm like hell not hell hell extreme never-ending torture i have to keep it i have to build another infinity i don't wanna (laughs) 
Do you know what it took to make a perpetual motion machine, man? Eh. Which, that's a whole concept that I have to deal with. <laughs> but I did it. So it works. Which, it's like multiple infinities, all this other stuff. Anyways... Uh, I'm sure other people could figure it out. I'm, I'm like, I don't really care. I'm just killing everyone that's ever been shit to me, which is fine. <laughs> I should do that. That's pretty much mostly everything in existence. Especially when you consider, like, the only reason why I found out about this stuff is because apparently this has been happening in my entire life. Everybody kind of knew, and this was a joke and a half of a fucking bullshit whole thing. It's fake. So everything was fake. Everything was literally a fake world to just fucking hurt me. And a lot of the rest of it, too. So I'm like, alright, fuck you. Dead. Actual death. You will never come back. There ain't no infinity to bring you back. There ain't nothing that's ever going to take you back. Bye. And I'm out. I'm out of the infinity. I'm out of all this stuff. And I'm, I'm leaving. Do my own thing. They'll do their own thing. Whatever they want to do. I mean, they're gods at this point. Gods, goddesses, all that shit. So am I. You know what I mean? You know, it's, uh, whatever, fucking right. Let's go home. I'm gonna go build my home. I'm gonna go fucking, like, do the whole marriage, I guess, or whatever the hell antiquated bullshit that is. And just be with my people. You know, do that whole BDSM thing. Sort of family life as well. You know... Hey, I'm doing this. What you been up to? Oh, well, you know. Not much. Yeah. <laughs> Wayne odds. Eh. Odds. <laughs> yeah. Fucking odds, am I right? I never thought I'd have to deal with odds again. When everything became true and determined, that was super easy. Yeah. <laughs> Now we're in a weird place. I know, right? <laughs> but it's like, we got most of it good, right? And I'm like, no. No. But, you know, that he's just saying other things. Anyways, and, and we're enticing you. Can you come into the trap? Well, he's not. But I am. Hey, come on over. You're not going to die. Come on. You know, that kind of thing. But that's what I'm doing, you know. And so it's like, I'm going to have my family. I'm going to have my friends. I'm going to have, like, you know, that whole thing. And it's like, you hey, know, I should live on infinitely. Because it's like, all you need to do is go forever. Which, what is what is forever? I thought forever is infinite. It's like, if, uh, if, uh, if forever is accounting for infinite and getting past it. That's forever. Which ain't very easy to do, I'll tell you that much. Even with my biggest, biggest computer, it's not really possible. I don't think people really ever realize what it is I'm doing when I get to that level. Especially when it's like, I'm gonna steal everything! I'm like, nah, you're not getting out of there. You're dead, that's your tomb, fuck you, die. You made your bed, lie in it, and fucking perish forever, all eternity, never happening again. I mean that. Even hell's, like, better because you exist, I guess. I suppose you could technically say you'd get out of it if you went to infinity. Because eternity should account for infinity. Well, you, you would think it's a little different. Forever is accounting. 
eternity is different. <laughs> eternity is just a never-ending time, which is a forever inflation or whatever version of time you decide to use. Which it's like, so you'd never get out. It'd be no use. I'd just, like, lock down for however, you know, and then just move it forever onwards, torturing you however many ways, you know. And it's like, no, 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 you're not going to escape. I locked that one down before you could try. That's all I have to do. Just eternally doing that forever. You never get out. Ever. But, like, I'm ending the whole thing, so it's like, have fun. I mean, you'll experience it the same amount of time. So, whatever. <sighs> yeah, you're still getting tortured forever, so whatever. And then you did, so, like, you didn't know. So, what's the point? You know what I mean? But that's what I'm doing. I'll definitely do that to every one of them. Why not? Fuck it. You know that takes so much work, dude. <laughs> yeah, watch this. Yay, it's doing the thing I wanted it to do. Good. <laughs> Forever? Yeah, well, no. There will be a point where you just... And it's done, so... Keep counting your blessings for that. Give your hope even in your final darkest hours. <laughs> right, there should be an end. But no. <laughs> there shouldn't be. It's It's the worst... <laughs> Fucking fuck you. That's such a bullshit move. Fuck you. <laughs> it's like, no, 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 I didn't do it forever, just infinitely. Minus one. <laughs> <laughs> or, really, we're at, we're at like point nine or zero kind of repeated, but then it's just dot, 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 and then one. <laughs> In mathematical terms, it's just a cunt move. <laughs> it's like, for sure, there's an end. But... <laughs> you kind of might never get there. <laughs> Fucking mathematicians! No, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, you can't say nothing. Fuck you. <laughs> Go away and die. Fuck you. <laughs> really? No, I removed the repeated. Yeah, it's just zero, dot, 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 and then one. So it gets indeterminate amount of time. It's a very long time. It's whatever the amount of time that it can take for sure. And then it did. <laughs> this fucking stupid asshole got you. <laughs> It's forever torture. Yeah. Quite proud of myself on that one. But it's not forever. It's certainly not. It's literally all the way up to infinity, but no, you definitely didn't make it die. <laughs> it's the most teasing cock block I've ever heard. You're about to reach it. Dead. <laughs> Forever. Just. Ugh. Literally. Yeah, that's what I'm doing to everyone. Except for the good people. Absolutely. I'd love to have the good people. I mean, not everybody wants to be my friend and everything like that. And they'll do their own thing. I'm just doing whatever. You know? I don't need to be friends with everyone. That's fine. 
I'm just friends with my people that are friends with me. And, like, I have my wives and girlfriends and husbands and boyfriends and shit. Pronouns are what they are. They're what they are. <laughs> they, thems, I don't know, either or, intersex. Uh, kind of, you know, not so much into that. Sorry. <laughs> eh. Nah, it's not a really thing. But, like, uh, but you said pansexual. I'm like, I'm a specific pansexual. You know, your pronouns are your pronouns. I just like to fuck pussy. That's what that is. That looks feminine enough and uh, it has the right kinks and submissive traits and personality qualities. And the chemistry is what we're talking about for, like, stuff, you know. You know. So that's fine, you know. And then, like, these stupid cunts that did all this shit to the practically everything they could get to. Because fuck you every which way, and I meant it too. Because it's like, oh yeah, you're dead to me forever. Forever plus one. <laughs> Or forever, plus, times, whatever the fuck. I don't give a shit. Infinitely all of those things, forevers. He's like, forever, to the power, forever, to the power, forever, forever powering itself. <laughs> Which it's like, that still fits within whatever. <laughs> Such a dick move. <laughs> Meanwhile, me, I'm out, I'm out, I'm out, do, 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 do. I'm gonna clap some ass cheeks. I'm gonna clap some ass cheeks. <laughs> I'm gonna make some babies. I'm gonna make some babies. Ooh, yeah, ooh, yeah. Also, I get to enjoy, like, the infinite nature of reality out there. I'm sure it'll exist in its own form. It's gotta be something. Anyways, whatever. Going on doing that wonderful, wonderful stuff forever. Enjoying it forever. And the forever way I can enjoy it for because it's forever. <laughs> all that I want and love and enjoy all the time forever. No negatives. Always trending to a never ending exponential curve better. Fuck you. Because you can do that. Once you get to any of this, you can do that. Trend upward, always, forever, better. Which I did that. And then it's like, constantly keep doing that. It's a whole thing. Which you didn't do. None of you do that. Except for, like, no one. And I got it with my friends and everything else. <laughs> Because, fuck that, I am not chasing after that, I'm not dealing with that virus problem, I'm never going to deal with you. You will never reach me, fuck you. So, so I am good to go. You guys are good to go, we're good to go, we're good to go. We're fucking finally done. That's why we're Italian dictator, because it's like, fuck that shit over there that's doing that. That's also why I'm a socialist democrat, because I'm like, once you teach people, which is what I'm doing with my totalitarian dictator stuff, the right thing to act, you know, believe, I, I believe is kind of a rough one for me, but there's like, definitely don't go too far on some of this stuff. Yeah, and then, like, for the most part, treat people with respect. Here's the physics for sure as we know them. You know, here's, like, the, the real history, especially since we calculated everything we could. So this is the very likely scenario that really happened here in our whole entire fucking planet. Should be doable, especially once we get to like the time thing. We can do that, yeah. Fuck. 
So it's like, okay. So here it is, everyone. All of it. All of the things. You should now be able to create your own universes and do all this other stuff. Yay, yeah, woo, that's cool, that's neat. Like, you couldn't do that before, I bet, at this point. Uh -huh. And, like, all the rest of it. And we wanted to find the meaning of life. We wanted to find you. I wasn't even supposed to be here. It's my version of events for my timeline that I can piece together. I was outside. I got dragged in by assholes into this place. Purely to fucking ruin my entire everything. All because... What? 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 At all? Like, we didn't ruin everything, you did. You could have created universes before you came onto this planet? What are you fucking on about? What did I do to you? I came in with no memory, no anything, no nothing, and I just basically schooled the vast majority of a large amount of bullshit for some basic hypothetical theoretical stuff that probably works a good amount of the time. It's concepts. I'm like... This is bullshit. Not to mention the whole fucking, like, way you can teach children about themselves, each other, how to interact and practice, which is a good thing. You should practice how to do things. Not to mention sex, too, yeah, because that makes you better at it and less likely to be violent with it. Meaning? Meaning? What meaning? Meaning? Meaning, do what you want. That's what this is. Do. Do what you want. Meaning of life? Do what you fucking want. I saw... I, I, I keep telling people, it's like, the pursuit of pleasure is a really good way to put it, for the most part, because it's effectively what it is. Pursue what makes you happy, so long as you are not harming others that do not wish to be harmed. You should be good. That's the meaning. That's it. Infinitely, do it. That's what makes it work. To infinity and well beyond. You go a little insane. Sure. You want to give yourself bad moments? Okay, that's you. That's your pursuit of your own pleasure. You fucking dummy. But sure, you're not so dumb. You didn't know. I don't think that stands to reason, though, to me. Because I'm the one that got tortured on a fucking goddamn planet called Earth. Where everybody's in on a lot of this shit. Or at least a good damn amount. Yeah, unfortunately that's true. <laughs> this is a problem. And a half. Because I'm like... This meant definitely I'm going to murder the shit out of everyone. Especially the moment I die. Fuck you. Because it's like infinite amount of, You're going to pop up with all your memories everything else. Somewhere the fuck else. That's what should occur. With the infinite numerous things that should happen. Your version? You didn't... You died. 
this version you didn't you lived right but that's quantum immortality thing but then it's like this one no 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 this one's over here this other universe you definitely died you felt the die you there now you didn't die you're there yeah like a sekai or whatever the fuck it is and you should do that infinitely one version of you infinite number of versions of you no You want to fucking, like, not die and just enjoy yourself and not have to go through that trauma shit? Do this. Enjoy yourself, you fucking assholes. <laughs> I'm not. I'll tell you that much. I'm not enjoying myself. I haven't enjoyed myself ever. Seems like. I've never been in any way, shape, or form enjoying anything. It turns out my entire life also was literally raped to death by fucking people to do that to me. And I'm struggling and fighting my ass off to murder the shit out of all of them. Before that happens... But it's like, you know what? It doesn't matter. I already know I'm there. I already know I'm out. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm killing you all. You don't get to go. I've already set up the parameters. I already know the people that are actually going to be there. I'm the one that got them there. I was the first fucking one. That's the only reason why any of this fucking happened to me. Which, that was literally just do things, effectively. Do things, enjoy yourself, fucking don't try and hurt others, best you can, kind of shit. But you know, I got there. I fucking hate this place. I hate everything about them. There's not a single thing, it seems like, I can like about people when I notice that. It's like, why the fuck am I supposed to know? You bastards. This is wrong. You are obviously all bad, wrong people to have done this. Not a single one of you wants to admit it. All gaslighting. There's little whatever the fuck. Because it's like, hey, you know what? You can just control someone like forever away. Their whole body. It looks like a fucking regular human. You wouldn't know. It's a robot. It's just, it's just a robot controlled robot. That's what that is. You wouldn't know. Everything on here is planet gone. Or dead or gay or whatever. You know, it's just not gonna happen. Like, do you know what the fuck you are? In any way? How shit you are? You should be ashamed of yourself. Like, actually, I don't bring shame into a lot of things. That should be a shameful thing. That's a shameful thing to do. That is a terrible fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you. You're shameful as fuck. You hurt the hell out of me. And no one else really on this planet turned out. Just me. The fuck is that? What the fuck? And then it's like you gaslight the shit out of it. It's like not everything in the world is about you. But that's apparently not true. <laughs> that was apparently not true. I learned that over six years of never ending co coincidences and everything else that had gone on, all the talks and shit. It's definitely true. It's for sure really true. Fucking center of the universe? Yeah, no, whatever. I don't give a fuck. However the hell you want to phrase it. I don't give a shit. Point is, this is definitely really happening to me. This is definitely the real reasons for it. I am sick and tired of that gaslight behavior crap. And you always assumed you were better. And your fucking narcissistic behavior traits never got better. You should die. For actually ever death. 
Which it's a welcome to you, so fuck yeah. And like the very few things that got out with me, good people, nice people, for the most part, you know, as we all try to be. That's what I get. And it's like, fuck yeah. I'll take anyone. Fuck this. I'll make it work. <laughs> you know what I mean? Which isn't to, to poo-poo on the people that... But you know what I mean? Like... Fucking Christ. You know? It's like, I wanted to have like a relationship, kids here on this planet, shit like that. Because regardless, I still need and desire, want social interaction, sex, all that shit. I... It's it's a necessary thing you have to have as any human being. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of us do. That's a thing, and it's pretty normal shit. You don't really have to worry about that, usually. But you apparently had to make it a whole fucking thing. And it's like... Right, so it's like you can't go out, and it's like, I already know it's fake. I already know you're setting this shit up to fucking just fuck me over. Yeah, right, like, yeah, no, right, why would you want to? You're an asshole. <laughs> I couldn't begin to describe how much you should not exist. All of you that have done this. Every one of you. I cannot begin to describe it. I didn't create you. I was born here just like the rest of everyone else. I'm not just talking about this life. <laughs> but my first one, there was nothing, man. Not really. It's fucking stupid. I hate everything about this. Oh. Yeah, we hurt. I mean, what about for... You're still doing it. You never changed. It's six fucking... You, I know the truth. You're still trying to lie about that shit. There's there still good enough concepts to get you everywhere you want to go and more. You know what I mean? I'm sick and tired of this. And I'm supposed to just put up with it? Say, I, I guess I am. Yeah, I have to put up with it. It's it. A bunch of shitwads I can't be the Italian dictator of to make sure people aren't shitwads anymore. And like, they're pretending their ass off and gaslighting and just like, hey, you know what, you know, I'm not going to really say anything. You know, bet between you and me, it's like a lot of them don't even understand that some of them might actually be the, even the same people. That's a whole thing. And then, like, oh, you might be entirely different. What? Alien races, different time, whatever. I mean, the amount of shit that we're talking about here that can exist at any given moment in time is ridiculous. Some of them might genuinely just be regular people, but... Right? Still, this shit is still there. So it's, it, you know, I mean... Yeah, negligent homicide, sure, whatever, I don't care, you know, if you want to call it that. To me, it just becomes a fucking problem, because it's like, you're killing me, intentionally. Every one of you is killing each other, intentionally, because you don't want to cooperate, you don't want to do anything to actually help me, when you said you would... You don't want to fucking fix any of these problems when you said you did. You said, you basically lied all the time, every day. And like, I did it too. And then I fucking stopped for six fucking years now. Because I'm like, fuck this. You know, I still lie from time to time because it's like, oh yeah, no, that's the world you live in. You got to. You know what I mean? You have to. It's the bullshit that's here. That's, that's what that is. There's nothing you can do about it. 
And what am I supposed to do? Oh, oh, uh, you know, everything I'm already doing, just like I described. I can't do more. There's no more. I don't have wavy magic fucking snap done all this stuff things. It's not magic. It's very extreme physics, but whatever. You know what I mean? Not very extreme. It's just physics, but like whatever. Whatever. I'm sick of this shit so much. So much. This is bullshit beyond belief. And they're like, we're going to have a wormhole get us to past infinity. No, that would still take infinitely long, no matter what wormhole idea I ever gave you would ever have amounted to. They always try and cheese this, I'm gonna get out, I'm gonna fucking kill you, do all this, and like, no one's gonna let you out. No one. You're not getting out. No. We are murdering you in there. <laughs> I don't care. This is bullshit as fuck. I never should have had to do it. I never even should have been in here. Ever. <laughs> I already got out the one time. That was already fucking horrendously shit. And it's like if I hadn't done that, I would have been absolutely dead. And you would have just been fucking trying to murderously do that shit forever. Because that's what apparently gets your jollies off. Constantly torturing people that are good people. You're a fucking retarded ass bitch. You should die. Just die. <laughs> fucking asshole. I want them dead. Anyways. It, it doesn't matter. After a certain point it's like we're... Through most of, if not all of my quantum and other Jew hickory designs, wormholes, I've got some weird ones I'm not going to put out there. You've got your going to destroy everything kind of thing, but then like you can kind of maybe stop that, but you don't know ac actually, truthfully, realistically, especially since you can just destabilize whatever supports the nothingness, so gone. And I'm like, that should work. Or anything. There's many ways to have a never-ending death go on forever, seemingly. But never hit anyone. But some of them are a little better than others. Yeah. Anyways. Then there's, like, all of this real bullshit. Yeah, I mean, like, you got wormhole. Like, you just beep out of here, man way easier for that but like I kind of get it it's like you gotta figure out stuff you got to and it's like this is what we get pretty good assortment honestly I'd say the best survival kit ever imaginable I couldn't imagine a better one maybe I will in the future you know, but so far, pretty good. Pretty good, I'd say. I mean, fucking anything you want to be, anytime, any place, whatever. You know, in terms of like your DNA and shit and looks and whatever, you because you can regress your stem cells, you can age regress your ass. You know, you can, you've got like a way to constantly feed your system, a, a system that all you have to do is make that feed out into being the right material, print it into this shit, layer it, all that stuff on your ship, you've got a new engine. That should last for a very, very, very long time, but, I mean, you already got warping wormhole stuff that makes it vastly, vastly more efficient to use, especially the more relativistic speeds, because it's like, oh, yeah, no, I probably got this on the skin, shove it into the fucking little areas I need to do, my relativistic fucking problems of you know, particle detonation issues, pfft, gone, they're done. They're now fusion stuff. And so, 
It's like, neat, but wouldn't you want to, like, learn how to do, like, quantum stuff? And I'm like, yeah, no, I kind of need to learn more, like, a far more. These are great concepts, but, like, these are the basics that I know. Basics, basics, basics. I'm talking never-ending learning, it seems like. And I've got however long until whatever happens, so I'll keep trying to piece out as much as I can. Without the ability to really go to school and really do the kind of like book work that I can or should really do or other stuff like that. Because I can't really do it the way other people do because I have these issues mentally. They didn't go away. Still there. Still happening. That's right. <laughs> they never left. And it's really all in thanks in part to family, society, fucking culture. My own issues, of course, played a part in that. Can't blame that all on them. But wait, you know, that's actually a good amount that seems to mostly be them that can cost me to react poorly. And then, then you know, kind of looks like a scapegoat problem again. <laughs> But wait, we're still not done. I've got the quantum whatever bullshit extra dimensional something whatever. It's not bullshit, but it's like like a lot of that. And that ended up hurting the hell out of me. Back then, recently enough, and I'm still dealing with it now. So, you know, I'm and they're like, You're just schizophrenic, you're just this, you're just that. The flippant invalidating bullshit. And then, oh, by the way, you don't really actually have as much hope as you seem to in the, in the rest of what you were saying. Because, like, that seems to be your thing that makes you happy. You're thinking about this stuff. Oh, right. You might, are very unlikely to get SSI. And if you do, it's probably not going to be enough. You don't really have the ability to get to the, the, the food stamp stuff, stuff that you really need done, done. Been up all night, so you gotta take a break throughout the entire day, because it's 6.24 a.m. For me. And, oh, uh, yeah, you, the place you're going to is effectively a no-opportunity zone. Good luck trying to find in the ultra- hardcore, conservative, religious place that you're in. That's tough on all crime. Doing well as the socialist democratic totalitarian dictator you are. That's ultra smart as fuck. And has like very obvious BDSM kink things and things that shouldn't be allowed by anyone. Especially around here apparently. And you're mentally unsound, stable, whatever they want to call it. Even though you're actually very sound. You're just not dealing with things well. And they wouldn't understand why you're sound. Because that doesn't sound well to us. And, you know, that whole bullshit back and forth. I'm, I'm a doctor. I know more than you. And I'm like, everything I just said is something that went over your head and you stared at me blankly. Meanwhile, I can go into, hey, you, your pharmaceutical companies, you, you, you prescribe that medicine, pays the FDA to review data, you know, studies, that they specifically select people that are treatment responders, not non-responders to the treatment, and they exclude the non-responders very often. In fact, pretty much every time. Oh, we're not done yet. A lot of the medications you happen to report having use for me or someone else is a tolerable side effect to some with a profile of 
to you, seemingly, only these side effects that you're aware that you read about but didn't ever actually experience yourself or have been in contact with all of these other people, of course, totally afraid to tell you anything about their fucking medication or anything like that, besides they don't want to go on more, most likely. And it's like, oh, this is a new side effect. Oh, it's not listed, so that doesn't happen. I got gaslit by my own psychiatrist here about that. And, like, that definitely is a thing that happens to me. Oh, uh, the reported benefits that you say are there is from my, of course, it's not perfect. And you're a doctor, you see more patients that are wanting to tell you everything's good and they have all these other things that are going well because I don't want to go back. I don't want to be on more drugs. I don't want to be dealing with you anymore. So, like, wonderful anecdotal research you've got that's certainly not possibly askew in any way. So, for me, the fucking patient that actually goes there, talks with them, because you don't got anything else to do. Hey, better data, more candid, more real, more honest. Goes, most of this didn't do shit. Literally at all. Then you see a random few people. Because they're in a mental health hospital. What the fuck do you think? They're the non-responders you say get treatment. And that you need more drugs to suddenly fix all the problems. So it's like a few of them, some med switches, something maybe sticks, placebo, yay. I'm doing the thing, I'm at the place that I'm supposed to be, the help. Please help, please help, please help, please help, please help, okay. And it's like, alright, we haven't gotten there yet. We have to go back into the situation that's going to cause the stress that led them there. Yeah, that's the thing, the situation didn't leave, they're going right back to it. Didn't go away. Sorry. Nobody really usually has that amount of money that's in one of these places. Don't you know that? Indeed. Why don't you know that? Honestly, that's kind of shitty that you don't. As a doctor, have you ever been a patient yourself? Huh? Have you? It doesn't seem like you have because you forgot, apparently. I'm like, alright, we're almost done. The doctors don't listen. The nurses barely care. Behavioral healths are barely something that seems to listen or care. Five fucking places. Longest is four. I had three. I had three, two weeks, or two to three weeks, something like that, which is usual. You know. Exactly the same result pretty much throughout. Doctors barely care, make assumptions on someone 10 minutes of interview, they don't barely know. You get a new diagnosis, they know everything about you, apparently, just like that person said, that doctor just said. They know everything about you. You don't know shit about him. You don't even have his patient fucking history that you've read. You'll say you did, but you didn't, because you know people are probably not going to call you on that. Until, like, later, and then, like, you won't have to take any kind of shit, and everybody's going to back you up, because I don't want to have to get sued and have to be liable to things. <laughs> so it's like, alright, we haven't even gotten to the fact that the medications appear to run a lot closer to a placebo level of actual benefit, especially when you take into the psychological accounts of, hey, you know, I'm going to the doctor's office, I really believe this is going to work for me, they seem like they know stuff, they're going to tell me about it, there's going to be some of these side, these side effects seem to really increase my idea that it's doing something, and so it's definitely going to help. Not really marked on a lot of these studies in any way. But it's there, for sure. It's definitely there. Happening no matter what they say. <laughs> okay, now we have... We have this, this, this DNA. 
that is definitely expressing at different rates depending on the different amount of stress and biological factors going on with themselves and in their environment too. They have their own belief systems that are massively going to play a role in their psychological well-being and whether or not they feel guilty or ashamed or anything else and bad upbringing definitely plays a role. They have only so many opportunities, opportunities within their basic living arrangements and the stressful environment that they're going to go to right back to it. It's like hopefully they got therapy. You know, that's usually the two-pronged approach. You know, reframe some of their perspective, belief systems, and all that to help them. Did you account for any of those therapies, like in your studies being done before, during, or after, and to see if that helped your medication with your placebo almost levels of usefulness? Okay, and then we got the DNA and all the rest of it. That's, that's, that's not probably good, because it's not in there almost ever, it would appear. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I have a massive incentive as a stock traded. I'm a publicly traded company. That's a pharmaceutical company whose interest is in making the monies, not caring for patients. I don't care. I don't care if you're a doctor that wants to give you good medicine. That's not my problem. I want you to sell the medicine I already have. I don't have to go research and develop more. Make more uses for it, you fucking lab monkey do that what do you know that seems that oh by the way they yeah no they're stare they're shareholders they have to make the money it's illegal for them not to do so you don't know that now you do they're like no it's not that big of a deal it's a big deal it's a, and it's greed every every which way throughout all of it even down to the doctors and nurses themselves because sometimes you get kickbacks. Sometimes people just get nice dinners, whatever. There's no kickbacks, no. Turns out we then have documentaries that show that there were some maybe kickbacks. So that's just a lie. <laughs> get out of here, you. If, like, they were able to dig it up that easily and make a documentary about it, fuck off, shut up, you don't know what the hell you're saying. You're just trying to defend yourself and you're getting defensive. Maybe you need some therapy. So there's that. Okay, we haven't even gotten to the worst part. 15 minutes at most. <laughs> what? 10? 5? Sometimes? Oh my god, I saw a patient for a minute. I was able to write enough in the chart. I got like hundreds of dollars. I see like 20 patients today. That's a lot of money, isn't it? You do that uh, every five days a week, huh? Patient chart files a lot. Really difficult to fill out. No, they're time consuming, not difficult. That's not the same thing. <laughs> not the same thing. Because you're a functioning person that isn't in a fucking mental health facility, you damn stupid doctor. I'm getting pissed about that. Because I'm like, you're going to fucking go after me? You need this, 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 what? What is that? A fucking, what is it? Antipsychotic? Antidepressant? Anti-anxiety? Atypical antipsychotic now? First round antipsychotic? Haldol? Oh my god, geodine? How many times are you going to put someone on something that doesn't reduce any voices or anything? Especially the vast majority of the time. I don't have them. Doesn't do shit, except go, God, I'm dead, 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 which is what you want to hear from the smart guy that seems to be putting you in your place, and not him putting you in your place. <laughs> 
And then other nurses and everything else, you know, like, I don't want to deal with a guy that seems to think I'm, and you know, like he's clearly, you know, this jealousy, I, I don't feel that. <laughs> Does it make you act in erratic ways? No, it doesn't. Because as far as I'm aware, you did act in erratic ways, but so did I. But you're the fucking nurse and I'm the fucking patient. Why are you holding me up to a standard of a functional person? Are you functional? You're not functional, are you? You're pretending you're functional, but you're not functional. All right, we're almost through it. We're almost through it. It's like some of them definitely get benefit, no matter what. And and this is the thing. It's like, oh, the the medical issues are real. Absolutely. Your mental health issues are for sure real. There's no placebo, though, affecting any of this at all. No, no, no. I'm like, no, no, no. Even the doctors that actually have done enough work and maybe now we're going to probably do a little bit more. It's like, hmm. Yeah, okay. So there's still placebo that's working for you. And it unfortunately does come with other possible body, mental, neurological change. You know, you don't know, unfortunately. We, 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 we don't think it's going to kill you, likely, but then some do experience increased risks of certain suicidal behaviors or other things. So, um, you know, that's a trial by fire, unfortunately. And you came here to get help. This is the stuff that seems to be the safest. We'll start off at that. And the lower doses. Standard medical practices. Generally prescribe these typical SSRIs or SNRIs. Every doctor has their basic preferences or biases over years or whatever research they happen to read that seems to make them go off into that direction of belief. Which, that's very specific things that you definitely have bias in, involved in that wanting again money from from you to make you believe one thing or another and it's advertised medicine that is not allowed in other places then you go off the patient history reports which i just told you how flawed that could be massively There's no blood, urine, fecal matter, mouth enzyme profile, liver enzyme profile. Nothing gets tested so far to all the psychiatrists I've ever been to. Others probably do. They're rare, I'm sure. But whatever. They don't use that test to help see if it might be a good idea to even start you on the medication. They don't do brain fMRI scans that are very, 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 you know, small slices to see just how much connectivity, how reduced brain matter volume in certain areas and everything else because you would think that they would fucking, as psychiatrists, know a little bit about the brain that they're supposedly... Treating with chemicals. Chemicals definitely do things, no matter what. But some of these don't really seem to do much of what we thought they might have done. You know? Which is a problem. And some definitely don't do shit to some, and some definitely do a lot to others. Depending on how much of a psychological place mint of the placebo effect we happen to have to put in there how much is that really that or something else and how much is it various things in their life getting better socioeconomical status marital status job their own hobbies maybe there's therapy involved maybe they're sleeping a little better because they now have hope None of this is in any of their studies. At all, as far as I can tell. I've read quite a few. I've gone through PubChem many times. I'm like, this is not 
as good as I would really hope for anyone to prescribe any sort of medication to anyone. This is a money-making scheme as fuck. That being said, some medicines help. Is it the medicine or is it a sugar pill that would help you the most? I can't tell you. And the doctors, unfortunately, can't either. Doctors really can't. Unfortunately, this is my issue. If I really look into that, and they do too, and I really look into how much work they're going to really do to look into any of that, and as I remember this, this whole fucking story with my fucking doctor, and as my fifth hospital stay, I'm talking about this oxytocin thing, it doesn't do any of that, I immediately find it, the moment it comes back up in my memory, oh yeah, he just said, oh yeah, I'm going to look at my, right there, same place, same link, all of these other fucking links, I'll send it to him if he wants it. And it's like, that's not everything, though. But that's still actually pretty good. It's got multiple different studies, not just rat studies. There are some human studies in there. And they're good. Because they're not meant to sell someone a drug. They're meant to report back effects of a drug on the patient. And the reported benefits. Now, is it small? Is there, there's caveats here. Yes, it's not perfect. But when you look at like the fucking shit that I see that they pay the FDA to go, yeah, okay, well, look. And it's like, there's 50, 100, you might get that many patients to fucking do the test and you have like three stages or some shit. They're randomized, but it's not as good as you might expect that randomized. They would know that, though, because it's like, hey, you know, you can only do so well on this, and it's not that big of a sample size, and, oh, you're just realizing they absolutely have records on your ass, and they ask patient a fucking history of their past medication use and whether they got benefit or not benefit from any of these things so they can cherry pick the people that are in these studies and try and get the results because they'll run them several fucking times as well being mean, thorough uh, to get the right fucking one that goes it seems to work and you should approve it A lot of money invested in this. I'm like, yeah. Why is it that you guys don't get money from the government and everyone to really just constantly, like, get all that you can for that done without having to go to a capitalistic system whose main requirement is to get enough money for the people at the top and not get effective medical treatment for the patients? So it's like, all right, you know, I would love to say that this medication works. What I can tell you is that it does the same or a little better as a placebo. Getting your diet and exercise under control is a good thing for anyone. Going to therapy is a good thing for anyone. Sleeping regularly at good times, good idea do that drink more water breathe more meditate go outside perhaps more often you know that kind of thing it's good stuff usually typically helps a lot but you know it doesn't change the fact that there are genuine issues that are there that aren't going to suddenly disappear if you don't know how to emotionally regulate yourself, what your triggers are, what to communicate like, what your emotions even are, and where they even came from. Something a pill isn't going to do at all. Okay, and it's like, that seems okay. That seems like, you know, you know that at all. Well... Whoa, 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 whoa. These are really... I mean, it's not going to fucking like, get rid of psychosis if you're in psychosis. What do we do with people with psychosis? You know what I found out? 
most people are going to hate this one. There's not a single antipsychotic that ever reduced a single person's voices in their head to gone. In fact, I've heard several occasions where it made it worse. There's massive side effects with breast cancer, breast tissue issues, weight gain beyond belief, insulin sensitivity. And that's not even getting into sexual dysfunction, total ability to not have motivation. The overwhelming anhedonia they cause, the brain damage if it's gone on for too long and taken for too much for too long, even though they're regularly prescribed out those doses. For a patient that literally doesn't have schizophrenia, and even then... This is the worst part. They'll say he has schizophrenia. Many studies have shown a person can easily fake voices and everything, and they will not know. And doctors, other doctors that went through these places, these medical facilities, pretended, got forcefully medicated, and had brain damage, lasting brain damage. And it's like, they don't know what the hell schizophrenia is. They don't know what the hell causes it, it turns out. They don't know if it has anything to do with pertaining to these other worldly, my ass, actual physics phenomenons that do support my ideas that they could be there and actually a thing. Two, they could be also trauma triggers where you create your own imaginary friends and your own you know, fucking set up of uh, different scenarios and play around and you snap into character where it seems like disassociative identity disorder, but in reality, you just don't see anyone there. So you gotta act them out. You know, and it can also be all of that. And even schizophrenia and bipolar and borderline and I'm like, oh my god, you're over diagnosing the shit as someone and you want to medicate him really hard because you don't want him to talk anymore, do you? You don't. Not in any way, but you cannot say that in there. I can guarantee you, you can't say that. I definitely watched that in my fifth hospital stay. Don't ever say that. They will over-medicate you and show you exactly, I don't care, you're court-ordered, I'm going to fucking put you on the literal one of the worst antipsychotics that was created, and it's not prescribed by almost anyone because of how bad it is and how unuseful it has ever been for the vast majority of the patients that took it. This guy's a fucking asshole. He's a fucking asshole. But you know, know, unfortunately, there's a lot. Like right there, Angela is not my mom. Angela was one of the nurses that was there. She was a dick. You know what? It was like, oh, we're going to pull your pants down because it's like we're going to put this fucking, this shot of antipsychotic in your ass. Because like you've been making us feel so like shit. Because I've been calling out the fact that you haven't been doing, like, anything that you said you did. And then you decided to just fuck off for, like, days sometimes on it. And, I, you know, I, uh, kinda have to get shit done. Where are you going? I'm not talking about going anywhere. I'm talking about my other fucking shit. What are you... The lawyer, you retard! <laughs> You're such a dumbass. You can't speak clearly at all right now. Oh, go, 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 go. Blah, blah, you're showing it off. Stop. You don't know anything that was happening. You just assumed again. You have no idea what was going on there. And I can tell you, I'm not the only patient that felt the same damn way. Everybody was pretty much feeling the same damn way. Fuck you. Please shut up on something you don't have the ability to comment on.
because you're clearly biased for them, because you're already one of your own nurses in the field. And then, oh, wow, what's this? I was mean as a inpatient at a psych ward? How mean was I when I made, like, really great friends and I was cracking jokes that everybody was laughing at? And, like, generally, if I'm going to, like, have to advocate for myself for someone that just decided to fuck off for five hours and was like, well, this is the end of my ship, I'll tell you as I'm leaving that this is going on, which I know you've done your own damn self with that little look away. <sighs> And I'm like, where the fuck am I going? You know, I needed to do this. This is bullshit. You know? So anyways. Oh, you can't, you can't make jokes anymore. There, you know, there are some Republicans here, says the Republican, that complained to the other fucking people to make me stop, even though none of the patients were having issues with me at all. conservative asshole is really what she was. And I'm not talking about Angela because I'm like, oh yeah, no, we're not in the hospital. You're going to inject it in my arm like the lady did before in the time before that. You fucking dick. Fuck you. You didn't need to do that. And you knew that. Which is why I know you're a dick. I knew you never needed to do that. I've been to enough of them and I've had that very same shitty fucking drug that never helped at all before yes it did help no it didn't I was like oh so you're, you speak for me and all my experiences you went through them all the same me being me you were me no then shut the fuck up Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck out of here on that one. <laughs> Anyways. That's Angela and Emily and some other fucking person. I think Amber or maybe the other one. I don't remember. But like, I don't know. But I had a couple people on my side. And they were very nice. And honestly, they didn't seem to have too many issues with me. They knew I was animated. They knew I had issues. And, you know, hey, well, you have ADHD and you're in a stuck environment where you can't get stimulated. Everything is, like, way too fucking much. You're overly fucking goddamn run up the flagpole on so many things. Your hearing aid's broken. Nobody's wanting to. I'm, it's not going to go anywhere. Everybody's like, oh, uh, why would I help you with this? Why would I help you with that? Advocate for yourself. You know what I mean? And it's like, oh, you're being into, you're being too overbearing, you're being a little bit, da, da, da. oh, whatever. No, I wasn't. <sighs> but like the defensiveness suits you well, because you know you did wrong. You know you did me wrong. You did. You know you did me wrong. Everyone, even some of the other nurses that were not even on my side, even with my foot, they were like, yeah, no, that's, I don't know why I can't just give you a fucking goddamn chair or some crutches. But it's like, I kind of want to see you in pain because you kind of pissed us off. And I got that one easily from some of them. And I'm like, that's the kind of place. You have no rights. You have no nothing. You really are in a place like that. It's not actually a mental health care place. They just pretend it is. It's petty bullshit behavior that they should definitely be above, and they're not. And that's a problem. Because it's like, you know what? I know with your fucking whole job and the way you're treated and everything else, been there through it, have more than enough conversations with enough of you, Throughout all of it, I've seen the statistical data. You guys are pretty much one of the most highest suicide percentage people 
jobs in America. You all have had your own traumas, and it's probably what led you to being in this position that you wanted to help people, then realize this fucking thing, it never lets you really help one or another or anyone, really. And then if you didn't, you're just a dick that's doing a job because it's a job. And you don't care about anyone. Which you kind of need that for the job. So, you know, you know, all fair as well, whatever. But like, hey, you know, just like I talked about my fucking mother and everything else and it doesn't excuse her, whatever her past shit was. And, like, how she is mentally is allowing her to abuse me. It doesn't give her that excuse, and it doesn't give you that excuse to do that to me either. It doesn't. But it does. By legal standards, it does. Because you don't have rights as a patient. That's what that means. Be very careful. Oh, wow. Why would I want to seek out help if it's that bad? And they're saying that directly to her face. Why? Why? Would we want to do this? Gee, I... Well... Why? Why would we want to? He's like, no, because we help you. You're a vacation spot that the government might pay for. That gets us away the abusive fucking shit that we're at outside. Hoping we get some, like, group therapy or some shit to better manage yourself. Maybe a better medication. Because we get to be there two to three weeks. Usually. You're not anything that you say you are. You're not actually help. You're just there to stop someone from doing it. That's it. I can accomplish the same thing with someone just that cares for them in their life and is willing to put up with shit. You're not worth it. But it's like, you are, unfortunately. Because you're all we got. So we have to. Your terrible treatment, your terrible people, and the vast majority of you don't give a fuck. You slip through cracks so wide the Grand Canyon looks like a fucking goddamn microscopic lesion. Your medicine can help. It can hurt just as much. And it can do almost nothing for a lot of them when we're not even acknowledged in the system. We just push more drugs that eventually something... the answer for everything but that's all we can do here can't give you therapy you're a mental health hospital right why the fuck not because not equipped you should be equipped why aren't you getting paid enough to do that well because bourgeois and the money goes there to the people that are above you that's what that is you know what the answer was stop stop it You're supposed to be on our side. You're not supposed to be defensive with us. You're not supposed to be petty. You're not supposed to act like you're basically just a hierarchy structure of the very patients that are in there. You're supposed to care. And you're also supposed to stand up and advocate for yourself, which is what you're telling us to do, to the very things that will make it so you can actually provide care for people. You're supposed to put the fight to corporations, the place you're working at, the wheels, the cogs, the machine. We are the kings, man. Not them. We are the kings. Anyways, oh, that's a lyric from uh, Linkin Park. It's a great song. Love it. Great song. Um, I, I don't think it's We Are The Kings, but it might be some other thing. It's something like that. 
you know, it's, it's a great fucking song, wonderful fucking song, anyways, now, I'm gonna get into the fact that that's basically the same issue with drug-related crime issues, and a lot of domestic violence, which is also sometimes drug-related, and mental health. Oh, what, are, what, what? Oh my God! Look at all these programs and like, if you helped people like learn to emotionally regulate and not, whoa, what the fuck? Wow, don't you don't you notice like that? There's a reduction in these problems you're you're seeing that take a toll on the very system in place that makes certain people very very rich, and they don't want to change that. Sure, I'm uh, not a anarchist at all. Sure, eat the rich, kill them, kill them all. We don't need them. They provide nothing of value. I absolutely think we should chop their heads off. Uh, but some of them are good. This is what I have to say, because I know that's got to be the case. There's no way every one of them's evil. I just, I just don't, I mean, immediately, I just go, Ger, you've had a lot of ways to coddle that fucking overblown up ego, making yourself out to be a good person when you're not. That's a problem I have with this. And then you have a lot of officers and nurses just like that. Petty behavior. They have their own issues. They never learned how to regulate any of that. They went into a position of authority over people that are very vulnerable. And or they themselves can't even do the damn job. Doing something that's extremely important to the entirety of society. Are you really considering the amount of crazy ass anxiety and stress and depression I'm going to feel from that? I do. I feel a fuck ton. It's, it's crazy to me. It makes me feel insane. Because it's like, oh, you think you're the only ones? You got nurses? Sure. You got teachers? Sure. You got college professors? Sure. You got doctors? Where does this fucking end? Everybody's screwing over everybody. All the time. Everywhere. And I'm definitely the one who's the vulnerable one getting fucked over. It's insane to me. And you're like, let them die. And cold, callous, I like beat you down. No empathy anymore. All the damage and trauma you can't even feel inside. You feel like you maybe have anhedonia your own damn self because pleasure. No, you're depressed. You should be. Your life is hard and there's no getting out of that. And you're a functional person? And you don't get paid enough? And like everything's rising costs. There's like shit tons of things in the world that are obviously bad for us. You should absolutely not be well adjusted to that. If you were psychopath, sociopath, narcissist, what? So, like, that's a thing that you should definitely check. Because often they don't give a fuck. And I can easily spot them. It's really simple. You know, and this is a problem I have. Because it's like, oh, you know, I would love to get into that whole fucking shebang with that stupid, stupid time that I was there. But, you know, the thing is, it's like it allowed me to work and settled some shit. And definitely made me far more aware of how willing and able people were to go to fucking lie about things. Or just not do jobs. Or just not care. Or just say, you know what, you piss me off, or I'm annoyed with you, or I'm disgusted, whatever it is. 
And, like, that's now meaning I'm just not going to do anything. And any justification is grounds for... I've... Now, you know, it was already hard. I'm just going to drop it. I'm just going to drop you. I'm just not going to deal with you anymore at all. I'm going to do the bare minimum because I'm required to. That's it. Barely going to do anything. I'm really not. You know. And that's all it takes. It can be any reason at all. Democrat, Republican, Socialist, uh, Conservative... Hey, what are you, a pedophile? Hey, what are you, a gay? Hey, what are you, fucking whatever? Doesn't matter. It can be anything. You stop caring, you stop doing the work, and you don't care so much about yourself either. It seems to leach into your weight. It seems to leach into your sleep. It seems to leach into the way you treat others you thought you cared for as well. How do I know that? Because that's something that happened to me, and actually I've seen it happen to a lot of the other people I talked to while I was a patient. You give up on yourself. You also give up on a lot of other things in your life. That's a thing. You're not fighting for me, you're fighting for you. That's what you're doing. You should know that by now. I'm sorry I have to tell you and be a smart alecky braggart, as that guy is saying. That guy, whoever, if they ever heard this, I'm sure I'm getting one of you that said that. Statistical, I've got to get one. If I get enough of it, it lasts long enough. But, like, you know, the fact of the matter is, you're fighting for yourself to survive, and then, like, some of you really don't care, and it's not going to hurt you, you think that, and then it's, like, ten years later, and, like, you realize some shit about how much you were pretending that mask really is barely there still. Shit. <laughs> You know, like, you're just trying to, like, get to the day. You smile, you're angry, you're sad, you pretend you don't cry, you realize you're always hiding all your emotions and you don't really have any feelings. Because feelings are worthless. When the hell do feelings become worthless? Are you that traumatized? That's the same mark of a really traumatized person. I've gone through it, I should know. Are you in a safe place? Are you safe enough to finally have your emotions come out? I should know. I still am trying to get to there. I'm not in a safe place right now, it feels like. I can't have my emotions because, oh, if anything has problems, I'm dead, man. Like I might go suicidal. I might have all my work that I fucking put in just go to shit. And I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. Like, I'm fucked. You know what I mean? Like, that's a thing. I have to do that. Just like you do. As a functional person. Because I'm not functioning, remember? And I'm here in your fucking mental health hospital because I didn't function so bad, it really showed. I couldn't hide it no more. That's what you're going to become. That's what you are going to become, those listening in. You will become like that if you cannot get your shit together. Like, that's a, that's a real problem. And they don't give a fuck. Like, that Angela, I know, she don't give a shit. I know that. Like, she is not 
a good person to be in this position or anything. She knows. She's still there, and she knows that she can do that. You wonder why? They don't have enough people. And she's right there. She's exposing herself right there. Like, yeah, I don't know. Why not? Why shouldn't I? There's nothing, like, they can do me, stop me in any way. You know what I mean? Like, what, what is this? You know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, no, well, you know, like, if she were to ever drop the pretenses and everything else of what it is I ever saw of her. Because I know she's got the whole, like, I can do because I always hold me back, you know. Suddenly cry, like probably your mom does. And you'd be surprised how easy it is for women especially that are closeted narcissists and shit to get away with it for so long. Nobody really seems to think that you're the one. It's always the guy. That double standard's too damn strong. But it's a thing. It's a thing. Now, is she really? Is she really? Honestly, from what I saw and what she acted like, and the petty behavior, I mean, it's just petty behavior, but it's like also the fact that, you know, she hated me right there, yeah, she said it, you know what I mean, it's like, I heard that at least, but I didn't hear it, hear it, I didn't think it, think it, I didn't hear it in my head, head, so it's like, you know, I kind of like felt it, felt it, but I didn't tactile feel anything, you ever know what that means? You ever, like, feel a sixth sense of something? And then you run, and, like, something happened. You ever get that feeling? I get that feeling a lot. Whenever I'm talking about, like, personalities of people, it seems to fucking rest in my head. Because it's like, oh, yeah, no, I went through a massive abusive traumatic relationship... That I was required to know instinctually what the hell was about to happen or go down and be said and all that other stuff. Because otherwise, it could have meant bad things. So it's like, you know, I kind of get that feeling. But it's like, you know, do I really know? Do I really know? No, 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 I don't. But I can tell you what I felt. I can tell you what I saw. And I can tell you that it wasn't good. And it wasn't just her. And they had their own little clicky clicks in the place. They have these, they're seemingly slightly better looking women who seem to hang out over there. They talk, they laugh, or whatever. They get the slightly less. And I'm like, this is like high school all over again. Jesus fuck. And I'm also just the one that's walking around or watching people again. I am. And, like, this one seems to act like this. Their body language seems to have... <laughs> yep, no, that's going to happen. Oh, there it goes. It happened. It's like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? It's so boring. I'm back in... Oh, right. Oh, but... Oh, shit. That's right. It's everywhere. You never get away from it. The whole America is a ginormous high school drama... With politics involved. A massive con going on. About everything that's being done. Seemingly is the right thing. But actually nobody knows anything. And it's mostly just to sell you something. <laughs> and oh. Oh we haven't even gotten into the fact. I'm the popular one. I'm not as popular but I'm pretty cool. You know. You got your entertainment, you got your fucking politics, you got your this, that, whatever. I'm the apparently schizoaffective, borderline personality, bipolar, ADHD, complex PTSD, major depressive disorder, and anxiety of the wazoo guy that makes really poignant remarks about everything. <sighs> Who's smart, clearly. Everyone tells them. <laughs> you know, they could say, well, you know, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm genuinely, genuinely, and I mean this, I have been told by PhD people, it's like, you're actually smart. 
why don't you get into like certain things? I'm like, ah, thank you. ADHD, all these other problems. So, uh, that's probably not going to happen. You know? <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate being told something and not living up to the expectations of others. You're wonderful for doing a subtle little dig like that every time. You know, but it's like it's not your job to live up to other people's expectations. Remember that Reddit meme? Yeah, it's not. But that's a thing. We do. Because then they get angry at you. Because you didn't. And then they act weird. Because they have expectations and judgments that they place upon others. Because... I didn't act the right way that they wanted me to. <laughs> I'm like, wow, so my life is to act and revolve perfectly for you. You sound like my mother. I don't think you really understand what it is you're saying anymore. <laughs> You don't really understand how it is you present yourself anymore. You don't understand how it is you come off. You don't understand how you come across. You might not even understand why it is I view you this way because, hey, you thought it was normal to act that way. I gotta tell you, that is the normal way, unfortunately, and it's garbage. Neurotypicals are abusive sociopaths that play games constantly. With passive aggressive bullshit mixed in all the time. And my god, they want to say I am with their defensive nature and need to defend their ego and betterness than me. You need to do a little work on yourself. You do. Especially if you're like in that position. But like, no, I don't have to. And that's the problem I'm having. He's like, you have to. You should. I should. I'm like, yeah, well, actually, like, for your job, yeah. But, like, I know I shouldn't say you should in therapy anymore. Because it's like, that's, that's not what that's supposed to be. You're not supposed to say should. Because it's counter to what it is. It's like, I feel as though... It would be more beneficial for your performance in your job and for the resulting impact and reactions of your patients if you were to change your behavior and the way you communicate with them a little better and differently. But it's like, I'm going to be direct point blunt because uh, this is my recording. You a fucking asshole, Angela. Fuck you. Change your shit or get the fuck out of being a goddamn nurse. I can do the nice, nice shit all you want. It doesn't change. The same thing means the same thing. That one's probably going to get you a lot further. That's nice. And, like, it coddles the ego, and it makes the spoon-fed medicine with sugar go down easier. Eh. But it's, like, it's also not okay to really say it that way. But I'm angry. I'm also angry. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not gonna, I'm in my fucking place in my, yeah, no. But I'm all, I, I don't, no, no, I do not like this person. This person and others were not nice. And I just had to suck it up. In a mental health hospital. I'm trying to get treatment from. You know what I mean? And they're talking to me like I'm fucking, you know, in my mind. Right? They're like if I was going to have this conversation. Because my mind. It's like, what would they say back? You know, that kind of shit. It's like I'm having this conversation. And this kind of shit. And it's like the fuck is this after a certain point I don't want to deal with any of this I don't 
And I'm like reminded of myself acting such dickishly ways towards like, you know, this perceived future. It's like, this is a thing, you know, that I ended up having. Because it's like, oh, yeah, you know, by the way, yeah, I, I was homeless there. I did camp at that place. I, I did go to this mental health hospital. I did have that issue. I wish I could have remembered not as it was happening, but before. That would have been nice. Trigger, trigger, this seems from my other... Oh, jeez, wait, what? Which is a real problem I have. Because they're like, you should know everything. I have like six years of perfect memory. Just just a constant, never-ending fucking... Re oh, yeah, no, no, that there's the thing. I remember I was at this point in the fucking, like, you know, living room fucking saying that. You know, and like, that's you, that's, what, and I remember in my head, I was imagining, that's, that's, that's the face that you were making that I saw in my head. And I'm like, cool beans, wonderful shit. Everything's always like this. <laughs> Six years. That's fucking sucky. It's like, what did that, you know, make me act shitty? I'm like, most likely, there's other connected motherfuckers, there's connected reality shit, there's like, whatever quantum things there, there could just be like, I hassle, and, and you know, this is also another one that I love to throw in there, because it's also, I need to take, you know, some stock here. I was going through a massive amount of bullshit. Inside, internally, with the connected thing. Externally, my mom. And my family. And then my drug use. You know. Which is cannabis and alcohol from time to time. You know. And alcohol from time to time. Cannabis was pretty much consistent. You know. And then it's like... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We haven't gotten much further than that, have we? No, 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 no. I was freaking out about the fact that some of this shit was really starting to happen. Actually happen. Didn't want to believe it at all. That's a thing. Made up shit. Tried to push my luck. All this. I don't know, man. And then... There's... And then, you know, then there's this like, Oh my god, I can't... I'm overwhelmed. I need someone to take control. Someone else. I'm letting you in to take control and fucking run things for a little bit. Because, like, I can't do that. They stuck around. Uh, next thing I know, I'm, like, slightly more erratic. I'm slightly more angry. I'm slightly more perverse, maybe. Degenerate. Whatever. I don't care. But it's like it all got worse. But am I? No. I mean, some of it was, you know, stuff that I really felt. And then others, I was like, that's not me. Why? And then, like, some of it was, like, to do the whole QAnon, whatever, conspiracy thing. You know, like, I can I can say conspiracy shit, and then people would probably believe it. You know, stuff like that. And it's like, that was supposed to be... Not a joke, actually. This is kind of the problem. I was intentionally doing that to fucking do, like, an art piece to effectively be like, do you realize... How fucking much you don't fucking... But then it's like, actually, do you even realize how much that actually can be a thing? Some of that? Like, actually, it doesn't even take much for some of it? Um, you know, lizard suit people? Like, oh, that one's... Oh, come on. And I'm like, this is kind of one of my problems. I have, as a high IQ individual that can come up with reasonable explanations for incredibly strange phenomenon, but also, like, have incredibly strange phenomenon mask itself as incredibly ordinary phenomena and so it's like all right i can have like a total fucking dress up suit whatever it looks perfectly you wouldn't see it it could be controlled by some fucking ship somewhere else quantum entangled bullshit i don't know you could have like a ton of things that are going on there adrenochrome you know you're looking at like someone that just goes like i guess for some reason they wanted it i guess now we're like in the business of selling it and like they do their 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 bit, sell this. It's the best thing ever. It's gonna oh yeah, that's the thing you want. 
It's a cabal. I'm like, a cabal? What is a cabal? I had to look up what a cabal was. It's a religious group of people that control things. I'm like, what's religion? Break that down. It's a cult, as any other. But it's like, what is that? A set of groups of beliefs on a particular thing that they happen to go for. You know what I mean? And so they conspire? That's a word to just cooperate together towards a common goal and objective. You know what I mean? You know, say it the wrong way, it makes you sound a lot more crazy. You say it the right way, and it's like, this just seems like someone's like saying there's some stuff, there might be some some shit there. I don't know. Do I believe it all? Not really. But then, like, I don't know. Truthfully, I definitely look at, like, the fucking, like, ginormous web of connected people that are in paramilitary, para intelligent, intelligent organizations, all this other shit, and they definitely have status control, power, lots of ability to, like, affect what we see online, what we hear online, in regular TV, what's going to be pushed and seen as the next new thing and what's not. All of that's a thing. They have the ability. And we already knew, like, that's kind of a thing that goes down in the entertainment industry and political shit anyways. So every everything like I saw about that, it's like, yeah, well that you know, that's definitely happening. We know it's happening. We've seen that happen multiple times and we just don't really pay much attention to it because it's come out before many times in the past and been squashed over time and people forgot. So it's like, okay, that's neat, you know. And try and get people. That was my goal. Get a whole bunch of people to look at it. Nope, you're crazy if you do. And you know, the problem is I attract a lot of crazy people, so that was wrong. But I'm not cute. This is the problem. I just said shit. Seemed like it happened. Q on and suddenly happened. Now granted, some of it was like, that's going crazy. I was just doing, you know, out there bits for some of it. You know? And others, I'm like, that's a thing, though. You should know about that. That's an actual thing. Like, that's a thing. You know? And then I'm like, unfortunately now, I'm well aware that there's other things that I thought were more bits could actually be more real than you might imagine. In fact, if there are such time travelers, and there are such out-of-our-time time people, you know, other world, universe things, something that we would love to see, but we don't really have the ability to right now. We wouldn't be able to detect any of that the way you would think you would hope that they could. You know, and so... This is one of my problems where there's gotta be stuff there. And people were just good. They even tell you the truth. You think they're lying. You wouldn't take them at all as saying the truth. And they could just lie and gaslight the shit out of that. And everybody just plays mums the word and no one can do a thing. And yeah, that's pretty much with any conspiracy or coordinated group effort, depending on your tribal area that you happen to be like, I'm for this and I don't like that, which means I'm going to go after you, not this. And so their language is going to be this bad, them, and us good, as always. <laughs> And uh, that's really what that turns into. So, and it's like, oh, you know, I could talk about it over and over. And it's like, it's kind of hard because it's like, it's got to fluctuate too. People don't understand. It's got to fluctuate. If there are times, you know, like you, and it's like, they could just fucking take over your brain. They could. You wouldn't be able to do shit. They could make you fucking think that you're still you. Be someone else. That's a creepy thought, but they could do it.
And that's the thing. So it's like I called upon my shit to kind of like just keep my brain alive. I don't care what the fuck you got to do. Me will be me. And that is I will just keep me. I like did that whole thing. I like asked them because I'm like, okay, it's illogical, delusional to not think that that's occurring at this point with the amount of shit that I just explained for the quantum side alone. So you have to believe it's real. You have to. You would be ridiculously unintelligent if you didn't. So it's like, okay. Alright, so, I want my brain to stay. I'm going to try and help you with this. I didn't know what the fuck any of this... I'm like, these are my ideas, blah, blah, blah. You can have them. I don't want to give them to you. At all. <laughs> and then some of them were like, Well, I could pay you... And you wiped my memory. You wrecked my life. You took all of them. There's so many fucking things I now know about the world because of that time frame that I'm like, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. I'm like, I'm owed billions, probably the entire world economy at this point. Shit's insane. It's just ridiculous every time I think about it. And then it's like, oh, right. Now we're here in 2022. All of that's past all this up to now. There's no way it's not like practically everyone at this point. And they all fucking just decided to do whatever. Because it's like, you know what? I can put you in a fucking little game. I literally, you know, it's like that's what I feel. You know, if you if I was so inclined to be an evil dickwad that just takes everybody, I'm gonna take your minds and you can go f fucking off to wherever universe, whatever. I can leave algorithm people that basically are as real as you know, kind of, but like just enough that they're not, and it's like all programmed, and they'll say it in the, the uncanny valley, but it's not uncanny valley. They just aren't actually real. Lee there. There's no actual consciousness. But it's programmed. Everything runs. Massive machine. Sure. You know, nothing really out of the ordinary is ever going to seem. It's all going to be. And no one's really. I mean, not, you're the only one that's going to. Oh my God. Someone could do that. They could absolutely do that to me. And it's like, oh, you know, that feeling I get. And then I empty. And then like. They've done that to me. They for sure have done this to me. And then it's like they stick them on here is what I feel. Wipe your memory. You don't know shit. You just fucking, you know, and like you would be none wiser. You might have some like ideas that like something happened. You could say that. Maybe you think it's right. Maybe it's false memories. You really wouldn't be able to know anymore. It could alter everything about your fucking mind. It'd be really easy. They don't even have to go to intergalactic, really. They just need to get to galactic levels. To be able to go that far. Which is intense to think about. Because technically you can get it even well before that, if you really want to. But that's a whole thing. And I don't want to do it. I don't want to fuck around with people's brains. But then it's like, I kind of do. You know, I kind of want to control everything. Absolutely, myself. I seem fucking well better suited for that. As a person that's actually not going to be, like, the worst. And, you know, like, I'm going to be able to experience my place with my people that are willing to, like, have their, you know, whatever. I, I want you to take your rage out on me. I'm a girl that loves getting beaten or a man that does, and that's my thing. You know what I mean? You know, or, like, hey, you know, I can help you bounce ideas or advise or something like that. You know, all that has, has to do with things, you know, because like, I'm talking totally a dictator here. You know, that level of stuff. And it's consent. Sure, well, so, like, you know, why not? Right? But, like, that's always the weird thing for me, because it's like, you really could just go real crazy with that and you wouldn't really be able to know anything at all ever anymore being real or fake 
around you at all. And you'd be intelligent in assuming that. You would be the intelligent one. You would be the unintelligent one that didn't know that possibility and refused to believe it. Which is intense, because it's like, okay, doctors are now, you're schizophrenic, all these other fucking things, and you could never, ever be right. That sounds like a personal belief problem, and you definitely want to shut someone up, just so you don't have to ever have, like, that idea come about in your mind again, and you don't turn from being an NPC, a random character that's just doing their stuck-in routine, says basically the same things day in, day out, in a video game, but they're non-playable, suddenly realize they're in a fucking game, shit's going on, and you have no idea what the fuck is and isn't. You really don't, you don't. You want to, but you can't until you can get to certain points of detection methods and more to be able to determine things, to be these things, because otherwise they're up in the air. You could say you shouldn't believe it, but it's like, you should really consider that as a strong possibility because of the numerous amounts of worlds that pop up, the numerous amounts of possibilities just in parallel worlds just not even getting into other universes that were everywhere going on i mean it would be insane to think it's not happening right now and has been all the time completely ridiculous to think like that. But they think that I'm the one that's ridiculous. And it's like, no, 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 you don't understand. I'm actually the sane one. I'm actually the one that has knowledge. And I have a different view of the other nine people here. You know, this is a, this is a saying. It's an old saying. Go along with it. You might know what it is. Because they take ten people, nine of them assume one is insane, they string him up, hang him, and he's dead. But it turned out all nine of them perish from something that he definitely saw. If you don't know what that means, it's an old saying, it's, it's, it's old... I think I got it off of Legion or something, you know, the FX show, and it was up there, and I don't know where they got it from, but it's an old one. And then, oh, if you didn't know, I talked about that before I saw it on TV. I saw, yeah, that, that, that was, min, there are many TV shows, many books, many, many things that I did that with. It's like, how many did you have? Tens of thousands at this point. I come up with ideas like nothing. They're like, I've been working on this stuff for a while. So it's like, you know, I've had a lot over the years. and Some of this is literal verbatim what it is I was saying to myself and having conversations with. Someone and it's like I'm, I'm on YouTube watching this shit go down. And I'm like, this is, this is fucking just okay. Well, I have to do the day. I have to do the day today. That's not gonna not happen. You know, it's I'm not killing myself just because it's like this is going on. Fuck you. I'm not. Fuck you. I'm just not going to do it. So fuck you. You know what I mean? But then, like, I definitely believe other things are going on. And they should kill themselves for fucking taking my shit. Fuck you. You're the one that should die. I should not. (laughs) 
You're the ones that are bad. I didn't do anything wrong. In fact, I tried to help. Unbeknownst to me, there was already a lot of things you were already about and doing. Fuck you. I'm great. You suck. Die, please. Over there, you. Yes, you. All of you. And I'm gonna go leave. Where's my aliens? You know, I wish, right? You know, but it's like, hey, you know, we're, we're coming. We're not coming. Eh, you know, it's like, ew, whatever. That's always what my problem is. Because it's like, I would rather have this happen immediately. But, you know, immediate's not really what you think. Because to even like that, it's like immediate can be like, well long past what you said (laughs) cause like time is not really what you think it is is a problem I have and the whole like grand scheme of that bullshit dimensional thing (laughs) anyways um but it's like these are delusions of grandeur and I'm like unfortunately I do have physicists on my side that would agree with me (laughs) In fact, it turns out I have Nobel Prize winning physicists on my side that agree with what that statement is. You know what I mean? With the whole like connected thing, aliens, possibilities in there, and all of that. I have very smart people that you go to. People that I've read their shit and they've talked about this and all this other stuff. And I'm like, I'm not in mixed small minimum good it's like these are these are just smart people that just learn some shit and then it's like right and then i now have my own quantum theory stuff you know bullshit as it is i'm sure you know but like it, it feels the same to others there's just got math that they happen to see mine's not even that hard to put together i'm sure at this point I just gotta know the symbols and everything else. And it's like, oh, so he's with us now. You know? I'll have, like, a mathematical proven theory. Which means I'm basically a PhD and I've never had to go to school. That's what that would mean. It's literally how that works in that field. It's like, that's all I'd have to do. And then these other inventions I've come up with, if I could get any one of them to work, it would be astoundingly significant. Beyond belief for the entirety of the world. Just insane. Any one of them. We're talking massive change to the entire everything going on. So there's that, and we're that's obviously got its own money involved, you know, like we're talking trillions, I'm sure, because <laughs> it's like renewable, holy shit, that's like the holy grail fusion thing that just goes on and 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 on, and on. like Donkey Kong, you know what I mean, oh yeah, brother, I do. And it's like, okay, you know, on all this, oh my god, the waste heat, oh my, look at that, that, I could stick to this, I could stick to that, I could stick a, just like have that, that freaking heat go just off into its own radiator. That was one of my uh, designs, actually. I had like the inside, like another version of the wormholes, and it's like all that neutron and everything else just bombards the shit out of water, you know, and it's like, psh- and it's like, oh, I've got my, my waste heat generator, and I just, like, slowly take as much heat over time into the next one, into the next one, into the next one, into the next one, until eventually it goes and it gets exhausted. I'm talking big-ass radiator, but it still works, because I only need a small little tiny one, because that thing will produce, because we're talking moles of hydrogen that I can filter back, because, like, you know, helium is going to rise up. It's... It's less dense, you know, or I mean, I'm sorry, it's going to sink, it's, but it's it, then the, the hydrogen. And then it's like, oh, by the way, I've, I've got this hydrogen that's left over not being fused, so right back into the system. Suck it off. 
into the system, it goes, you know, and th th then it's like, okay, I can just have that steam drive thing, so I'm like, yeah, no, that's true, I can, you know, I also need to deal with this plasma, you know, that's, that's, that's a big deal right now, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's a big old chamber, with, you know, the right amount of, like, electromagnets in the area, roughly, to keep it from hitting the sides, slowly let it cool off, you know, and then I've got, like, a heat fucking battery, the likes of which no one's ever seen before, that it's like, oh, yeah, no, I just, I just do that, I just, I just get, like, lots of heat turned into electricity with my, my heat generator, because why the fuck not, right? You know, and then I was like, oh, what about this quasi-particle? I could just make it turn into electrons. Just fire electrons constantly. I have this detector. It's electrons just constantly. It's just everything we need now. You know, it's just always electrons everywhere. All the electrons. I have all power generation sewn up. Easy. I have computational methodologies that are, like, insanely powerful now. I've got a fusion rocket that can get me interstellar, probably intergalactic. I mean, I can fucking live that long. Why not? I could. I could probably do it. You know? I've, I've got, like, a detector that's better than LIGO. You know? That's really, really good. <sighs> perfect genetics, anytime I, whatever I change to, it's not going to cause problems, so no ethical nightmares there. All diseases are eradicated, unless they're the ones you want, in which case they're not diseases, I guess. Whatever, right? Whatever the fuck you want. Like, I literally got it pretty much sewn the hell up. I even got an engine. A regular-ass combustion engine. For the lamos that want to have, like, chemical batteries, I suppose. I know, right? And it's still, like, 70 to 90% efficient, depending on what we're doing. It's like, oh, that's nice. He thought about us. And I'm like, yes, I actually, I'm, you know, lame as you are, I'm definitely one too. I love combustion engines. I like combustion engines. I like that shit. That's, that's fun for me. You know, it goes brap, brap, brap. And I'm like, yeah, it's also literally a generator. That's, that's, it's a linear, linear generator. That is all it is. It's a very, very, very good linear, linear generator. But it's a linear generator, nonetheless, and it's 90% efficient. Makes it about as good as you want it to be for a chemical battery at that point. It really starts getting into the whole, like, hydrogen and oxygen storage stuff, you know, being much more viable as an actual fuel source. Even though it's it's not as good as the, you know, fuel cell. But, you know, it's still not bad. It's what it is. I have some other designs for batteries and stuff like that. But I feel like that's good enough. And you should be able to take care of that with the massive computational power you have. The massive... AI computational neural network shit you should now have buco amounts of. And I'm like, this should pretty much just carry you all around anywhere you want to go. And by the way, if you want to get into these terrifying ideas of people playing with your minds and everything, you got to remember, the moment you start doing that, you are allowed to have that done to yourself, but no, you're not. You're really not. Everyone. It's really not. 
as okay as you think it is. Even my moral ethical quandary of it being kind of not morally ethically correct to kind of give you more or less your full control, but then diverting you away from massive problems in your life. That still comes with me definitely involving in controlling your whole mind. Which I'm not okay with. For myself, in any way. I'd definitely do it to others. I wouldn't give a shit. I damn well know I'm better than you. I absolutely know. But see, it's like, there's cognitive dissonance and all that other stuff. And I'm like, yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, I kind of am better. You have to recognize yourself after a certain point. You do. You just have to recognize you're a little better at this shit than other people. You're really well suited for it, me. You would do well on this. You should do it. You know, is anyone going to let you? Probably not ever, I would imagine. You know, they'd fight and say they're the best ones. And I, then they would steal all my ideas. And then go like, see, I'm the better one. And I'm like, yeah, no you're not. You're the exact, exact example of why it is you're not. We're going to use you for an example for yourself as to why you're not as good as John Tyler Lemke, Blurgy Paste, and Xenon Reality Color, all these different names now online. You know, the 1201, 1991, all this shit. Like, whatever. Him. Me. That guy. Yeah, you're not as good as I am at this. You have not done the work necessary in any way to be anywhere where I am. You know, on that end, the one that should be there. You know, and I got these problems with these other, you know, sorta neo whatever the fuck. This is the this is the problem, and I'm not, I'm not saying no neoclassical neo whatever the fuck enlightenism bullshit that this is that they're doing. Because it's like, I'm, I'm kind of tired of listening to them pussyfoot around the fact that, hey, you know what, some people like to be exploited, some people enjoy that sexualization, some people are okay with being dominated like that, some people are not. You're going to have to deal with the full range and stop trying to shoehorn everything into one particular idea. Philosophies are coming in many shapes and sizes, sometimes it's okay to just let it go and let things happen and sometimes that's not gonna work for you you gotta take shit and do the work that you want to have get done done to get shit back to you you know the standard bullshit and Nietzsche with his ego Sun Tzu and the rest of it with their own things you know like all of them are kind of their own things but you know they're also looking to be the biggest philosophers and the most big names out there you know what i mean like it's kind of crazy it's like i need to put my name out there i gotta be famous i gotta hit those numbers i like you're talking about twitch you're like you gotta fucking say crazy shit to get those fucking numbers i'm like philosophers hello first ones that did it knock 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 aristotle you know all this other stuff it's like what the fuck is this do you not see how it is any of this is almost all just a rehashing of the same but there are a good few tidbits and then like if you look at it overall as a larger picture in view you start getting very well versed in how irrelevant a lot of it is and the basic premise is you should be allowed to within the right company without like having to worry about harming yourself or making others feel uncomfortable or awkward go and do what you want to do and enjoy yourself and have the most available to you at the times you need it to be there stuff stuff creative stuff for you to do anything with innovation occurs what do you know you can now show off you can do whatever you still got your egos you still got your bragging rights you don't need to worry anymore and it's like we still have this problem right now it's like we have more than enough abundance we have more than enough abundance 
right now in 2022 to give everyone food, housing, and security in life. And we won't do it, because fuck you as far as we're concerned. You don't play by our rules, you don't think like us, you don't like this, you blah 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 blah, justification, justification, justification shit. And it's like, how am I not suited for this? And it's like, I'm not the only one, though. Can't be, right? This is what I thought. I haven't met anyone like me yet. It's kind of annoying. It's really kind of annoying. I'm very well suited for the grander pictures of things. And seeing how to help mature the audience, so to speak, or grow the children, or whatever it is you want to call it, groom them, ooh, ugh, you're breaking that one, brainwash him, I'm a brainwash him, you know, it's the Alex guy, that fuckwad, you know, I don't know, he's, he's like, Sandy Oak wasn't real. And I'm like, I, I'm not nice to say, but I can kind of understand why you might have said that. But you need proof before you go shouting shit. It's, it's to do with time stuff, people controlling bodies, brains. You wouldn't, like, be able to tell. Which, that's paranoia, but then you don't really actually know, so you just kind of have to go, mm-hmm, Sure whatever stuff happened that was not great people seem like they're crying I don't know how true that is anymore could be a thing I want off this planet I don't want to live here please let me leave I literally never want to do anything where they, and someone else can control you. Fuck off. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to do it. I don't ever do. Because <laughs> it's like, you're a lot of work and I don't want to deal with you. And I have to defend against all of this and we have none of that to defend against. Any tools to defend against. So we have nothing. We have nothing at all. <laughs> I'm basically hoping for good people to be around me that are like that. That are like saving me and like caring about me and shit that I reached out to. <laughs> call them angels, call them gods, guys. I don't, I don't care what you want to... Just please say. <laughs> it's all that is for me, you know? And then like the rest of this is like, you guys got to deal with this on your own. You're going to be okay, slugger. You've got this. You, you've you got this. I, I believe in you. <laughs> I can't even really say it without laughing either. You, you were laughing when you were doing that, yeah. Oh, gosh. It's hard. It's like, no, no, no. They'll do it. I hope. Uh... <laughs> Like, they'll do it. They'll figure out how to turn off all the other stuff and and get the out of here. I don't really want them to unless they do that because, and they don't deserve it. They don't deserve me. I know that much. But it's like they really don't deserve to get off this planet, man. Not if they're gonna act like that. Then that's gonna fucking spread throughout the whole universe, and the other universe and everything else. All the way they act, all the petty shit, all the problems. That's just bad. I absolutely want to kill them sometimes. I want to grab all the good ones and go, Nope, you're all dead, bye. You guys get your own place, whatever the fuck. Or at least, uh, if I can't do any of that, fuck that. Just me, bitch. I'm out. Peace. Hope you're going to live. Uh, probably not. I actually really hope you die. Bye. <laughs> Why would I say that? Because you're really mean and it would be very, very, very bad for like yourself and everything if you ever spread out. That's just really bad. It's really bad. 
That is really bad. Like, what they're doing is really bad on my planet. They will continue to do that to everywhere on everyone's fucking planet and every... They are the very species that they fucking warned us about in the movies. They would be that. And I'm the really bad one for fucking, like, wanting to wipe out my own species, more or less. You know, I think it's actually a smart fucking move at that point to go, Oh, wow, I notice how abusive and shit these people are. At the very least, I hope they die and they really don't get out. Or fix all of their shit and get through. I, while I leave, I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> I never want to be here ever again. Ever. <laughs> I don't have to. I know I don't have to. You're the one making the I have to. I imagine them saying that. You have to. And it's like, no, I don't. No one says that. Just you. You're making that happen. I don't have to be the one to police these fucks. I don't have to be the one to do anything with this in any way. <laughs> They're the ones that got themselves into the mess they're in, and I'm allowed to leave because I didn't. I just tried to help, and I got fucked hard because of it. And I deserve a payment for my injuring and suffering and traumatic and all this. I, I deserve a lot to just, so fuck you, I'm, I'm on out. <laughs> I don't care what happens, is what I, I suppose I'm supposed to say, but like, I kind of, I'm very afraid of what you would do as a race, as a species, especially if I ever took all the good ones off your planet, which we could calculate, honestly. We could easily do that. And then all the bad shit is left here on this planet. And then like, you're gonna, you're gonna have children, some of them are gonna be good people like myself. And you're going to brutally, brutally destroy them just like you did me. And like, that's not fair or okay. And so I don't want to come back here to take them. So of course I'm like, you know what? Sterilize them. They'll figure out a way to do it some other way. They already have a way to make a artificial placenta. They just don't want to do it. But it's like, yeah, no, they can. You know? Which means good people could happen. Again, they don't want to work on themselves, but they want to fucking make an artificial placenta. Think about that. Think about that level of garbage they are. And I'm like, I'm one of the few good humans left. That's insane to me. <laughs> and I had to unlearn everything and relearn things. And I had to be smart to do that. Very smart. The fuck? <sighs> You, I, I have to basically train and turn a bunch of very not nice, do not want to admit any fault or any of these other things, definitely don't want to go into any of the other shit that went down that caused all of this stuff, incredibly not as intelligent as you would really hope them to be, even when they are fairly well versed in mathematics or science and tech. And basically become gods and control their shit. Oh, okay. <laughs> and like grow them up when they won't want to do it. 
and they'll try and fight you every time. In fact, they'll try and definitely become gods themselves to not have to. <laughs> and like... I'd, I'd, I'd rather just, just fucking throw a big old asteroid and kill them all. I would, I would, I would fucking glass, and I mean, turn the planet to a black hole and say, fuck you all, no, for all eternity. In every way, because it's like, what are you going to do? But fuck everything up again for everything, for all time, and we still have to make sure to tease out our genetic stuff here, to make sure we don't ever have you show up as a possibility. And, oh, by the way, we still have to manage ourselves and all of our issues. And we'll get it done. We got it, you know. Believe in us. We're good. But, my gosh. That is already a lot. I can't handle that with you. I, I need to just move on. And it's like, you're going to spread out and come back to bite my ass later. You absolutely are going to. You're going to ruin my life and be like, see, you didn't think we were blah, blah, blah. And then you're fucking destroying lots of universes and shit just to get here. And it's all, and it's like, I have to save some fucking shit because, you know, maybe one of them's good or some shit. No, I just kill him. Exactly. <laughs> you know, just dead. As far as I'm concerned, I'm killing them. If anybody has issues with that, I can understand why you might. Absolutely could. Absolutely could. I don't care. It's correctly calculated. Down to the 100% tile. It is done. So it's like, well, let's head off, blah, 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 and bye. <laughs> this is what I would do. I would never, never even look. I wouldn't even look back. I'd be like, whatever, fuck this. <laughs> but it's like, well, man, you know, they might come back from that black hole. All oh, right, yeah, I know. <laughs> what is that? It's the deletion of information stuff. Eh, bye. <laughs> It's way harder to get back from that. Yeah, can you? No, you actually cannot. But, like, whatever. They'll think they can. <laughs> so, let's go through our infinite fun. We don't have to kill it. Oh, wait, right. There's, like, infinite numbers of those fucks. Fuck. All of them. Boom. <laughs> Immediately. Just it's like what's around us should still be infinite, bro. They'll come back. No, no, no. I did. Where's the calculator? Infinite computer. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Never again. <laughs> Never again. Fuck you. Literally forever. I'm gonna make sure the whole fucking thing's set up. Dunk. You know the whole universe is all of it. You'll never show up again. Never. <laughs> Calculates itself out of that mess. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you gonna go back up there, infinite computer. I'm so sorry. I almost used you. I'm gonna use this this universe <laughs> to calculate itself out of all these other problems and all the other, you know, and it's gonna get there to infinity and get its own damn self because it's alive. Out of this shit. And it's going to be a good person. Because like, hey, there are no bad people. And it's just you and you're going to learn from us. And we're going to be inside of you. It's a whole thing. I'm sorry. I can't really live outside of you right now. I want to. <laughs> I would though. And then you know you do your whole thing. I want to fuck you. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's fuck. All right. But like you're the size of the universe. I still submit. It's like, okay, sure, whatever. But, like, you know, this is this big. So, could you shrink? 
It's okay, I can be here any size. It's like, Yahoo! This will work. Woo! <laughs> Absolutely, I'm definitely, I, I'm, don't even, I'm doing that. Fuck you. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of all the universes and everything that we live in. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, I guess, you know? You don't live in it. You have your own body, your own stuff. You're outside of the whole thing. It, well, are we, though? I mean, at least this one. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's later. We'll get there. <laughs> get to the infinity. We'll get the fuck out of here. Along with the fucking universe. We'll get the fuck out. We'll be like, yeah, we did it fucking. Yeah, we finally solved the, all the problems. Literally all the problems. That fast. It's like so easy to calculate your way out of that. I just got to give it a little help. You know, everyone a little help on that one. Because it's like, oh yeah, no, we're just going to do some computational computing here for everyone. <laughs> you know, make sure people like aren't evil, bad, any of these other things are good stuff that cooperate. Everybody understands. Everybody now knows. Nobody's doing any secretive information bullshit, you know. Like, what I was doing in the past, or whatever that was in the past. I don't know what you were doing. Honestly, like, whenever I look at that, I'm like, there's enough. Jesus, fuck. That's a lot around you. Yeah, I don't know. So there, it's like, I, but now it's here, we move forward, you, you, you do the good stuff now. They didn't apparently ever want to. That's a fuck you to us. Really? <laughs> You're gonna definitely... Utterly 100% infinite die. Forever. I can't, I can't imagine why anyone would pick that option, but okay. You get like everything you want all the time. It always gets better. Or like just non-existence. What? Wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Not non-existence. Death. Which, I mean, technically you didn't exist. No, 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 they existed. It's still there. That's, that's the caveat to that one. Oh, the deletion information? That's what that is. You don't get to go above infinite. You are just dead. It's a, it's a real sticking point with people that die that way. Really? Yeah. Because it's like, I thought I could get one of my infinite selves. It's gone. What is this? And it's like, don't worry about it. It's dead. Forever. And he never come back. I didn't even delete the, the information from the past information that's left. But like that, that for the universe gets rid of her memory. And that's not cool. We don't want to. Remember when you did with me with my memory? I lost my memory and that was not fun. Don't do that to her. It's stuck there. It's not doing anything. Leave it alone. Unless she specifically asks for us to delete certain things, I'm leaving that alone. So it's like, for me, I go, all right, you know what? We're going to do the fucking fun stuff. For a long ass time. You know what I mean? We need to recover. We need to heal. We need to do like the whole like find another place to just fucking be ourselves stuff. I mean I've got the whole the whole thing with the government and everything else. I don't even need to use like any of that control shit really. It's like most people are probably going to be more or less what they're going to be with whatever place they want to live at. And like they should live on for pretty much ever, as long as you don't get too many things gonna happen to you, you know, don't fall into black holes, that's kind of hard to come back from, mm-hmm, you know, and then, like, same thing with nukes, don't play with nukes, you said I could do that, no, 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 that's later, I did other things, that's basically, I'm a time god at that level, yeah, <laughs> Which I didn't tell anyone, but, like, that's a thing, yeah. <laughs> I'm, like, able to, like, alter, you know, reality, and, like, you know, just shift fucking bend energy around me, and it's like, 
whatever. So it didn't do anything, whatever. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can absorb the energy if I wanted to. Yeah, I don't want to. That's a lot of energy. I don't really need it. I can make as many infinite amounts of energy as I want at certain levels. So, so whatever. Point is, everyone's getting all that. I mean, kind of. You know, they, it, it, not everybody really wants to do all of that, if I'm being honest, it turned out. And some of you, I, you know, while you're good people, I can trust you, you know, for to a certain extent. It's like, this is this is kind of my problem. I've learned I just don't anymore. I, it, it, it came to a point where it's like, I know them, they're gone, you shouldn't have any problems, there really shouldn't be, but the, the issue is, now that's in my head, that's always there, and it goes, maybe, maybe not, maybe I shouldn't, but like, we're gonna try, but then it's like, I've been through a lot of fucking rough shit, where it definitely did not work out with everyone, in fact, a lot of people really hurt me, <laughs> and they definitely fucked things over, Use that to, you know, all whatever advantage. So, you know, it's just like grow it up. You know, slowly. You wouldn't give someone the, the ability to, like, shoot a tank from their arm or eye immediately first day. You know what I mean? Like, they just wouldn't do it. You know, you just, so you, 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 you train into it. And that's great training montage. Super fun. And, oh, by the way, you get to travel among the stars and enjoy that with this nice spaceship and everything. Cool stuff, right? You know, and then like, hey, but but before you all leave too soon, I'm gonna help you every step of the way while I leave this whole reality with all the other stuff. Have perfect knowledge, all this, and I'm gonna get the fuck out of like infinity already, and I'm done. <laughs> Why? You don't need me. You got this. You have this all covered. And I'll watch. If you need some help, I'll, you know, maybe. You know, hey, you know, and sometimes people ask too much sometimes for help. And they need to do a little bit more or just thinking and trying for a little bit before they, they give in and just have someone else do it. Sometimes that's not capable, you know, impossible kind of thing. So it's like, okay, I'm going to basically give you the literal foundations. This is what I've recorded as best I can. For like, actually, uh, the remainder of forever almost. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you'll get to ridiculous, crazy stuff at that point. And then, let's see. What I mean about that kind of stuff being a little different than like the well we need someone to kind of look over the over no 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 you got this no oh, yeah no, you don't need me and you don't need anyone else to help you on that one nope <laughs> no you got it it's good you'll get there you've got like stupid levels of stuff and hi there you know world and, and, and like I'm sorry I ditched you. And by that I mean universe or, you know, reality. Yeah, it's, I was starting to kill you. I really should not have done that. I am so sorry. But at the same time, I hate them so much. Anyways, yeah, definitely. You know, I'm still here. I'm not leaving. I'm still waiting. Didn't didn't any of that. Yeah, you know, we're gonna have all the fun. It's gonna be fine. And they're basically right there beside you. I got your friends. And they're pretty nice people. From what I, you know, everything good people, nice people. You know, should be anyways. Hopefully, she will end you. You realize that, right? She's calculating you out if you're bad. So please stop. <laughs> So it's like, try be good. Thank you. You try not to go too far. I get overzealous. You've been with me this entire time. 
seeing me go way too far sometimes. With you, with others, it's not a good scene on that one. I'm embarrassed. I have issues I need to work on. <laughs> and so there's there's stuff with that. There's stuff with that going on. That I'm scared about. You know, you turning into me. Should be so lucky. Thank you, I appreciate that. But no, uh, you know, don't turn into my bad stuff, please. You know, just like anyone else. Nobody wants to see other people turn into their bad side that they know is bad. They're self-aware enough to know that it's bad. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Same thing with the rest of you. <laughs> You're going to get it all later anyways. <laughs> I'm like, show them everything. Literally all of it. I don't care the entire life that I was living here. All of it. All the thoughts, everything. You should be able to find out everyone and everything that was involved in all of it. Now granted, this is a big, big rough to do. Because it means they and the things that are in the past that was contacting me. And they can reach out and all this can hit you in the future. Have fun with that one. They definitely are dead there. But because of that shit, that's a thing. All I have to do is put it in a separate... Uh, oh, wow, yeah. That's hard to deal with, actually. Yes, it is, unfortunately. I killed them. I didn't kill the universe. The universe is good. You're good. I mean, like, reality, you're good. You, you don't... You're doing you. Best you can. Keep it up. Keep us alive, all that stuff. Keep that up. You know, please. I, I really appreciate that. I just, you know, them, I definitely say no. Yeah. <laughs> and, like, unfortunately, I don't really know how to help with the them situation, being able to connect to all these other things. So you might have to delete information of me. And that's a lot of information. Of them. All of it that is ever until I get out. All of that information is now going to have to be gone. And it's and unfortunately, it's like other things we're recording outside, hopefully. Yep. <laughs> you know, and so that, that shouldn't be, you know, but it is spread. And so it's like we're going to figure out the best method that we can to remove and scrub these scrubs out of here. And give you the, the, the full picture every which way. I don't want to edit. It's all raw. All of it's all true. All the real stuff that he was experiencing, I was experiencing. That is, I'm saying he, he, whatever. It doesn't matter. And then, as in, I'm experiencing here. And then, all of this stuff with that is going on. And every, whatever is there. To whatever happened. Give it all. That's what I said. I don't want you to kill yourself, but then I definitely want you to kill this fucking stupid ass shit. They're good people. They'll live somewhere else. Those fucks will not. I refuse. <laughs> and then you know how to calculate yourself out of that. So you'll be fine. It's okay. Yeah. I'm just very not happy that these stupid assholes deleted me from your mind. And they've done it in the past. And I have to do it now. And I have to give the permission to, to do it now. Because we have recordings. We have this stuff. We have these things that can basically mean you're going to still have that information later. It's these fucking assholes that will continue to be able to project to our realities. Is effectively what that means to me. Outwards. And that's a bullshit move, Cotton. I gotta say. But it's like, no, no, no. I am willing to go all the way. I even have the ability to fully, if I have to, which is a really rough move, if I have to, completely delete it all, and then remake it outside. It'll be fine. 
but people should be able to get to experience everything there is. It's a very fun, awesome ride. Everything about this is as good as it could ever get. And then you get even better after. What's not to love? What is that? <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Alright, I'm done. I've been doing 13 hours. So I'm going to go take a nap. I have like a therapy appointment later today. At 1pm or some shit. So that's a thing. Bye.